Hello again, everybody. Hey, it's a funny <laughs> It's not. It's our off day. It's our off day. We normally don't stream, obviously, two days in a row. And normally, uh, I would be streaming. It normally, but sometimes <laughs> we do kind of crazy things, and I we do, do musical voices because it amuses me. And actually, everything uh, worked out really well because normally, uh, around this, well, at this time, this today, I would be over on Geeks and Gamers Tabletop playing uh, the fifth edition game there with. Um, uh, Comics Division, Epic Mike, Disbrew, and X-Ray Girl, but uh, there <laughs> MegaCon is this week, so everybody's in Florida. <laughs> uh, at least a lot of the people are in Florida, so there. Although there was a plan, I think at one point to play D and D live uh, at at the con. So I don't know if they're doing that or not, but uh, yeah. So that's uh, and at first, like Spoon uh, talked to HB Hard Bastard, who's going to be joining us in a little bit. Uh, we start. We're starting early because we're going to start with some cringe that I don't know if it would interest HB, right? Because <laughs> it's related. Just it's related to Spoon. Uh, we have covered this guy he, in the past. If, but if he wants to come on and smack the crap out of the kid, then by all oh, means. Oh sure, sure. We just that. we just thought. I I think our mutual thought on that was that it's it's a very we've covered this guy's videos before. He seems to have a real hate boner for Spoon. He's made another video, so and it's people. um. I have not watched it. Did you watch it? Um, I, I tried to suffer through some of it. You, you guys will know as soon as we put it on, if you yeah. recall. Elmer Fudd swallowed helium balloons. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I do feel bad. He's a fellow West Virginian, you know what I mean? But yikes. Uh, and I talked to him in, in the DMs and he was pleasant enough. I just, he really dislikes you, Spoon. Oh, wow. Uh, John Arnott, thank you for the five uh, gifted memberships. Thank you. But, uh... Can we just point something yeah, so, out? Um, the idea mm -hmm. that someone dislikes me because I dislike women, but they like you. <laughs> and you're my best like, friend. <laughs> <laughs> and the meme is that Aiden hates women more than I do. Mm -hmm. And I've I've lit I've had someone in the chat just said like the way that Aiden dunks on women like it, like puts Spoon to shame. I'm like, who the hell are these assholes who are dunking on me? I yeah I don't I know do it scientifically. Science. I need to do it with my fist. I'm saying I do. I do it with with science. Look at look, look at my channel, right? Let's yes, just, I have uh, Hulk smash. Look at my, the most recent couple of videos, and look at not only the most recent videos on my channel, but the ones that have performed the best. <laughs> it's all videos of me shit talking women, <laughs> scientifically, of course. But you know what I mean. Like those are the ones because I think that people they like that they want to hear a woman's perspective on it, and not just like not just a woman's perspective because that anyone can do that. But have a woman being like, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna. You're just gonna hear my opinion. I'm going to give you data and science and facts ago, so and I'm research. What? What are you wearing right now? I'm speaking to <laughs> I'm halfway oh, dressed, we're going to say, because I'm not freaking fully nude on, on TPS. Yeah. You mean you don't stream fully nude? And even if I was, you wouldn't know. <laughs> I think well, I'd stream naked. I think my ass would stick to the chair. Oh God! Uh, I hate that Here's in the summer though, like when you're wearing shorts, or, when I'm wearing like, shorts or whatever, and, and it's really hot in the summer, and your butt sticks to the chair. I hate that. It's the worst. We're off to a professional start. That's okay. Things are gonna get way more unprofessional way quickly as soon as we start this video. <laughs> My oh, disgust that's, for that's spoon scary. keeps me coming back. I find spoon so repulsive. It's magnetic. <laughs> spoon, you're a little Am bit I quiet. That bad? Uh, uh, no, I think I think. Uh, uh, Kijong T always is, is uh, well, I'm, a little I'm totally. Very quiet. Allegedly. Um, yeah, you sound far away. Spoon, come back. Hold Don't on. run away. Hold on. And he went even further away. Did you guys hear that? Then he went even further away. There we go. Away. I should sound a bit better now. Oh, okay. That's much better. Yeah. Uh, where is HP? Hardbastard's going to join us in a little bit. We're going to start. We're going to start the the stream with a little bit of of uh, calcified autism. We had covered this guy before. Uh oh, oh my god! I thought that my brave browser just crashed for a second. Um, we covered this guy's videos before. This is now the second. Uh, it's funny how we have grade schoolers as haters. I know he's not a grade schooler. It just looks that way, right? I know when we covered this before. I have to be clear with you guys. I've talked to this person. He's an adult. Um, as far I, this is a, an adult man. This is not yes, a child. This is now the second made. video, and this is now the second video he's made to like dunk on spoon. And so we are going to react to. Somebody, it. I've not someone seen it. should teach the, the kid something. If you're going to try and shit talk me. And you did this before, and you didn't do it well. Uh, it would behoove you if you actually. And he um, knew it didn't. 
go well. No, yeah. he's a full ass fucking adult, dude. <laughs> like that's yeah, yeah, but, I, I yeah. know adults can still be stupid. The image. Right. You wouldn't think that from look I would feel bad if if yes, I know, I know. No, look at what we're looking at. Let's let's get into it. Let's get into it. You ready? Are you everybody, are you prepared? Are you are you in the correct position to because you need to strap in because we're about to <laughs> take a, a real plunge into something deeply autistic. All right. Yeah. Get your scuba gear. Scuba gear for it. Here we go. Hello, buddy. It's your favorite West Virginia on space oh here. God. And it's no secret that I'm not a fan of the YouTube channel, the aristocratic utensil, or as I call it, Spoonhead. And ultimately, that should be rather obvious. You can watch my video basically giving you a rundown of why I don't like the YouTube channel. I get to clear oh his idea is bad. Ultimately, though, that was just kind of a video that just happened. It did okay whoa, and all whoa, that jazz. Whoa, whoa. I, I However, really as you might expect yet. when you take on another YouTube he's mm -hmm. He's talking, he's real fast in this one. He wasn't this fast before. I'm fast as you fuck, sure? boy. This is fast even for me. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Channel his fans, of course, defended him. Of course, in there, of course, that makes perfect sense too. I expect fans to generally criticize the video comment Chris and the creator. However, a lot of the actually no, my fans were fairly amicable. If I we if I started nice. acting I, like a dumbass, look, look. yeah, yeah, I don't well, think you know how how fans work, right? Yeah, but uh, if I started like acting like Dev, my audience would quickly turn on me. Yeah, they would they would give me a lot of hell, which is fairly justified. Um. I, on the other hand, uh, don't say dumb shit, which is probably why my audience um, sticks with me. Because I've never, I've never said anything that made my audience go, "How the hell did Spoon get to that? He's a moron." N never have I been subjected I've, to that, at least not majority-wise, anyway. No, I've never. But with my content, it's different because you trigger um, people. I want, well, yeah, but I mean, it's more that like my videos are. are I, I'm not gonna, if, I'm not gonna make a mistake. I might make a little mistake. Like I noticed a mistake. <laughs> you give him a stimulus to where... evolve. <laughs> <laughs> Where I noticed that, like I said, eight studies, you but really did, six actually. studies, but it, but I have it on the screen that you can see that it's six studies, not eight studies. So if I make a mistake in my what I'm saying on the screen, the, the accurate information will be displayed. If I make a mistake on what I read, then it will be on the screen because I don't make shit up. I just report on facts and findings. So you know. Anywho, uh, yeah, let's. Uh, so I must now subject oh. my audience to a grotesque amount of autism, and I need yeah. a significant amount of booze to be able to survive this, because I'd like to kill my yeah. brain cells in two ways: bad let's, people let's and better alcohol. Bye, skull. <laughs> Cheers. The criticism was rather baseless, mostly devolving. I do agree. Your criticism was rather baseless. That that no, is that is true. Your criticism and and their. Criticism I know, woman. Well, you've ruined my I, joke. <laughs> oh, okay. To add homonyms or call. What? Ad homonyms are calling you stupid. Seriously, get some more original stuff, people. You do realize, that's kid. Actually not um, what, that's actually not what I think. At least the chat here was mostly mocking you for, and I, uh, I did try not to, but also the voice, my dude. It's so hard. You, it's so hard uh, to take you, anything you say seriously. It's just not your fault, but oh, it's rough. Yeah, uh, voice for radio. Very, very yeah. bad radio, <laughs> like in the 1950s. Oh, yeah, a, a voice for silent movies, I'll put it that uh, way. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a better one. I haven't even had However, any alcohol there was... yet. No, me? I mean, a little no, bit. No, me. <laughs> okay, okay, let's, let's go. Let's I'm so, like, I'm, 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 I'm so overwhelmed with the stupid, and also, also, you can't... You press the button. No, listen, listen, <laughs> you, you can't call somebody stupid. No, he's not a child, guys, he's not. It just... <laughs> he's, he's, like, 21 years old, actually. Yeah, yeah. Which would make all the entire chat go, Jesus fucking Christ, yeah. This isn't that one or two people gave that was actually somewhat fair. They said, instead of just bait- instead There was way more than just that, by the way. Instead of just attacking the whole channel, I should take on one particular video and criticize why that video in particular was bad. Now, of course, I still think my original video was good for the most part, could have been a little better, but ultimately, I do <laughs> agree that it is completely fair to, instead of attacking a whole vague channel, go after a specific part what of it. What is this And music? I think that's completely fair. However, I wasn't immediately going to go into that mm. purely because I- what is this fucking like Jupiter Moon music shit? I mean, I know there's a planet in the background. Like it, it sounds like it's like industrial shit. I don't know what the fuck this is. The music in the background is distracting me. Sorry, because it's very like aggressive. He must. That's how you know he's real mad this time. He's coming for you hard this time, Spoon. <laughs> I said my piece. I don't like what. Like what was I gonna say in most videos? Like. I could just repeat the same thing I did in the sections, and it wouldn't have been much. However, he kept making videos, and they've somehow gotten worse. I was oh, they've gotten I mean, worse! <laughs> I mean, I've, I've, I've gotten more view subs and, and subscribers. 
So I'm not sure how, like, how or just views and subs rather. Um, I, I don't see how they've gone worse if they've become more popular. That doesn't quite make sense, but maybe you're in the majority or minority. So like, why am I being so stupid today? Jesus fucking Christ. I don't know. I can't remember if I if I just saw someone say this on Twitter or if I uh, if it's a meme. I, I don't remember where I saw this. this but but the uh, but the uh, the the gist of the meme was that like saying. my New Year's resolution my New Year's resolution this year is to become worse. <laughs> I agree. I also plan to become worse. <laughs> So and so a spoon. That's that's that was at your New Year's was resolution as well. It's oh no, it's contagious. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> yeah. Spoon wounds misogyny only gets worse over time. I was originally going to do another video, however, that was going to be all intellectual and factual. Um, all my videos, I try to be that, but in more you know more oh. like scholarly kind of approach to it. Well, not this and, one. Uh, then he released this video of why are young males embracing traditionalism? I think I might have said the title wrong, but I'll get the link to it. You and said uh, wrong. yeah, after seeing this and the associated Rumble video, uh, someone. Oh, I can't. I like this picture, by the way, because it just shows his graphic next to mine. Yeah, I. It's like I'm sorry. it's like HD TV versus black and white. Is 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 your version also like in like really like 180p? Like the whole video is it just me? It might be my YouTube settings. I don't know. Um, sorry, I can't with Wumble. <laughs> Got me. One has to talk about this, and once again, it falls upon me to do it. So here's my criticism of that video and why its ideas are bad and a message of hope for people going forward. Just set some ground rules first before we go into this. I do expect you guys to have seen or watched. A message of hope going forward? A message of hope? He's a... <laughs> Doom, like doom, fucking doom. Jesus Christ, delusions of grandeur, kid. Get, 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 get him you are, determination. You are, Let's go. You, you are not helping your case, boy. <laughs> oh, I, am, I feel bad. I feel bad. But I can't uh, no, 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 no. I do not feel bad. If you upload your discs to the internet, right, you okay. better be prepared to have them criticized. And if you don't, the then thing. you shouldn't put them online. Right. If, you're, if you've already... And you've already been through this once, okay? We've, we've, we've been through this cycle already. And then you do it again. You have to know we're gonna watch and respond to it. And I don't have. By the way, his right it, arm in that in that in that, in that oh, video, it looks it's like so he's holding fucked. a power fist. <laughs> so fucked. It's so fucked. like freaking <laughs> forearm weaponry underneath that freaking jacket. Like yeah, it's so, so heavy, he needs to hold it up. <laughs> this is yeah okay. I mean, I mean again, let's so why I I can understand why everyone would think that this is a twelve year old, but it's not. Uh. Oh okay. But that would be again, impressive if a twelve year old watched my videos and actually understood them. Well, he doesn't understand your videos, and he's not twelve. So, um, but here, here we go. Here's your your woman hater. That's just that's just that's just being mean. Yeah, you know. Yeah. By you, the way, by the way, hater. by the way, I've I've not had many women just like approach me, and go, "You absolute sexist son of a bitch! I hate you." Mm -hmm. Most women actually tend to like me for some bizarre reason. Yeah. Wonder why. Women are attracted to masculinity. Yeah, and, and, and also told, because nothing but yes all the time, and yes. yes, dear, anything you say, love, everything. Oh, of course, hun. And then you say no. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, you're cringe. He's been uploading for six years. Is that a toilet or a chair? I think it's supposed to be a chair, but now that you say that, um, maybe it's a purple toilet. I'm not sure. Watch the two videos I'm criticizing purely because I believe that in the name of intellectual honesty, it's important oh. to see people to see what one is criticizing before you criticize it. So I just view that as something you should do because I want to be intellectually honest here. Okay, That's good. I think I think the reason he's done that is because he doesn't know how to clip videos. It, wait, is what he's saying is he he doesn't know what, what do you mean? That's why he doesn't have clips from your video. I think he does though, doesn't he? No. Really, it's just him talking about it. So he doesn't. Yes. Bruh, how are you even able to record this? <laughs> you can't figure out how to splice stuff in. <laughs> now you make me feel point. worse about this. Why? Uh, if, he even, if he doesn't even know, I mean, again, if he, but if he's been making videos for six years and you've not, look, he can figure out how to put pictures on the screen because he's changing little pictures in the. In the I, little I know, box. I, I know, but you come across like really condescending. <laughs> it, I'm, I'm. I'm not trying to be condescending. I'm trying to be... Okay. It, I wouldn't be surprised then, though, if that's... But it, it, I would be surprised, because how do you not know how to clip, put in video clips? 
Jesus Christ, you should look. You should look at what one of my videos looks like when you put it into the timeline. <laughs> like I have, it's like timeline. Jesus Christ, it's such a mess. Well, it's not a mess. It's 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 organized mess. But it's like, oh, look at all this shit. And I use mine is fairly software. mine is fairly basic actually. I did start using Adobe Premiere to make the uh, the transitions and intros and outros and stuff. Congratulations. Cooler stuff. I which I don't like Adobe Premiere, but. I'm just not used to it. I've get I've gotten used to it more though. It's just slower than my shitty software. I like in terms it. Of my hardware, and I have, I have to update this PC. It, um, as I explained yesterday, it it like died for a couple of days, and I that's why I was having a melty before the stream yesterday because I was like, oh my god, I just finally get my PC back from the shop. Yeah, Aiden, uh, Aiden was just having dying. like a spastic freak out. Yeah, because just nothing was working. I don't. I always I always get nervous before a stream, and then once we start, I'm cool and I'm chill and we're all we're all good. But then. <laughs> It's always the, and I don't know why we've been doing this for well over a year. How do I do my backgrounds? Yeah, my background is AI. Oh, okay, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and then the the moving bit that's from Bioshock. The um, yeah. that's from uh, what was the what was it after the third Infinite? You can do the if you have the DLC. That's the bird at C one. But you actually go through um, Rapture before it goes to shit. Um, there's like two levels that you can stand from oh, like these the huge chat. windows. Okay. Ooh. Hey, uh, Will uh, Norman Bargo is in the chat. Hello. We're you know we're gonna we're, you know we're gonna roast you a little bit. Okay. A little. <laughs> Your sister made the base and and I drew over it. Uh, if you're gonna talk about Spoon's video though, you probably do want to include the clips that you're talking about, just as a you know. Word to the wise. So let's 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 see what what let's hear your criticisms, okay? Because I haven't watched this yet. I think Spoon, you did watch a little bit of it, yeah. Unfortunately. Okay, let's go. As I view, that's important. And the second thing is, I don't necessarily disagree with everything he says in the video. Like for Thanks example, it's rather hypocritical for the left to to praise people who do like adult actress stuff, but then also criticize games with like scantily clad women. It's rather hypocritical. Pick pick one, I guess. But the thing at the end of the day, though, is that I'm not criticizing that today. What I'm criticizing is how he looks down and demeans on women so hard it would give a Victorian man a run for his money. And no, I'm not joking about that. And no. you might say I'm being hyperbolic, except for the yeah, fact in the first video, he openly says that no sane man would want women to have any authority or say in anything, Based. which True. is Based. just so messed up. Like, I don't know. No, it isn't. That's true. No, as a, as a woman, I agree. <laughs> I don't want to. I, I don't think women should have any authority at all. I mean, it's just we're terrible at it. In the home, like, not, yes. But in politics, sure. no, absolutely we were, not. I and mean, we were talking about this earlier, actually. Is it like, look, I think, you know. Women should be able to, to say whatever they want, think whatever they want, obviously, that's fine. But women should not be in positions of power, unless it's a monarch who is born into the role and raised from birth into that role and trained specifically for it. Again, my favorite monarchs, you know, Lizzie, uh, the first one, oh, not, uh, Victoria, not Lizzie, um, Victoria, uh, and, and Catherine the Great. Yeah, I'd, I'd say Victoria and Catherine the Great are two Catherine of my Catherine the Great sleeps her way to the top. <laughs> no, I mean, she was still, well, yes. She wasn't she, even of royal she, lineage. She just... She had a lot of sex. She was, she was, no, she was aristocracy though. Are you sure about that? Pretty sure. I've, I've watched this, I watched the same documentary about Catherine the Great. This, like, this, it's this Russian documentary that it used to be that YouTube would push it constantly. Or maybe it was just to me. It's like a seven hour long documentary about her life. And I learned, and I've watched it over and over and over again. Okay, I'll, I'll, some sort I'll of defer to you then. Well, I mean, I could be wrong. Let's double check. Let's find out. Let's find out. <clears throat> You want to do that later? Been married in. No, no, just real quick. I'll take one second. Married empress from Russia. Came from power after every throwing her husband. Yes, but how did she end up? Uh, princess Sophie, uh, as Princess Sophie Frederick August uh, von Anhalt Zerbes Dornberg. That is quite the name. of Prussia. She is the princess of Prussia. So yeah, born born into born into to royalty. So yeah, I, which I was ninety nine percent sure about, but then you made me question it. Uh, well, she was she was uh, also autistic. I, in my opinion, that is that is not a historical fact. But if you know anything about her life, she was like so. Uh, every single aspect of every single part of her day. Am I confusing it with somebody else? Down to the minute, you must be. You must be. But yeah, uh, Vicky and Catherine the Great are two of my favorite monarchs, and they're both women. So like, uh, it's not that women can't be in positions of power, but it has to under very very specific certain circumstances. Does it work? 
I don't think anybody should, <laughs> like, I, 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 the vast, vast majority of people should not be in positions of power. But women don't do well with it because we're social animals. Uh, we're, we're more than individualistic ones. We're collectivistic, largely speaking. Um, and so... This is why they advocate sure, for socialist shit. And sure, there's going to be outliers. Uh, and I, But it, it wouldn't mean like... So because I say that women shouldn't vote, now I say nobody should vote, so I'm an equal opportunity... Uh, Hater. <laughs> <laughs> Hater, no, it's... um, What's that called? Suff uh, Anti-suffrage uh, person there. But uh, the reason why... It's worse with women, and we're actually going to look at some recent evidence that will back up my point there um, later in the stream. But yeah, let's let's continue. Do I even have to go into this? Like that is just insane. Like e like it's just, it's just that that just no, that's just crazy levels of sexism. That once again, even most people so. in the ancient day would say that's too much, and that's saying a no, lot. No, I won't. And this comes down to another thing that he goes into once again that men are bigger and stronger mm -hmm. and faster and all that mm -hmm. jazz. And they are. well, all this is true, yes, except for that's averages. I feel like someone has to say this. That's averages. Not yeah. yes, most men are indeed stronger, faster, bigger than most women. You can't look at outliers in order. To, this is this is not the way statistics work, my friend. Listen, there's a reason that we care about averages. It's because <laughs> okay. All right, so the average is what's called the mean. That's in the center of a whole bunch of, of points on a graph, a whole bunch of data points. In between that, or, or the, the, uh, we have something called the standard deviation, which is different sort of segments of how far apart, how wide this, this, um, the differences between the uppermost echelon point and the lowermost echelon point are. Those, very, those different groups are standard deviations. So men tend to have a much, much higher mean in terms of physical strength, in terms of bone density, all of these things. And because that's an average, yes, you can't look at an outlier, though, and say, well, because there is X, this one outlier, that therefore contradicts what the mean is. The mean means that's the vast majority. That in terms of the standard, in terms of the standard deviations on a normal curve, so I, I explained standard deviations for a reason, <clears throat> Most things fall on a normal curve, and a normal curve is 50% of the population on either side, 25% above, 25% below, and then you have the, the, the outliers on the very side. You're talking about like the 1-1% one, one at, the, at the tail, tail end. Aiden. That, that very tippity top tail doesn't matter. I'm trying to be helpful. You're you're trying to chat too. You, you are trying to explain <laughs> algebra to someone who can't do addition yet. Statistics. <laughs> it's, just, it's just basic, basic, basic. Uh, statistics. Uh, that, that's that's how you plot things on on a, on a you know standard graph, right? Women. However, that is not a universal truth, as there are always exceptions yes, to it averages. Is. Doesn't matter. Not to mention a completely Doesn't reasonable matter. question is why does if they're exceptions, then they're not averages. It, it, does it, being it, bigger and stronger make you better? Like sure, in physical. Yes, yes, it does. Aspect of it. But like I criticized this in the first video, and they did get some criticism. People saying, "Oh, well, because they're bigger and stronger, that means they are morally better." And like the other video I did, and that just makes no sense because the only worldview where that makes sense, where being bigger and stronger makes you the more morally superior. It when did we ever say being stronger you, you never, and bigger makes you morally superior? You never made that argument. You, you can no. say that that men are more logical, but that's not that also has nothing to do with the. the I've never the said men are more difference. morally superior because they have physical prowess. That doesn't no. even make any fucking sense. Isn't a might makes right kind of world? No, no, no. Where we, we, I've never. I don't even agree with that. No, I'm never. Only agree power, with that. sometimes only physical, but sometimes just power in general matters to one's morals. And granted, I don't agree with that philosophy, what? but if that's one's philosophy, uh, neither do I. Okay, so that's. Right, moving on. Philosophy, that's what it is. However, a true version of that philosophy wouldn't allow for sexism because, once again, women can be big and strong and men can be weak and small. So, true version of like might makes right philosophy wouldn't let you be what? sexist because. What do you. What do you. What. Do you, what, what oh, okay. How the hell <sighs> does right, that even make any sense? Let's try, let's try to walk through this. All right. So, be. So, he's assigned an, an ideology or philosophy to you, might makes right, that you don't hold. That which is not only might make right, but might might makes smart, which I have never heard you say anything even approaching, and you've <laughs> reiterated is not uh, how you think because that's silly. Um, so you don't think that just because someone is stronger, therefore they are smarter. Men are well in terms of the intelligence. Going back to that, I know I put people to sleep, but going back to that standard deviation mean thing, men tend to have a far broader uh, standard deviation. Uh, for their IQ. So you have more really stupid men and more really, really intelligent men. 
women's IQ tends to be far more narrow. So women are more likely to tend towards the mean. That means all women are more likely to have an IQ of around 100. But with men, you get absolute dipshits and, and absolute geniuses. So <clears throat> when we say things like men are, are, are smarter, there are more men who are geniuses than there are women. That is a, there's also more men who are abject uh, dipshits than are women. But yes. do you see, I think like that these are just like these, these standards. But none of that has anything to do with physical strength. It can be related because it's both related to masculinity and, and in terms of being a man, in terms of your XY chromosome, but it's, it's also, not what Spoon's ever said. In this worldview, sexism would guarantee you the outcome because you're dealing with people in power. Mm -hmm. And if your worldview is based on strength, the upper echelon is only men. Yeah. Yep. So, yes, Absolutely. this would absolutely be a sexist worldview. In fact, it, like if you go by physical prowess, it would only be men. Mm -hmm. There would be no women. It'll be only yeah. men because the strongest <laughs> in the society are always men. Right. And the other thing, too, about the, this, this, this women being... So if you can find one... First of all, there is a reason why women are so upset about the transgender athlete thing. And that's because... Men are significantly we, we, they, we know. Women athletes know. And it is demonstrably so that men, on average, are stronger. Men are more able, are able to gain muscle more easily. They're able to... Uh, much more easily, actually. Uh, and, and including in groups that where women have very much struggled to gain muscular uh, advantages. Men are faster. Men are stronger. I mean, these are just facts of, of, of biology. So, I, I, and that's why women are trying to fight to keep men who claim to be women out of their sports because anyone who's an, a female athlete knows that they can't compete with a man. Maybe, maybe the weakest man, sure, but n not a man who's trying to compete even a little bit. And if you look at some of these transgender athletes, they will go f when they're a man and they're competing as a man, and then they go to identifying as a woman. And like when they're competing as a man, they're in like the lowest, lowest, lowest uh, rankings. They do terribly. Oh, then all of a sudden they identify as a woman, and all of a sudden they they are beating all the women's asses. Why do you think that is? That's because men and women are physiologically different. Go ahead. <clears throat> no, sorry. Then it's kind of like you have to pick one. Do you want to be sexist or do you want to follow what makes right here? Because you got to pick one and you just can't really have it both ways under that kind of philosophy. <laughs> Another thing can. is that he goes on how men are smaller than women and that is a complicated question, but like oh, there's not really solid this. evidence of that this. either. Most evidence seems to suggest that either men and women on average are about the same intelligence. Nope, there is this. some data to suggest that men are somewhat prone to being on more of the extreme ends. Like they would there be more hey, smart men, it. but also more dumb men compared hey, to hey, women hey, who more on it. average seem to be around the middle. However, this is hard to tell and somewhat That's inconclusive. Not. There no, is some areas where, certain, where the sexes are better at some things, but they no, are no, no, overall no, intelligent. Hang on, hang on, hang women on, hang on. are in general better hang with on. language and communication. Pause, pause, spoon, pause. Okay. No, no, no. It's not up for debate. That's not. That's not like something that's 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 a, a blurry or a little bit confused. No, that is the statistical averages. Now, people don't like IQ, so that's what you could maybe make an argument of. Oh, IQ is not a good measurement. Well, you'd have to look into like the way in which they're actually measuring and how that's conducted. But no, uh, very consistently we find this broader versus narrower standard deviations in the IQs of men and women. I mean, I'm glad that he brought up the point that I did. That makes me pretty happy. But <laughs> no, but no, it's it's not inconclusive. No, it's very conclusive. <laughs> My men are better with stuff like spatial reasoning. This kind of makes yep. sense if you look at how that's played out through our course human history, but there's no good studies that seem to suggest that no, there a is a bunch. strong indication that one sex is smaller than the other. And that goes for the there's feminists too. Yes, men and women is. just seem to be of roughly equal intelligence. And once no, again, even if there was that men on average were smarter than women... Pause. If you're going to make a claim like that, you need to show me some evidence. If you're going to make a claim that says there's no studies that show this, I need you to go through and show me that there's no evidence. Because in fact, if you just go to... My dude. <clears throat> I know it might be difficult to find if you're just Googling stuff and reading a bunch of feminist articles or whatever that are, are telling you that. But no, there's a plethora of data on this, and it's been very consistent. They don't like to conduct it as much now, but it's not changed over time. And if you go to Google Scholar, dig a little deep, spend a little time digging into the research on this, you're going to find that it is consistent. It has remained consistent over time in perpetuity. So... Yeah, uh, there are, there, there's, there's pretty strong data on this one uh, over a longitudinal period. Yeah. I mean, this would still be an average. There would always be outliers and exceptions to the rule. So once again, basing... Yes, and those exceptions would be the people in power. Exceptions to the rules. We should <laughs> never, never, ever, ever base anything scientific on, on an outlier. We call these outliers. So like I said, at that very far ends on either side of the, uh, either side of the, the normal curve, right? Those 
five percent, those those like five percent that are like the most, most, most of whatever, most strong women, most uh, smart women, right? If it's five percent, that's attributable potentially to standard error within the five percent confidence interval. You can just statistically, via mathematics, discount them as existing, which I know sounds fucked up, but that's how it worth, works mathematically. They, are, they, can, they can literally be discounted because they, they are so little of the population, statistically speaking. I'm not saying to discount them as people, I'm saying they're, they're discounted statistically. And your worldview on this is rather poor. And it gets back to another thing that kind of just happens in the entirety Ooh, of the windy. video, if you notice, is that the entirety of it is primarily based around just groupthink, how all men and all women are like this. But this isn't like me going on some that's, rant here. It's that, just that's, a statement of that's fact. There are always exceptions way. to the rule. Mm -hmm. And basing mm -hmm. your entire worldview on what is the what everyone must think this one way will always come back to bite you in the end. Because you'll end up overlooking good candidates for jobs or positions because you're looking for traits that aren't necessarily equal to that. Well, uh, yeah, that's No one disputed any of this, by the way, so I'm not also, quite sure what the fuck was the point of any of that. It, it, well, it's exactly why we're in so much of the, the issues that we are in, in that people do not get hired for their value. They get hired for their sex, for their race. And, and it's not men being hired for being men. White, if you're a white guy and you're looking for a job, you are so screwed because you don't Especially mean anything like... You're so screwed. You don't mean any of the DI qualifications. I guess just claim to be gay or claim to be non-binary. That's probably your best bet. Because what are they going to do? You want to be trans. ask you about it. Yeah. Well, no, and non-binary is easier because if you say you're trans, they might, it's going to be like, mm, but you're not trying. Well, uh, thanks for being a good sport about it. <laughs> Take care. All right. And then another thing he says that, oh, women can't hold power. They always mess this kind of thing up. But that's true. not even they true. Do. I mean, yes, the Queen is. Victoria, he loves to say so much, literally was ruling over England during one of, if not its most She was what? not an acting monarch in the sense of she's actually wielding political power. No. That is not how the British Catherine government was. works. Right, right. Uh, it hasn't worked for a, a long time. Jesus Gray was. Christ, kid. But uh, not 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 uh, not Vicky in the same way. That was not. I mean, post Magna also, Carta, nobody really was in the in the way that you and I would probably prefer. But you know, yes. Powerful time in history, and well to be loved, but well beloved monarch. We don't exactly call it the Victorian age for nothing, after all. Another yes, it's because she yeah. was the monarch of yeah. the English country at that moment in fucking time. If you go to my Twitter, there is literally a pinned picture of Queen Victoria, which she yep. says, I am most anxious to enlist everyone who can speak or write to join in checking this mad wicked folly of women's rights with yes. all of its anti-attendant horrors on which her poor feeble sex is bent, forgetting every sense of womanly feebles and propriety. Feminists ought to get a good whipping. Were women to unsex themselves by reclaiming equality with men, they would become boy. the most hateful, heathen, and disgusting of beings who would surely perish without male protection. It's one of my favorite Vicky quotes, uh, that, or one of my favorite quotes about feminism in general, followed only, I think, by Florence Nightingale's one, which is... Um, Florence Nightingale was... Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, she had no chill, uh, which I always like to read her. Where does if I look at if uh, I look at those two and I'm like these, I find it funny because Queen uh, Queen Victoria, um, Florence Nightingale is like considered like a feminist icon. I'm like, why? You know what uh, that woman says about woman? Holy shit! It's crazy. Wait, wait, wait. She is not exactly pro Huaman. Yes. Where is it? I actually found the honey badgers talk about it. They found they found their website. Uh, women crave uh, for being loved, not for loving. They scream out uh, at mm. you for sympathy all day long. They are incapable of giving any in return, for they cannot remember your affairs long ago to do so. <clears throat> Kevin asking, why do we talk about women's wrongs? Because I still have a life <laughs> yes, to lead. Yes, yes. <laughs> they cannot. St I have to take an allergy pill. Fuck. Uh, they cannot state a fact accurately to another, nor can they attend to it accurately, accurately enough for it to become information. Uh, now, uh, uh, now is not at all the result. Now, is not all this the result of want for sympathy? That's Florence Nightingale. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Based. Based. Let's go. Another thing he says to explain the reason of how this happened was because, oh, society isn't religious anymore. Like, people aren't religious, so they fall into feminism or something like that. Yeah, I can't true. really tell.
The West, what, what, by the way, not the world <laughs> overall, but all right. Yeah, and if you can't, if you can't tell, then you shouldn't make And, like, on that's that. just not really true. Yeah, it is. Like, most people in the world today are religious. Like, in yeah, the this world, this is not the indicative the West, of the though. world. It's the West, yeah. Like, just a little over one billion are atheists or atheists or agnostic, and most others look, are look in the US. religious to some variety. Britain. There's, like, two, over two point billion Christians. Canada. Hey, kid, is there, um, is there a massive amount of feminism influence in, say, um, Saudi Arabia? Oh no! Or any Islamic like country? The, no. The, you Wonder why? For that, yeah. Based. One point billion Muslims, a little over, a little Based over point. one billion Hindus, and stuff like that. So the world is majority <laughs> religious. So that's not really a good argument of how. And they don't have feminism in those areas, you dumb asshole. Jeez, that's not a good point. Yeah. That's like schooling yourself. I'm thinking. Aiden, did you know that the, that Florence Nightingale's descendant has played the fate game her sexy anime version comes from? No, but that's insane. That's awesome. Uh, oh. Go ahead. Push the right. button. How things have changed. And also, it's like, one thing he says that, oh, men used to work themselves to the bone to provide themselves for their family and such. And, like, that is technically true. Not but technically, it, it's just true. why they had to do it. It wasn't because they were, you know, they were trying to build up some legacy of how men are superior. It was because life... No one says it's superior. It's because that's no. just what they were supposed to do. I think, like, I don't remember. I don't know the exact what he's, he's talking about. I'm, I'm sure I've seen it, but... <clears throat> in the 19, you know... Anything before women's uh, complete uh, like movement to try and take over the workplace, it was men worked themselves to the bone. But guess what? The household was in order. More generally speaking, we had it was, <laughs> divorce was basically a non-issue. I mean, you could still get divorced, but it was very rare. It was very shameful. And also, one man could provide for a family of eight on one salary. Could you even imagine that today? And if one, your room, if your house was lacking rooms, you would just literally just build more. Yeah. Could you imagine today one person's salary for the average person? I'm not talking about like you know the ultra elite. One person being able to pay for to have to have seven kids. It's it's unfathomable today, but it wasn't in the 1950s. One man could pay for that because we have created non jobs, fake jobs for women. And I, I sent you that clip earlier of that one woman being like, here's a day in my life as being a manager. And she just, oh, she doesn't work. She doesn't do anything. She just eats. And it's not the only, yeah. I've seen tons and tons of and videos. And take like pictures on fucking years. Instagram. Right. I, I mean, we've played some of them on the stream before where it's just, she just sits around. She answers emails occasionally and then eats and drinks coffee and, and gets sushi. And it's like, okay, great. And takes an Uber to and from work. Unbelievable. Yes, th these are fake jobs that were created to make women feel equal, but they're not equal. It's not a real job. They don't do anything. Yes, it's busy work, Minerva. Exactly, it's busy work. Pointless. Life was hard. Like, very, very hard. Like, especially before the Industrial Revolution, but even during and after it. People do not understand how hard the old world was. How hard yeah, things were. It wasn't just men who had to work to the bone. It was the women and the children. People. Yes, and it was very fucked up. We, but and I'm, I'm not... I am not praising the things that happened in the earlier in, early industrial revolution where yeah women were put into <coughs> essentially slave labor and and made to, to lick uranium pe uh, uh, paint tips to to paint clocks that would glow in the dark and then developed horrifying uh, diseases as a result. Yeah, that's messed up. But that's not wi women working did not like end that or fix that. That was a result of a change in, in technology, technology. The industrial revolution. So, uh, which then a couple of decades later, we get the 1950s era, which I know is 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 and, and anything past the industrial revolution. It started to go back to no, 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 women shouldn't be in the workforce. And by the way, even then, a lot of the women that were in the workforce, uh, there was something else like she couldn't find a husband for some reason or another. You know, she's ugly uh, as shit. Ugly or a former prostitute. There was a bunch of stuff like that that, that made her unable to obtain a husband. Or, or very poor. Or very poor. Which is, an, look, we're not saying, I don't want to go back to that kind of stuff. Um, in terms sure? of that kind of. In terms of if someone bit. is, in, in terms of if someone is born poor, they need to uh, sit in a uh, factory for 20 hours a day and, and lick paint brushes covered in uranium. Yeah, I don't There's think a lot of people great. I think that should be doing that. Well, yeah, but you know what I mean. They're mentally fit for just doing the society, that. <laughs> let's not, let's not do that one. Let's go back.
People had to work very, very hard to survive. And that's part of where some of these old ideas radium, came from. Radium, not uranium, from. thank you. Part of our necessity and part of our misunderstanding of certain things. At least, it's hard to explain this whole different conversation, but it's also there. It wasn't just men in the past being super sexist for no particular reason. It was a complicated series of issues stemming from tribal shenanigans and what? history. And it's tribal no, shenanigans? No, it isn't. And history? You mean, you mean the natural order of society? Women are subservient to men. That's the natural order. Because women need men to protect us. That You remember the natural, about history. The shenanigans of history. If women didn't have men, the human species, and I'm not even talking about, like, for, for reproductive purposes. If men didn't protect women, there would be no human race. We developed this relationship with one another so that we are protected. That's it. It's not complicated. So that we're, we are physically less adept on average and by the vast majority on average. So no, this wasn't just like a fluke of the universe. This is human evolution. It's just the whole thing. And also he says like, oh, that's why every society all across the world has always restricted the power of women, which is just... I mean, that kind of just goes back into another thing he said where the whole thing was that is that he compared women, like adult women, to children saying how you don't restrict the like, rights and powers those of a child. A you didn't, oh, okay, you, you you tweeted that? Or you put it in the... No, someone else put that as a tweet. And I thought oh, it was funny. Oh, I agree funny. with that, though. But I agree with that. Women women functionally are more akin to children than they are to adult men. Because women are, are... Children, they need to be protected, much as do women. Yeah. So women, like, just as in terms of our place and role in society, are closer to children than they are to an adult male. And I don't think there's, and, and by the way, I don't think there's anything to be sh ashamed of in that. It's uh, it's just the way things are. I don't I don't understand why people why women why some people, including this guy and other women, find that shameful. It's okay. You're the, we are the weaker sex. That's all right. It's fine. Just deal with it. you can again you can still do stuff. You can be intelligent, but just accept your. It's not big for West Virginia, apparently. Hey, 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 we're not all so bad. <laughs> it's, like, it's funny, the dichotomy, the absolute dichotomy between the two West Virginians here, right? <laughs> because you hate them, because you love them. And like, listen, I'm not saying it's impossible that Spoonhead does legitimately say these things out of some kind of like of women. But it doesn't change the fact that that is just a horrible mentality you have to compare adult people, adult women, or anyone to a child for no reason. Am I ruining this this guy's shot? Because everything, because as a woman, I keep being like, nah, nah, strong agree with Spoon. <laughs> and other than the sex and saying their history rights stripped away, forced to do only what you dignify they do, is just crazy. Like, if the tables were turned, would you want it to happen to you? Well, why would the tables be turned? They never would be turned. Yeah, I'm a guy. Because because men are better. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. And I'm not saying, I mean, I, I mean by that, men are better physically, mentally, in, in terms of logic, just on terms of averages, right? And I'm using averages, but it's the vast majority. Like I said, you gotta look at how the statistics break down on this. Women need, and also throw into the whole mix, hormones and stuff. I know that this is probably something he would not like to hear, but if you don't know, my dude, women have this whole cycling thing that they do where there's certain parts of the month where we just go insane and i know that every, i know people would be like oh that's not true not me yeah come on be honest like don't anyone who's being serious knows that because of women's hormone cycling it makes us be irrational more irrational than normal at different times of the month it's just why you shouldn't be in power because you would exactly base policies in that time of the month which is you, fucking horrifying men's hormones are stable more, men's hormones are stable women's are not they're constantly fluctuating and it's not just like Oh, just when she's on her period. No, 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 no. Your hormones fluctuate the entire month. So that's why women sometimes make weird, stupid, often make weird and stupid decisions outside of intelligence just because she's she's uh, premenopause or uh, premenstrual, right? Or perimenstrual. That, that, enough, uh, uh, that alone is enough to make a woman make a really dumb decision because she's feeling particularly emotional or my tummy hurts. And speaking of someone who has a bunch of, of issues with my tummy hurting in this regard, you know what I mean? It's just, uh, it's a thing that happens, and that's why I completely agree with you, dude. At least men are stable hormonally, right? We've got the IQ difference, we've got the, uh, 
uh, we've got the strength difference and also the stable hormonal difference. And once again, you can't really give solid proof of why this should be like that. And then this gets to... Uh, yes, we can. It is the fact that, well, what Adrian just mentioned, and uh, number two is women rear the young. Mm -hmm. The reason they're like mm -hmm. this is because they give birth. Do mm -hmm. you know that uh, if you happen to have sex, well done when you finally do that, um, and you know you ejaculate in a female, right? Like there's a chance that the sperm cell fertilizes an egg, and then you get a zygote, and then babies grow from that, and then women give birth. Right? And the reason why they're so attached to that is because it grew inside of them. Well, it's also and then they also push it out of them. A genetic response, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's hormonal. The woman's body is absolutely. F you know why women kill their babies? Because they're insane. It's actually because, so oxytocin is the bonding hormone, right? Um, that makes us, both men and women produce oxytocin. It, it is produced after about eh, 10 seconds of skin to skin contact. When women give birth, uh, mulnoparious women, not mulnoparious, parious women, it's, uh, their bodies are so flooded with so much oxytocin, the hypothesis is that it, they're, they're so high, essentially, on this, like, bonding drug that they this bonding hormone that it makes them go crazy and that's why they kill their their babies like they call it uh, i can't remember the name of it but it's it's that um post uh postpartum depression yeah postpartum depression or postpartum insanity essentially where they because once they've given birth the body's just like oh, oxytocin 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 so we think that's why they go nuts and, and kill the baby because it's just it's an overload of hormones but every, everyone produces oxytocin otherwise we wouldn't pair bond kind of the final point breathing into the rumble video and, and because like like for example in the rumble video here is that like what like one of the things it said was that you know all this happens because women don't get enough sex like that, that was his main thesis kind of in that one is that the, all these crazy feminist women or just well in his mind feminist like the actual definition is somewhat vague in this case but you know i mean we're just because they won't gain enough do it like as he says oh no you're completely right on that these women go nuts because they're not getting any dick i mean i was talking about like the activist leftist types I was I know, I know, in general. Yeah. No, I know. I know. I, know but I, I could figure that out from his vague description. And I do remember now watching <laughs> this video of yours. But yeah, like, uh, yeah, they, they, they do go nuts because they're not getting any dick. And they're getting old and their ovaries are shriveling up and they're going like, <laughs> you know, it's yeah. okay. I mean, but it's just true. Like, by the way, also men go crazy when they can't get sex. Have you seen the incel movement? I mean, like, when people. Yeah, but when, when men go crazy when they don't get sex, they just become kind of depressed. Yeah, you know, when, yeah. When women don't get women dick, they go fucking crazy. They, they, they yeah. do all kinds of weird shit. Like, they gang up in groups and say a whole bunch of weird shit. Like, I mean, fucking oh. hell. Spoon, you're in contact with HB, right? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm just let, let, letting him know to, that we're, whenever he wants to come on, we're pretty much done with this, you know? I mean, we'll, I we'll finish this up here. Yeah. Just, 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 uh. Yeah. Because I thought he'd be on about eight thirty. That's when we originally agreed on. We started. Oh. We started a little bit early because we wanted to do this. I think we were at nine. nine. Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, right, right at nine. Okay. Oh, wait. Cool. Cool. Yeah. cool. All right. So we got plenty of time. Okay. Cool. Yes. Okay. And I quote, uh, sensitive partially though, women need to be the D word until they're back at black and blue to fix them. What'd or you I say? Uh, women need to be beaten with dick black and blue. <laughs> women need to get dick down until they're black and blue. That's basically. Dude. This was on Rumble for a reason, by the way. I know, I know. But also, oh, he pulled this from Rumble. <laughs> okay. Look up, my dude, look up what women's most common sexual fetishes and fantasies are. Do you want, is at the top of the list, rape. Yeah, I'm just women saying. like to be subjugated by men. Like, that's just power fantasy. Well, Scrump, Scrump asked me about that a while back, and I had to think about it. Like, what, why is it that women fantasize about being raped? And I had a couple of different ideas as to it one of them would be that if all the men in your tribe get killed it would be like well i better enjoy this uh so that you know because i'm gonna have to deal with it now so maybe there's something that's hot that's about quite it. fucked up i i have to look at things from an evolutionary psychological perspective it's still that's, screwed that's, up yes it is screwed up but if you're trying to sur so what is evolution survive so if your goal is to survive and your tribe's just been killed and all your men have been wiped out and some other tribe took you over Maybe then you find the conquering tribe uh, sexy. Your 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 evolution has has programmed you to be that way. That's the, what makes the most sense to me. You know what I mean? 
At, at least that's a hypothesis. I don't. Who could possibly know why? Who could possibly know? He's not gonna be able to get data on this. But why? Why? Because if if it's something like, and I looked this up, it's something like seventy percent of women have had a rape fantasy. If it's that much, then there's got to be an evolutionary rationale for it. You know what I mean? Well, because there's women are just be fucked up. Rationale. But but yes, but how do they become fucked up? Because they're attracted to men to with muscle and power. Yes, that's part of it too. It's men with muscle and power. I think that's part of it. But I think also the reason why the rape fantasy in particular might be part of it. We're just speaking because like there's something um, there's something comforting in being dominated because you might not die. Right. Sure. But why? We are, the reason why I would say that that probably developed is to be like, oh yeah, so that way, yeah, I won't die. So just you know, dominate me, daddy. Oh my god, this shit with this fucking Savannah Marie woman. Oh my god, I can't deal with it right now. Um, so I'm gonna. I, I forgot to send it out yet, but Chad Logic uh, wa reacted to this video of this horrific woman. Did I talk about this yesterday? I didn't. This, um, did I talk about this? <clears throat> the, the, the scammer payback guy? Basically, if you don't know, there's a bunch of people on YouTube who do scam baiting, where they go call up Indian scammers and waste their time or fuck with them or actually expose their call centers. We don't know how bad Indian scam baiting or scamming is. It's horrific. They will they basically just predate on um, predate on old people. Try to they scare the shit out of them and say like, "You send me your card now, or else you know you are going to be put under the jail." Well, some Indian woman who worked with with uh, uh, these scam baiters uh, is now accusing him of being uh, of grooming her. She's a full adult woman. She's twenty eight years old, I believe, when this happened. 28 year old woman accused him of, of grooming her. And then the crazy thing is this Savannah Marie bitch who made a, a video exposing the scam baiters included all of their sexts and the Indian woman he was working with. I did this yesterday. Yeah, do not redeem. Any, okay, I already talked about this. I couldn't remember if I talked about it because I've been talking to people all flat, like all fair about it. Okay. Anywho, <laughs> that shit's insane. That's woman shit. That is absolute fucking crazy woman shit of just, you know. Uh, I, I'm going to just use and abuse you, and then the second that I don't get what I want from you, aka more money, which is what she wanted, then she dips, and 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 calls him and calls him a groomer as an adult woman. This is this is the problem. This is the fucking problem. Fucked up, yes. This is the fucking problem. God damn. And go check out Chad Logic's channel. Either way, I'll, I'll uh, let me post his his. Oh, I I will post it on Twitter. I think because it's like three hours long. Okay, like, so. <laughs> Clip from live streams, so yeah. But go check out Chad Logic because he's been covering it. And, oh my god, it's so annoying. I think fix. I think it was alright. It's not annoying. There, it's but disgusting. um, yeah. I don't think I need to explain to you how that's messed up. I really hope it isn't. I really hope I don't have to. And overall, it's just I think that shows is that I don't. I don't know. If Spoonhead actually hates women. I. It's quite possible. He well, Spoon. Hmm. Do you hate me? Every day. I hate you as well. There Just kidding, go. love you, bro. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't give him ammo. <laughs> now that he know how to clip it. <laughs> he doesn't know how to clip shit. I like him around. I know. Oh, you, you love me. You're my bestie. Come on, be gay. <laughs> Stop being so gay. <laughs> be Sorry, a big God. gay with me. Come on. He He's just being silly. He knows it. <laughs> oh, spoo wound. <laughs> Tell me, tell I me hate you with every point. inch of my body. I <laughs> uh, love you too, homie. <laughs> he doesn't, like I said. But the point is, these ideas will hurt women. They won't just hurt women, they'll hurt men. They'll hurt everyone. Because if you hurt one half of society, you hurt the other half. Because we are meant to work. <clears throat> you, you don't think that maybe falls on women as well? You no, dumbass. Only on men, apparently. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Together. We are not meant to be in this adversarial relationship. And this is what this kind of stuff pushes. It pushes that insert sex is the enemy. To the left, they think men are the enemy. To the right, they think women are the enemy. But it doesn't matter because yeah, at the end, true. they both are not the enemy. We are people. We are individuals who have our place inside. Most people on the right do not see women as the enemy. We, they see women, and I'm talking about on, on our side of the right. We see that women have their place. Most sensible people don't see them as people. <laughs> what, what, what we generally, and I'm using a very broad we, and I am I am being solipsistic and making Where's Bill when I need him? 
Uh, downstairs. I mean, what do you want him to say? <laughs> and ask his opinion. Bill, are women people? Hey, Bill, are women people? He says no. There you go. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> New York account Bill to back me up on that one. <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> I love the I love the dull last way he responded. Just no. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, my dude, if you're yeah. listening to this at some point in the future, understand it's a little bit of a meme. At the same time, we recognize that there are sex differences. We have our roles to play. Okay? Yep. Right. It's all right. Sexuals. Because we are people. By living in society, you have your place in it. Your, your place in society is defined by what you do with it. Yes, and that place of, of yours is on the ground. In, underneath the so heel of my boot. It's in the home, okay? <laughs> Again, women can do no, stuff I mean like him. that. No, I mean him. Oh, oh. Women, women can do stuff outside of outside of the home if they want, but women's main place is... is yes, with the permission of men. Yes. No, that's, uh, that's been satirical. I wasn't actually being literal. Oh, no, I agree. I, no, I, I, no, I mean, no, no, it's not, I'm not that bad for God's sake, Jesus Christ. Women do well, have agency say, of their own at times. Uh, I'm not saying I need to go said, outside with the, the wait, permission wait, wait, of men. That's that's permission? a bit much. I should let me be. Let me be. Let me re rephrase that. I'm not freaking Saudi Arabia. With God's with sense. with men's, sure, sure. Women need to work, and men need to work around each other. So by permission of men, what I thought you meant by that, which <laughs> okay, now I realize that maybe that was a little fucked. Yeah. With the permission of men is with men's protection. I hate you. In tandem with men. Women cannot work without men. Men cannot work without women in terms of we, we are a sexually dimorphic species, so obviously we need to work together. Men can work significantly better without women around. That is true. That is true. <laughs> when I say work with, though, I mean... Um, yeah. In, like in coexist. The not, not, not in work. Yes, yes, coexist. Not not work in terms yes. of like actual uh, labor. Yeah. Oh, God. It's a lot better when women are not around for that kind of shit. Yeah. Unless you're filming a sex scene, I suppose. In which case, I suppose they imagine they'd be necessary. Mm. <sighs> Only fans. Subscribe today. Oh, <laughs> God. Go ahead. Play. And sometimes the circumstances of your birth and all that jazz. But that's the thing. All of this talk, both from the right and the left, where they blame men or women, is just blaming. It's uh, No, women are legitimately mm -hmm. an actual problem. Yeah, the, the modern-day current woman is... Kind of an actual problem, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's just true. Uh, yes. Blaming the problems of the world on someone else. And sometimes they're right. Sometimes it, well, first of all, you can never define problems as big as men or women because... Yes, we can. We have yeah, a whole freaking list of, of things. Broad social trends. Yes, you can. Yes, people you can. on a hive mind. People are people. Like, no, individuals people are, will people always... People are prone towards hive mentality. People are prone, it's called groupthink, my dude. Look that one up. Except you and I, we're freak weirdos because we're monarchists. Yeah, I know, but that's okay. It's alright to be a freak. We're, okay, we're fine. But you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm I like being a freaky monarchist. I'm going to play something after this ends, before HB comes over. It's going to be not the Sydney Watson thing. That one is in my women section. But... I, I, I want to hear I want to hear um, Hard Bastards take on that. Yeah. Because I mean, yeah. uh, uh, it, it was a gay guy who actually sent me that. Nice. Uh, and I just looked at He's actually a South African cool worse. guy. And I, I just looked at him and I. Sydney? The first 10 seconds of your snotty fucking attitude is I going to make Sid, me bulldoze so, you. I really like I, 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 I may lot, like her as a person, but the snotty attitude of Mike is just take. like, there's something back in my head where like, oh, a woman who is snotty and wrong. Oh, God, it's like, ah, oh, I'm off the flame. I must demolish woman. Yeah, Do not get I, I snotty like when you're wrong. It, it does not, it's not a good look. It's very, She's very bad. very smart. She's usually very smart, but that was a bad take. We'll, we'll cut it later. But I okay, so that for kids, you're still alive. <laughs> we may be in the chat, actually, so... On them, because we are humans. And that's the important part to remember. We aren't just men or women or black or brown or white or... No, but there's differences between all those groups, by the way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or this or that. We are humans. Each... Like the one makes the Champs Elysees, the other one can barely make a mud hut. So I mean, yeah, like, sure, we're not the sure, same people. Yes. Sure, we're all humans, <laughs> but but there are there are dem demonstrable differences between. Yes. S some of them are. Some more... of us great statues and language and build countries. Other people can't even build a home. 
Some of them are more pronounced than others, Mm. but there are definitive (sighs) differences between groups. Now, I do want to point out, as I always have to, Europeans, and as he has pointed out, as he has pointed out as well, does not is not a determinant for every single person who belongs who is a member of X Y Z group. Okay, of course not. However, but but it is fun to make fun of it. Yes, and we're talking about averages, and averages is how we have to do things statistically in order to understand broad social trends. So yeah, you are. We enjoy taking the piss here. There's going to be some woman who is a big, strong muscle beast. She will never be as strong as a, a male bodybuilder or, or lifter or something, but she can no. definitely best a bunch of like, you know, soy. I, I've, I've seen, I, I have seen a bunch of like girls who are like legitimate like bodybuilder types, and they mm-hmm. they literally have taken drugs, and they take like some guy who looks a lot thinner than they are. Yeah, they're not as like quite bulky, right. and the men still kick the shit out of them. It's like, but maybe if you if you have these are people competing. You you have the, you have a, a female a female maybe not bodybuilder. Let's say like she's she's a she's trained athlete, athlete not power lifter, right? And mm-hmm. have her go up against against. I'm sorry, this guy, right? She will outperform him. Maybe that's where he's coming from. He's thinking from his perspective. He's like, yeah, this this big large woman, she could out outlift me, and that's true. But if you worked out every day like she did, you'd have to spend a fraction of the time that she would have to spend to get to her physique. To, because to of like the, the strength level, her. yes. Yes, yes. You'd have to spend a fraction of it. Because women's bodies yes. are, are made to build fat to store yes. for periods of a, a lack of food, right? For, for, that's, women's bodies are built this way for a reason. And men and have to attract come to men. find, but women, men have come to find that attractive because of the previously stated evolutionary purpose. So men find booby and uh, big booby and big butt attractive in part because these are things that collect fat as a result to help the woman survive for longer periods of time than men can. And also because it's healthy. Yes, but it's, but, Mm. you know, these are all uh, interceding and and interacting factors from the evolutionary perspective. Yeah, it just all makes sense. You just had to think about it for a minute and it all makes sense. Just if you ever ever got a question, which is what I always do, whenever I come up with, I ever come across them and they go like, why does that? Ha- why is that the case? Just ask why would it evolve that way, and think about it for a couple of seconds, and you'll be like, "Oh, that's why." And if you have I mean, a function- before, fat people <laughs> used to be more attractive because brain, of an indication of it wealth. Out. That's not true. That's actually a lie. Did you know that, that the whole thing is made up? Are you sure? Yes. I don't know this. You mean kind of. No, no, no. I mean, I th- that whole thing. I've looked into it. Be- I've not made a video about it. Is what I mean. But the Roman times, really? the idea that the idea that being fat was attractive. No, having a little bit of excess fat, like a little bit on the tummy, a little bit in the titty and the butt. Yes, but that's like I just said. That's because those. Yeah, are it wasn't like you survived. fucking land whale. Oh, okay, because there was. We're a not bu- saying Lizzo. Sure, sure, because there were a bunch of feminists who, for years, have been claiming that. Well, did you know that in the past, can, being fat was considered hot? No, no, having no. a little bit of excess weight was considered. It was a sign of wealth, not attraction. Right. Well, a sign of wealth, and, and it could be attractiveness too. So, but not not being a land whale, just having a little. You, you could you could have a lot of money in the world, or all of the money in the world, and be fat. You're still not going to have guys want to find you attractive. That's just not how that works. And if they yeah, do, it's because yeah. your money. It's not because your form. Like <laughs> it needs to be fucking right, real. Right, 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 right. Each one of us, a unique soul in this world, and that's the thing is that it's not. That uniqueness doesn't mean it's valuable, by the way. Not to not nope. to sound too psychotic. <laughs> Healthy to always blame your problems on someone else, because that's what a lot of this is. I will blame all of my problems on foreigners and my government, because those are the two <laughs> ones that are fucking me the hardest. And fuck off. <laughs> Who is who is the one screwing with the currency? Can I do that? No, the government's doing that. Then I can blame the government. Get the fuck out. It's mm-hmm. blaming yourself, blaming others for problems you have in your life at its core. And- Yes, and the problem is I'm currently losing purchasing power, and that is not my fault. That is the fault of the state. A lot of ways. Yeah, and, yeah. and this is the message I want to give you, okay? This is the message, especially oh, the message to young men you. who oh. are struggling because they can't find a date. They can't find a good paying job. They can't find a place in the world. Do you have any of those things, kid? I, I don't Because I feel if the answer is no, you are in no position to actually say any of those things. They feel like I, the entire I, world is being down on them. And there's a lot of truth to that. I'm not going to deny and say these problems don't exist because they do. But the thing is, you don't fix these problems by turning to crazy far-right people. Really? Crazy I can guarantee you, people. I can guarantee yeah, you they would get better life advice from me. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely far-right. I'm not crazy. 
Seems but compared to this one, I think I seem I'm quite rational. Right than you, Omi. Shut up, woman. Because that's but because that doesn't fix things. Sure, all the things inside. I I I like the idea of having a monarchy. <laughs> you just say so just get smoked because I'm further right than you. <laughs> This is according to that a means, shitty internet that, test. That, 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 that means I'm behind you, which means I can still grab you by the neck and drag you. Like ah! a caveman. Oh my god, did I show you that video of where, um, th that video where we were all making the, where we are making the eggs in the microwave? And then I, I called Nuka a chubby little queer, and then he literally grabbed me by the throat and picked me up off the ground. Based. <laughs> and <I'm> done. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I said, you're one to talk, you chubby little queer. And he <laughs> got Checked me out, it was funny as fuck. Why <laughs> the agility do need to be fixed? That is true. But not every problem can be or should be fixed by society. Like what? You want society to arrange you a girlfriend, to arrange you a good paying job? Is that at what, what you point said? Uh, is that helping you? And at what no. point is that just He thinks you're an incel, I think is what's happening. Coming from him, that's really not saying much though. It, it's I know, I think that he thinks you're it's an like incel. It's like a virgin criticizing me for not getting laid. <laughs> It's a little ironic. It's forcing yeah. you under authoritarianism. And I don't think anyone wants that. I hope no one wants that. Not really. Um, mm -hmm. Moving on. And I don't think anyone does at the core of cores, at least if you're not the boss of it or something. Can you say cause? Cause? Cause. Pause? What are you trying to say? Cause, as in C O R E. C oh, cores. Yes. Okay, well done, you're normal, because like he says cause with like a W. Yeah, or yeah. It's, yeah. Or it's C-A-U-S-C. I don't well, actually we, 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 know which we've, already, we've already figured out that there's some weird language stuff going on. Yes. Yeah, I didn't even understand that um, either. I thought he meant... So okay. many jokes I want to make cause, in Rome. as in cause, C-A-U-S-E. Oh, well. And that's the thing, it's like... Go ahead. And that's the thing, it's like, if you are struggling, try to find a way to improve your own situation, because you will always struggle. By have you ever, trying have you ever said to, anything other than that? Uh, I don't think I've ever said anything else. That's no, kind of, I've, you, I've, I've, I've never gone like, you know, full life coach mode, because I think that's cringe. No, no. Anyway. It is cringe, but. Yeah. But you never is the nature of this world. No, no, said that. There is no perfect time in human history where we never had to struggle. Str the Roman Empire when it was ruled by Caesar. Roman Empire, Roman Empire potion. Let's Roman Empire post. Let's go. <laughs> when we were under the time of Augustus. Did you see that? Apparently, like women are really. There's a bunch of women who are really mad about the Roman Empire posting. And they're like, don't, don't. Which mean I can't say cause either. That is dead. Or. <laughs> oh no! Now you called out. Oh, hang on, hang on. I know, I know it's. Dubs. Okay. Why is his table so low? It's because he's resting his arm on the table. That's that's why his arm is so long. You see, it's 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 to fit the aesthetic. Oh, okay. Because the arm is so much bigger than the rest of him. Like he, the the arm is literally bigger than the legs of his character. It's because he's wanking off. Um. So if if you if you were to unfold <laughs> these arms, his arms would be down to his ankles. Probably, yeah. Actually. No, just look at. No, I know. I went to art school, so I could just tell without un, without doing it, but. I went to art school and yet still end up not being total Hitler. <laughs> oh, that's why I'm not total Hitler, because I went to art school, right? <laughs> then you're a woman. So I became a libertarian <laughs> instead. How do you Way feel worse. about the Jews? Uh, the ones in the tunnels, or...? <laughs> <laughs> Struggle defines life. You will not fix your problems by only screaming to someone else to fix it. You have I've never advocated for doing any of that, by the way, so no. that's quite no, strange. No, no, don't ask... Asking someone else to fix it is, is weak boy shit. No, we don't want yeah. that. Have to learn to fix it. Press. Have to learn to fix it yourself. So, don't turn to these crazy- But I can't just take a shotgun, walk up to my country, blow his head off, and claim myself king. I, I, I can't do that. I'd like somebody else to do that, and then maybe they just take the throat, and then just go, we're gonna rule now, and fuck off. <laughs> and this, see this, this man here, right? This, this is my son. He's gonna rule in 25 years' time. Um, this is your son? Yes. Him right here? No, oh, for fuck's sake, you idiot! You can adopt him. You can, you can teach him. You you can help him. You. Can... I think it would be a massive crying shame and offensive What's to my genes if I adopt this kid. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, should, don't care. We should know. Um. Oh man, he was here in the chat. Now I've forgotten his name. Oh, now I feel like a dick. Uh. 
Who cares? Uh, 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 Autismo, my son, or Spoon's son. You can become he. he can if be you ever you call him ways. that, I will get <laughs> I will get Ben to smack you with the head with a mace until there is nothing left of you. This kid is radicalizing me. <laughs> also, I'd like. I, I, I'd, I'd like to have a kid with an American woman just because the kid will be African-American but still European. <laughs> and then I could troll the shit out of everyone. Like, I could make him the, the king of DEI because he's white and actually African. And it'd just be beautiful. Bro. The guy the who made the video the was in the chat, Justin. He was in the chat earlier. The ideologies. Instead, find the strength within yourself to fix this. And if you're a young man, that goes doubly for you in this case because... You're a twenty-year-old kid. Like you're literally talking to yourself. I feel like this. This is yeah. more like a speech for you than it is for anybody else. <laughs> William Norman Spoon. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm dying now. I hate all of you so very, very much. Let's finish this shit up. Because you don't want to fall into this kind of craziness. It's easy to with how they push you into it, but don't. Yes, yeah, don't let you. Your don't son. fall down that rabbit hole. We can discipline you if you keep fucking talking. <laughs> because in my opinion, it's a way more better thing to do as a human to find a way to make a better world than try to make a worse one just to spike the other sex. I don't even know where he's going off with this. Like, he's just gone off into, like, a, a, a fucking diatribe. It doesn't matter. The whole reason I want women to not vote is because they do dumb shit that fucks it up for everybody else. Yeah, it's, exactly. it's not because It's not because I hate them. It's because I hate their decisions. It's like, I think yeah, it would be a better again, world if you keep your mouth shut. It's it's not because I, I hate you. It's just I hate what you do. I'm your best friend. You're my best friend. But so, like, what the fuck? Like, I mean, you don't hate me. Oh, we don't want I, either you, of them. Well, you hate me sometimes, but it's only sometimes, when Sometimes, yes. <laughs> yourself. <laughs> when, I, when I'm being myself. <laughs> yeah. But still, this is silly. It's very silly. Yes, call him, I imagine, Spoonhead, I, call him Spoonhead Jr. Make him your son. Now, you call see, then, uh, now, I'll, I'll let you guys in on a secret. And I shouldn't tell Aiden this live on air, but mm. um, um, she annoys me all the time, right? like like constantly. And and she actually <laughs> enjoys doing that, right? Yes, and this is why I, I'm always late, because it's the one thing that pisses her off. I could easily oh, be oh, on time. Oh, you're doing this on purpose? Of no course. Way. I pride myself on actually being on time, but it annoys you. And you annoy me all the damn time, and this is the one where I can get you back. My God! How did you not figure that out yet? Cause I'm a woman. Mm. <laughs> I always but, um, have, um, like, I always have an ace in my sleeve, and I will oh always God. get you back. You, I will always. You absolute <laughs> dick! <laughs> 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 Fuck you, dude! <laughs> oh my God! No way! There's no way that is that what you do? You do this intentionally? Is it intentional? Of course, there are Sorry, times I, where I, I'm actually on time. Oh my god, I start I started fucking um summon and channel XQC there for a second. You intentionally are like, oh, I'm gonna go make tea now, right when we're supposed to start. Cause yeah, you dip. <laughs> I swear to god. Never cross the spoon. <laughs> fuck Do you. not fuck with me, now, by the way. I will I will always I, get I well, will always you be back. told me the truth. Now I know. <laughs> I know, but your reaction is worth it. Now, oh hopefully you'll be nicer God. to me now, now that you know I'm doing this. I'm always nice to you. <laughs> <clears throat> be nice to me, you'd remove that freaking AI thing that says the, the phrase that sh shall What's be mentioned. Spoon? Ooh, yeah, that one. I definitely will never do that again. Woo. Lucky just did it. And ultimately, that's why I want to end the video off. I hope this video inspires oh, no, not some oh, good messages in some of you, and I hope it makes someone's life better. I really do. Anyway, if you like this video, please like. All right, cool. Um, well, good for you, I guess. That's <laughs> like this patronizing way to end the video. <laughs> good for you, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And everyone who watches this will be a fan of mine who will probably tear it to pieces. Okay, so speaking of women, because we've got a couple more stories. Ackman did not call me a Nazi, by the way, for God's sakes. Ackman called you a Nazi? Ackman doesn't even know who I am. Yeah. If he, right. Okay, if he called me a Nazi, show me the video where he called me a Nazi. Ackman's like a... He, he got into... It's a... I don't want to get into that. Ackman is I'd like a, to see he, a video where he called me a Nazi. That'll be funny. He, he talks about, like, uh, video games usually, but he, he got in a bunch of drama. I don't even remember what it was. I, why can't I remember what the drama was about? I'm usually uh, so it's, good it's, at drama. It's, it's, it's because it's because he went apeshit over the uh, the as pronoun thing. 
Oh, yeah. There was he took a fat L with Chris Reagan, yeah. Uh, it's because he's, he went to a pride really, rally with his really girlfriend. Stupid. <clears throat> I don't know. There was someone else who said that was really stupid. Here, I'm sharing my screen with you. Are you aware of what uh, Stanley Cups are? Uh, this yes. Is why I'm, this is why I'm going to say that women deserve less. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, if you sh uh, are you sharing your screen, or uh, sharing okay. my screen, sharing your screen. No, so if you don't know what Stanley Cups are, guys, this is why women deserve less. Stanley Cups are it used to be a i mean and they still are originally though this was a company that made like these mugs that were for workers doing hard jobs so that they would keep you know uh liquids either hot or cold for a very long amount of time for whatever reason <laughs> and I, it's clearly a psyop over the last year women have become obsessed with these cups because someone on social media told them to be. So case in point, on the <laughs> afternoon of January 17th, <laughs> Roseville police officers respond to a retail store on the 1600 block of 16,000. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I just the way, the way you just like <laughs> casually yeah, slipped that in is because, yeah, no, just the way just went, they're obsessed with it because someone told them to be. And like, that's the true. only reason. But it's true. Uh, the 6,000 block That's how easy it is to manipulate like women, just like tell them this is important. That's tell it. them. This is a cool, oh, you have to, dude, there's all these posts all over social media being like, here's all my Stanley Cups. I've got 500 of them, and they're all in different com uh, colors to match my outfit for the day. Look at this. Uh, staff saw a woman take a shopping cart full of Stanley water bottles without paying for them. The suspect refused to stop uh, for Black, staff probably. and stuffed her car with the, no, this is a white woman thing. Really? This is a 100% white, yes, this is a 100% white woman thing. That mm -hmm. white women are obsessed with these fucking cups. I mean, I, 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 it was it was theft. <laughs> I was just assuming black. No, because here's and here's why. I'll show you. Um, so anyway, this woman stole like thousands of the hundreds, clearly, of these cups. She's stolen hundreds of these cups. Let me show you what Define. it looks like when women are told that they're supposed to like something. Whoops. This is at Target. They had a special Valentine's Day. Was it Valentine's Day? Or something, I don't know. They had these particular pink cups. The fashion sense, Jesus. Look, I, all of them wearing Ugg boots. These are all basic ass bitches. And North Face, yeah. This, they, by the way, they were like lining up outside of the store. Apparently people waited in line for something like seven to 10 hours. Women, I should say. Waited in line for seven to 10 hours. To get these goddamn cups. Why? Because someone told them to. Some influencer told her that, like, oh, you gotta get one of these cups. And in fact, you don't just have one. You have to get. But what do they do? All of them. It's just a. It's just a cup. It keeps hot liquids hot and cold liquids cold. That's all it is. That Look it? At is it functional? I mean, apparently it is, but it's it's just a fucking cup. I mean, if, if if I wanted one and I I use them like on a daily basis, like a flask, I suppose I would probably the, buy one. But sure, like, sure. To go ape shit over all of them is kind of weird. Like I said, it's because <clears throat> these are originally for workers, right? And then they recently did a rebrand where they went, oh, but you can get your Stanley in all of these different unique colors and all of these different and they oh, and this is a special unique. Stanley and it just women told each other that no, it's important for me to have my Stanley cup. To, yeah, it's a thermos to put my water in. Someone, someone is asking it's, like it's how just, much it's a status symbol. How much do they need to pay to make uh, the the spoo I'm not gonna say that word uh, emoji. Ask Aiden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much do they need to pay to make an emoji with that thing? Can you see what you're talking about? Look at the chat. I, I know I'm looking, but I don't know what you're looking at though. Hang on. Hold on. Oh, I didn't pay to make a spoo. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's why you wouldn't say it. Okay. I thought it was a slur. Um, <laughs> it is. A slur. <laughs> is it? Is it, though? Like 15 bucks, and they probably can make one. I said 15, by the way, not 50. I mean, if, if you want to... If you want to... I'm not going to make one just out of principle. Hang on, I got a I don't even know what it would look like. Picture design and they'll, Aiden will make it so. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, whoa. I hate you. I hate you so, so Look at this, much. though. 
So they they these women wait outside. Out, these women wait outside. All of them. I love how they're they all wear yoga dressed. pants. They all have yoga pants. They all have the UGG boots or, or North Face. It's all the same. They wait outside for like seven hours to buy what? a cup. Yes, I'm serious. It's not just them rating this. They were waiting at seat says two per guest. Do you see that Stanley uh, Stanley cup quantity two per guest? And a bunch of them just took other ones and like they all got in trouble over this because some of them tried to take like whole boxes of them. It's, it's this whole huge fucking insane thing. What's up, Bill? Yeah. Yeah. So Bill brought this up. Is it also these cups are full of lead? Hmm. So they're poisoning themselves for fashion, for fashion over a cup. Women, dude, sold out in four minutes. What? Yep. Yep. Because somebody told her that this is what she needs to do. You got to go get these Stanley cups, boy. Okay, so give me one second. I want to be right back. I'm going to use the restroom, and then I'm going to come hit the Super Chats, and then we will invite on Hard Bastard, I think, right? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I will be right back. Give me one second. Entertain the chat for me while, you, while I'm gone. I'm be, not going to do Hassan's no such chair. thing. Be Hassan's chair for me, please. Are you trying to say <laughs> that all my value is is a chair? At I'm least joking. I talk. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're joking for God's sakes. I don't know if you've noticed Perfect. this, but it's my job to like hyperbolically exaggerate things. I know. I'll be right back. Come on, sec. And then do silly talking. Now that Aiden is gone, Aiden, can you hear me? Okay, um, chat. This is what I want you to do. I want you, when she starts talking again, tell them I said the F word and I'll tell them I did. You all agree on that? Okay, good. Just to, just to make her panic. Because I already revealed the secret of being late. So now we have to screw with her in other ways. Because it's funny that way. <laughs> yeah, game of words. Not the N word, just the F word. Just make sure she reads the chat. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. But I'll think of something. I just thought, don't read the chat and she will. Guess who doesn't you push to talk? Oh shit, what's up, Bill? <laughs> Don't tell her I said anything. So let me red pill you on Baron von Ungern Sternberg. Uh, okay, go on. Uh, last great Khan of Mongolia was literally some weirdo Austrian. Uh, around the uh, close world. Hang on, wait, 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 what? Hello. <laughs> oh, Bill, 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 wait one sec. Hang on. Hi, Aiden. What the hell did she just do? I had to ask about something. <laughs> so, there oh. you go. Like, about the household. Hold on a second. You, 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 you want to look at the thing? What? Uh, what? what? No, because I'm, I'm, because I'm bringing Han Bassett in, so. Hey, what's up? Hey. Ah, uh, yes. Fun. Welcome to the party, dude. How's it going? Uh, happy We Was Kang's Month. Oh, yes. We, we must celebrate. We should all be very, very happy. Uh, Juneteenth. <laughs> yeah, this is the it's first Juneteenth one I'm coming. celebrating. This is actually, it's exciting. It's the first one I'm celebrating as a black man. So oh, it's incredible. Have, have you, come out, as a, have you uh, uh, come out as a black man, I see? Well, yeah. Nikki Haley oh, was in the interview. And uh, regardless of her <laughs> racial background, she is a passing white woman. And she said she was a person of color. So she's a person of color. I'm a black man. I, I mean, why not? If Nikki Haley... I, and by the way... I'm I related know, to Uncle Ruckus. I didn't know <laughs> until... Fantastic. Let's mm. go. I didn't know until probably about... What? I, you, you and I were on a stream when I realized it. Because I didn't even know that Nikki Haley was, was Indian. And I was like, Nikki Haley is I mean, Indian? Kamala Harris claims <laughs> to be the same thing. But she's like mainly right. black. She's mainly in it. I, I like the way that these people... I, their identity switch based on the crowd that's in front of them yes right yes <laughs> which is just like Always. unbelievable Always. like that's that's like a great pr trick isn't it like i can be black when i need to and i can be indian when i'm in front of curry basically it's like jesus fucking christ like, <laughs> you to have it to fuck, accept like. it every single time yeah. otherwise you're a bigot yeah right, right. of course jesus you're a bigot 
I mean, by that logic, can I go to Germany and just say, like, I have German heritage, go to England and say, I have English heritage in France, and then say French? I mean, generally speaking, it's the same thing. If you don't want to tell that to some people, they'll get pretty mad at you over that. But uh, I, I'm very, uh, I want to say congratulations I don't on give your, a crap uh, if they're upset transition. Oh, transition thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually breaking some proud. news here. I'm, I'm working for the Nikki Haley campaign. <laughs> After oh, this, yeah. I'm going to go. I hope, uh, I'm hoping they pay you well. Well, well I'm, I'm not getting paid by Nikki Haley, but I'm going to apply for a job that I uh, don't qualify for. I'm going to steal a bike and then get some African medallions and start the Nikki yeah. Haley Black Watch Black Outreach program. So look out for that. That's going to be very exciting. And and if that doesn't fail, exciting. if if that fails, you can always go to Raytheon. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. I'm black. Just, you have to just, hire me. Just tell them you're related to Nikki, and and I'm sure they'll they'll put you on the board of somebody. I'm really oh, yeah. weird about this because my my one black boyfriend worked for Raytheon. So I don't know what if this that's, is a that's call not out an endorsement. Or... <laughs> 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 but he was like a big, he was like a big computer science nerd. He was, he worked for their computer science. Thing. I don't know what the hell Nikki was doing there, other than like I don't know, breaking I don't know off. what she was doing. It like, again, he, at least he was a solid. Probably not much. Here, so it made sense. Yeah, she. Probably I think she fucks a lot of people. She got away with it for yeah. years, but there Does, was all these it's, it's things like, yeah. in the news about she's coming out, and there's all these guys. They're like, oh yeah, I banged her in a car. That's uh, that's a hell of a thing. Not it's surprising. Crazy. Yeah. I, I get the feeling. The, I get the impression that most most female politicians who get into power go that way. But certainly Kamala Harris. I would think. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 She was. She was. She was banging the uh, the former mayor of San Francisco, wasn't? Who did? Who is she not fucked? Yeah, Willie Brown. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the one. Oh, <laughs> Willie. Oh God, <laughs> I mean, I thought we'd start with a funny one though. Speaking speaking of of uh, uh perhaps in, inappropriate. Uh, relationships between politicians. Uh, RFK blames social media manager for resurfaced lusty comment on video of scantily clad OnlyFans model posted from his verified TikTok account. Did you see this, HB? Yes, it's it's. I think it's plausible. It's, it's plausible, plausible, but but uh, it's pretty funny. Also, look at her fucking ass. Oh That's a hell of an God. ass right there. Yeah. That's an yeah. ass. She likes big asses. I guess I have to like big asses now too, since I'm black. So there we go. Yeah, yeah there you right. So. Maybe RFK is black as well. Oh, you never know. He can come out. Well, the amount <laughs> so of drugs that he's been on, wow. it pretty much surprised me. <laughs> Allegedly, says, wow. This was two Did years check, ago. Isn't there a way that your campaign yeah. can check if you're using older social media accounts? So that would be a point in the... In the category that this isn't believable, yeah. Although they could very well be that incompetent, but or that's really crazy. I mean, it could be his social media manager or something, but who knows? Who knows? I I, I don't even. Th this this is the whole story. There's something worth reading in this Daily Mail article. You get the gist. Is that yeah. is that RFK left? Wow, uh, smiley with hearts. I bet you her squad twice. form is impeccable though. I'm sure it is. There's no way yeah. you don't get you don't you get a, you get an ass like that without having the hardcore squat. Either, either that or lunges is one of the two. Damn. Imagine her posture must be really fucked up though. I mean, it's it's a perfect sphere. She's probably a little bit edited. Oh my god! Look, no, look at her bed. You can tell where her ass is in the bed. It's of course, it's the heaviest bed. thing about her. <laughs> Indentation in the bed. That's where her That's fat amazing. ass goes. That's amazing. <laughs> I didn't even notice that until you just said it. Now I can't stop staring at that part of the fucking photo. The thing is, like, the, this is going to sound a bit screwed up, but like the idea of uh, a woman like squatting and then like literally the weight training is what makes her money. There's a part of me that can like almost respect that because it isn't just like mm -hmm. sexual. Like, there's actual work ethic involved. Like, I can sort of actually be okay with that. There is effort, to point. yeah. Like, if you have yeah. to go to the gym a lot. She's clearly, yeah. she, she's clearly put, put some effort into maintaining this... Uh, this donk. Dirty, this donk, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this. Uh, that, was, that was the first funny thing. I think it stopped fucking like bullets. Like, well done. Oh, let's... Uh, we're, you know, we're on we're on a segment about women's L's. Yeah. Uh, women's oh, if it's just like titties, I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm not really bothered. But if it's bum well, and we, there's we've... work ethic, I'm like, oh, I can yeah. kind of respect the work ethic. Well done. We've talked enough about women's rights. Time to talk about women's wrongs. We were talking just before. This, this is going to be a long Stanley stream, HB. 
Yeah, what the fuck is going on? Like uh, hundreds of dollars? I almost went to Target to see if I could flip a couple, but then I was right. like, "There's no way they're going to be there." No, because they, they're they're taking them immediately, and I don't know. I, I really don't understand it. Other than what was I it was it literally just it. like a social media pushed graze, and it's just, that's it. Yeah, it's a, it so, was yeah. women just being like, "Oh, look at my collection of a hundred different colored Stanley cups. I've got one to match every outfit." And then women were like, "Oh, I had to get every Stanley cup. It's just a thermos." Like women, like dear God, modern. It's like women like are a so Tupperware thing all over again. So easily manipulatable that they will fight each other over a fucking thermos. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. I, I yeah. there's nothing like special yeah, it about liquids. it. It's pink. Oh yeah. God, this. Uh, I, I want to get yeah, HP Sydney. stick on this. Speaking of taking so, L's, man. Oof. So this was yeah. a big L. This is another this? L. Yeah. Yeah, this um, is god damn. I saw your tweet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Feel free to play it if if it'll play, if the mm -hmm. audio will come through. Yeah. Oh, yeah, should, should if you've got the yeah. Oh yeah. Um, okay. But I was um I like Sid. I didn't like this. This was I like um, the Sid that went on Red Ice. That Sydney right, is right. fantastic. This Sydney, not so much. Yeah. Has ever pointed out to the repeal the 19th women shouldn't vote crowd that when they tell us that we can't vote because we're too angry we and are. we're too emotional and we're we not are. smart enough and we're too agreeable. Uh, we went through the data on this earlier. All those yes. things mean that we can't adequately and successfully contribute to political conversation. And no, no. Real quick. It's not that we can't contribute to conversations. People who are saying repeal the 19 are saying you shouldn't vote. You can talk. Yeah. Obviously. But they're saying you shouldn't vote. You're doing it right now. Yeah. Because you are to not not you specifically said but women in general as an average too angry too emotional uh, uh too leftist iq that's iq that's closer towards the mean and and to be leftist <laughs> yes overwhelmingly that's what they're saying but this is such, yes. her argument is so bizarre so let's go elect the leader because we're just gonna get it wrong yeah why do you want us raising your kids? That is, okay, stop for a second. Because that's what you're good at. That that <laughs> that, 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 that is a terrible false equivalence. Mm -hmm. you, you're trying to compare raising a child with electing the leader of a nation. Like, that's... What? Yeah, they're, they're, they're that, that is a terrible things. comparison. What the hell are you doing? And the thing is, <laughs> no. I, I, I said this to... I said this to someone. Here's the thing. You think, meaning sitting in this thing, they seem to think that the reason men don't want them to vote is because they're stupid and they're women. That's not the reason. That's what you think it is. Right. However, when you come off snotty, thinking you know the reason, and you're wrong, that kind of gives them ammo that you are too stupid to vote True. because you don't even understand the reason. Right. That does not help your case. But that then, makes you look worse. And as you said, though, it's a false dichotomy of, well, if you think women are so stupid, why do you let us raise your kids? It's because men are saying, no, but that's... We all had the best line for this. Well. Like, that, that's, that's, what, that's what we're, we're built to do. So yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Like, Bill's line was, um, it's people. the closest thing you'll be to be useful. <laughs> <laughs> like, God damn, that's like, I said to him, can I use that as a line? Because, God damn, that's good. It's, yeah. But it's true, like, you have a vagina and ovaries. Like, carrying the young is your gig because you were born with that. And then I talked about the oxytocinergic response. So, like, the woman's body is entirely made to, yeah. to want to protect children and, and to bond with a child instantaneously. Oh, did you like, see that stuff a couple months back where, like, people were getting, they were saying, oh, it's so weird that this father is is holding his baby to his chest, a, a newborn. And then yeah, that was, newborn that was crazy. It was the fighter, was, I think. I they said it was creepy that, yeah. and oh, yeah. pedophilic yeah. or something. Where it's like, but no, they literally, t you ha they tell you to do that. And the reason why they tell you to do that is because it forms a bond <laughs> with the father. Yeah. But... This shit's so crazy now. It's By the way, this, so the, there's a video on um, on Twitter that I saw a while ago, and it just made me laugh because it's a baby like sitting on uh, the father's peck, and mm -hmm. the baby's crying, and the father just goes, ooh, like he's some oh, freaking yeah, yeah. African animal just standing on a hill and calling him. Yeah. And the, the baby just the, gets this like weird wide-eyed look and then just slowly starts going quiet and falling asleep. Yeah, I'm like, crazy. that's some weird superpower I've shit. I've seen like, that, exact, that exact video. It's nuts. <laughs> I just it's think really it's like an African call. Well, like, how do you do that? <laughs> That's a badass power to have. I don't Apparently. see them, though, doing that to, like, gay couples when they're, mm -hmm. like, uh, taking the kid from the surrogate. I, I don't think they'd take any issue with that if they were putting the uh, baby oh, no, in their beautiful. chest. Yeah, yeah that's, that's totally beautiful. fine. 
That's yeah. beautiful and brave and strong. But like, was some just st- some man who actually impregnated his wife is holding his 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 progeny to his chest, which you're supposed to do because of the oxytocinergic response. It's a pair bonding thing. It's like, ew, what a creep. Yeah, that's creepy. Sure. Okay. I don't think sure. teaching these people biology is going to be a, um, an no. easy thing to do because no. uh, from what I can see, their pollux is kind of antithetical to biology in any capacity. What even is a woman? You know what? Speaking of that, that's going to be a good segue. What even is, what is a woman? woman? About that? that thing that annoys the shit out of me. <laughs> speaking of, here's Sydney Watson. We're not smart enough and we're not capable enough to elect a leader. No. To have a say True. In- no, I don't think anybody is, but okay. Inclu- that definitely includes women. What goes on politically in our countries true why do you want to leave us for the majority of the time to rear your children many of whom are boys who are going to grow up to do the voting because of course us women aren't allowed um uh, hold on a second Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, do you realize the men also have an influence in how the child is raised it isn't just exclusively you like this right. is a really stupid argument. Like I, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping like please tell me you're trolling because this is like, not a. Uh, yeah, this I doesn't make to, you look like, very bright. This isn't the the first bad take she's had, but like yeah, like um, because like, generally speaking, I like Sid, but this is bizarrely it's, it's dumb. It's also the um, it's not just dumb. It's also the the smugness and the um condescending attitude. The condescending attitude. Yeah, yeah. Really fine. And she's That's wrong, funny. which is what makes the condescending look. If if you're gonna condescend to be a smug ass or like a smart ass, actually be smart, not just an ass. It doesn't. This, but it, but again, this doesn't work. Why, why would men want women to be the primary nurturers? Because that's what. We're also, I want to ask this woman: Do you know why the original women back in the day opposed the Nineteenth Amendment? Because they knew that women would not know what to do with it. No, it's because they didn't want women to have responsibility. All the power was we're with the just, men because the pretty... men bore the responsibility because they would go to war. Oh, and the, right. the potential reality is that like you yeah. could be drafted. And that was not something women wanted because they straight up just said, no, this is the role of men. This is not our arena. That's what men are for. And they don't want the responsibility of also getting involved politically. But like that nowadays Please. is frame breaking to people. Like what? Like I don't want the burden of responsibility when it comes to fucking politics. Because nowadays what? people I, think I like, oh, I... No, true, but the, the, this this is something that I, I've said to people that you also have to understand when it comes to politics, is that the way that the, the democracy works is that the politicians symbolically represent you, which means they don't really have any agency of their own, which means if they go into office and do what you tell them to and they fuck up, it's not their fault because they just represent your will. Of course, of course. It's diffused, diffused responsibility. Yes. Exactly. And that's the freaking problem. Whereas if it's just the men, you can just blame that. But when it's everyone, like you, it's re- realistically speaking, you should blame each other because you're the ones that are just doing the, the, you're just basically telling the politicians what to do. Now, in reality, politicians don't actually do what you want to do. So you have to either say, well, either the people around me are morons who don't know what the hell to vote for, or the people in power don't do what we tell them to. In which case, your system is fucked either way. I don't know. How, how do you guys both feel about this? If you, if you could have the option to opt out of the draft by also opting out to vote, would you take it? Yes, I would. Oh, at this point, yeah, because I mean, there's maybe going to be an election mm-hmm. in 24. Mm-hmm. Well, this year, it, it, it's not like it's some sort Allegedly. of sacred thing, like what we were sold before, like oh, this sacred right and the elections are so secure. It seems like it's very possible that the election process is total fucking bullshit. Mm-hmm. It, some people already argue it; they might be right. I just want to see what happens this time. I just want to Did say, you, if yeah. they screw them again, then then it's completely broken, I think. I yeah. agree. Actually, I, I agree 100%. Did, actually, did you, did you see that thing that um, Bill Maher was looking at? And he sent, he sent something like, more than half of both Republicans and Democrat say that if their guy doesn't win, they won't believe the results. I'm not yeah, surprised I, by that. I, I believe was, that, yeah. Yeah. And, it's, and Bill Maher was just like flabbergasted. <laughs> like, how did we get to this? I'm like, oh, really? Yeah, I did see that. You're, Bill you're, you're stunned by this? <laughs> How? How are you so mad? <laughs> yeah, he does this thing, Bill Maher, where he like says something, he talk about something uh, obvious that people had been screaming at him for three years that he yeah. ignored. Finally, he's acknowledging it, at, but he acts like, I, "How did this happen? I don't oh, understand any of it." It's like, what? Yeah. Are, are you not? You're like in this business. What? What are you doing? Are you not even paying yeah. attention? I think he might just be reading whatever is written for him. I, I think yeah. that's it. 
he, he you, just shows up. He shows up, you know, with his, his like, caramel latte or whatever, and he just reads whatever's in front of him and reacts. Uh, uh, I wonder what HBO. I don't um, think he, it, he pays it, any attention to news. Go ahead. Tell me if if um, you know Dave Rubin. Yeah. He is one person that kisses Bill Maher's ass so hard, and I do not know fucking why. He he kissed um uh David Pack my ass man's ass the other day. He did. Why? I did not see that. Oh, I have to look at oh, that. Oh, hang on. Hang yes, on. Well, I I, well, I want to uh, see this too. Yeah, how well, did he, he didn't kiss ass, Pac-Man's but... ass? He, uh, and he for what reason? He didn't know how to respond to it. Yeah, let me find this. Hang on, I saw this on Twitter earlier. What? Um, do, 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 do. By I the way, um, I should have gotten it because I knew that. You, by you the way, were, um. Uh, HB, that 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 Pac-Man um that Pac Man video that went viral with him about the economy, I actually saw your stream. That's where I saw it first. Oh, where, where you like, were roasting? Oh my god, dude, there was so both bad. sides. I saw people on the right posting it. I saw leftists posting it, and they all say the same thing. They're like, "This guy is the worst. He's the worst person. You don't hate yes. these people enough." And I was like, "Oh yeah." I'm like, this is good. This is good. It, it, yeah, it's good when, when both sides hate him. I don't understand yes. how anyone pays attention to him. Like, like, even V made a video like you, like the gaslighting from this is insane. It's nonstop gaslighting. It's mostly for like a liberal audience that wants to be told what it wants to hear, you know? Um, yeah. And, and that's uh, mostly me. <laughs> I think he is he's playing a bit to a degree. Like I think he knows a lot of the shit he says is bullshit, but he says it anyway. He, there's yeah. a there's a term for it. I think it's called the duper's delight. Yeah. He does that all the time. And yes. I cuz and he makes oh, a lot yeah. of money, so I think it's just yeah. it's very pleasing to him that he's able to like kind of get away with it. It it's somewhat entertaining, I, although he is yeah. an absolute piece of shit. Man, I can't I, I, find I do it like in the clip when he said when someone said um you have to shit talk Trump to put food on your table and he goes um, I don't want to, I choose to. And then like yeah. literally five seconds later, it's just like, I was all set to go into finance and they pulled me into podcasts. I was like, bitch, you just yeah. said it was your own free will like oh, five know. seconds ago. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, hilarious. Who, who, who is this them. they you're talking about? Yeah, they wear he, small hats. He has yeah. said, he has said that he had had meetings with people to, now I, I don't trust, I, I think it's a completely biased kind of, um, uh, telling of the story but that you know they he said that he had a meeting with someone uh where they asked him to they were going to pay him to say conservative things and right. um maybe that's wow. true and i'm sure that happens but there's no way he hasn't had meetings with people in the opposite direction either oh yeah because he actually sure. like it doesn't happen on the left and that's ridiculous yeah and I can't find it i should have saved it um, there was a there was a good interview with him on um on value tamer with Patrick Bet Davis. That was fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Patrick Bet David absolutely yeah. destroyed him. That was yeah. hilarious. And it, there was um uh who's the other one from this. Majority Report? Oh, not not Emma Vagland. Um, Sam Cedar. Sam Cedar. Harris. It was oh Sam my Harris. It wasn't god. Ruben. I th- th- there's like there's like five people on the left who th- like my phrase that I use on my channel is like fire out of a cannon. He would be in my top five. With oh, Jenkins, yeah, Cedar's, his nephew, obviously. yeah, Cedar's yeah. absolutely mm-hmm. terrible. The yeah. motivation. Oh, th- oh, there's two other people. Sam Harris. Sam Harris has lost mm-hmm. his fucking mind. By the so way. So wait, did you yeah. say Ruben? Ruben was, was Ruben. kissing up to Sam no. Harris. That's still I, no, bad no. if it's Sam Harris. No, no, it's Sam Harris. It's not. It's not. Uh, it wasn't Ruben. It was Sam Harris. Okay, gotcha. Th- this is worse pages, though. Both... Yeah. Right. So let's let's look at this. I expect more sense cool. from Harris. I, I would as well. Uh, Dave Rubin, I have less respect for. Well, maybe well, not I don't at this have point. respect for either one of them, to be fair, but here we go. DEI, what is called wokeness and social justice. Communism. As- I'm going to say he's going to exactly kiss ass, but he's not going to be able to. He can't fight back about, against Pac-Man, which is insane. Here it is. Yeah. Worthy motivations, which have been taken no, to extremes that have perverted these movements. And I don't lose sight of the fact that there is also this gargantuan monster next to it, which is that the modern Republican Party would be glad to destroy and end democracy altogether. <laughs> oh, it's totally made up. That's com- that's a complete lie. He means their rule. When they say our democracy, they yes. mean their yes. rule. You, exactly. I mean, you guys know this. I mean, You're absolutely all- yes, obviously. Yeah, you've seen it. Yeah. yeah. But I'm, it, it's always funny. I, I do have a button for it that I'm, but because I'm, I'm in full screen, otherwise I'd press my yeah. button. That's just <laughs> my democracy. I did oh, say in I one video it. at this point in time, I will I will accept the dictatorship just so I don't have to hear off that phrase our fucking democracy that, anymore so because hear, it's yeah, it has been so irritating at this point. <laughs> it is that relationship in mind as I choose to what degree do I talk about these different issues? 
where are you relative to that? Yeah. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. The, the one piece I would add, which accounts totally for- Totally agree with that. Totally agree with that. Okay. Spoken about the, the pathology on the left so much is that there really is an asymmetry with respect to, to the cultural capture of this ideology. So, I mean, Trumpism is incredibly dangerous. It is no, it isn't. The first time in, He's got in so much TDS. my lifetime- I really worried about the fate of American democracy, right? It really seems like it. it oh, oh, fuck off. There it is again. Conceivable that we could lose it under the, you know, the shadow of this. I mean, how retarded it is that you could lose <laughs> democracy if the guy that you don't like wins, wins a election. Democratic like, election. what the fuck are you talking about? I know. It, it's, ab it's absolutely absurdist. Yeah, it democracy also... is under threat if people vote for someone who I don't like. Insane. No, I I wonder if that's now desperation on their part, or and this this is just this is more like a white pill on my part, or the mm -hmm. system is a lot more weak and vulnerable than they actually would like to admit. I think I I agree with it. I think it's the latter. Well, I think that's both. They are they are concerned. They're concerned because the system is weaker than they want to pretend that it is. Their apparatus is weaker than they want to pretend that it is. I I just want Trump to go in the White House and just go like, okay, I'm now in charge. I'm now going to like this is going to be step one no, of will. like like Operation you... Vengeance and just like start firing we'll every fucking federal great. employee that, yeah. that looks at wrong. Great. We'll get into the vengeance thing though because there were some interesting words said about the word vengeance. I I, I kind of want yeah you'll take on this HP. Um, how comfortable are you with? Uh, Give me one sec. I gotta go because it, it, it's essentially if if we're looking at this from the perspective. Um, of reality, not so much what the Constitution represents. Right. How comfortable are you with more power being taken from Congress and into the executive? It, it all depends on the circumstances. If you have truly uh, evil people that have subverted Congress and are doing horrific things, I think it's necessary. If it's, but the problem is a lot of times the person who wants the power is going to probably make that argument. I think in this instance, it's, we're very close to that right now, uh, yeah. where if Trump did make that argument, I'd be a little nervous. I'd be like, well, this is probably going to be bad, but it, I, I don't know. I, I don't think I would oppose it. I'm in a position where there's not a lot I would oppose at this point. I might disagree with some things, but opposition yeah. is completely different. I, so, I tried to make this yeah. uh, this argument in, in one of my videos is that as a content creator, you're in this really weird position the same way that politicians are in the sense that if you are elected to any position of power, if you do what your constituents want and it fucks them, your constituents will never say, well, it's our fault, we, we advocated for dumb shit. They will oh, always blame not, you. Yeah. That's, that's right. a problem. Whereas yeah. you can't then also go... I should go against the will of the people because they're stupid and this will screw them because then I'm not technically doing what they want. I might actually be doing something that's better for them, but that's it's not a, a what the game is. Too. Exactly. And if you're a content creator, you are sort of in the same kind of um, position because if you do change your position and your, your audience does not think your learning process for getting there is organic, they're going to call you a sellout. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which I... I, I yeah. I don't I'm know sure how to where grapple people with that like thing, Sam yeah. Harris and Dave Rubin are coming from is that they they feel like they can't that they have to maintain some kind of air of of what they think is objective legitimacy or legitimacy yeah uh, or, or, which I, I don't think this is like this this stuff here this is so silly yeah. and it makes him look terrible but um I always had another way of looking at it is um you can sort of looking at at the grifters as Individually, you can maybe say that they're pieces of shit because you you never know if the organizations are truly legitimate, especially if they get more money from switching sure. to a different side. But right. the one thing that, that you can use that metric for is how many people are willing to make the switch because the other side is becoming more popular. Mm. Well, we're seeing that ar already. And uh, people yes. are reading the tea leaves or it, maybe sometimes out of desperation, like with Fredo and Don Lemon, they can't get jobs in corporate media right now. No, which is hilarious. Yeah. So now they're pivoting. Mm. Don Lemon made a tweet talking about free speech. The Don what? Lemon, the homosexual hall monitor, is like, oh, I'm proud to start a show on X. And then he said some bullshit about free speech. And I'm like, oh, this is funny. Shit. Of course not. But it's it's interesting no. to watch 
people pivot. Anna Kasparian's a, a prime example. Mm-hmm. She's pivoting. She's been pivoting, yeah. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I, more I, and more of these people are going to pivot. I, I would say I do think when it comes to, to Anna, there is a base woman inside of her that is dying to get out. You can see it. Because I do think there's, that's probably accurate. Yes, because there's been moments where, like, within, like, last year, within, no, like, six base. months. There's a normal human being inside of her somewhere that has become disillusioned. I, the re- the reason I say. Young Turks. Yeah, the reason I say base is because for like six months she had to go with literally every single thing the left was uh, was advocating for. It's mostly regarding um, the trans stuff. I actually think uh, I think it was actually on one of your shows that I was watching where she she spoke about at length on on her own show on the Young Turks about uh, the banking regulations and how insane it is. And I was watching that thinking. Where the fuck is this woman? Why do you not do your own stuff more without Jenk there? Because when Jenk is there, he fucks with her. But when she does her own shit, she's significantly better. Like, she actually does objectively good work. But that's how she is. So, like, she has the capacity to be a good journalist on her own. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if she could ever recover, uh, given her reputation on the internet, but that would ultimately be up to, like, Mm -hmm. the people, you know, if whether or not they would accept it. I also think the being uh, directly affected by crime and some of these policies, um, there's nothing that that will red pill you more than if you're, like, directly affected by crime and Democrat policy. Like, that's a big time. Or the power in the stoves. That's what got her. I agree with that's, that 100%. I, that's, like- that's, that's the one where she was really, really pissed off. It's when uh, when Jenk said to her, uh, what about tax credits? And she looked at him with a yeah. shot of like, I'm going to fucking kill you right now if you keep talking. And like Jenk is like desperately trying to look away. And she's just looking, like, I don't give a fuck about tax credits. I'm like, oh, yeah, you, like she's legitimately she, She's got a gas stove, I presume. She's yeah. got a gas stove. Yeah, and does. it's like, can you just, can you just piss? Because it, it's pointless. It's all just give, give me the money. Nonsense. Yes, give me the money. You give me the money. But I, I do think that, you know, yeah, that I think she has become uh, annoyed about all this stuff. But she, like you yes. said, she can't. She's trapped. She, I think she is trapped because I think the time for the right to accept uh, leaving the left is kind of over because we've been tricked many yeah. times. Right? Yeah. I, uh, oh, I, absolutely. I, Maybe someone else. I, but again, each person can make their judgment call. I, sure. I, I would at yeah. least need a whole bunch of apologies where she would be like, hey, yeah. sorry I advocated for you guys to get kicked out of hospitals and ICUs. You know, something. Yeah, right. But she doesn't really the do that. The amount of stuff she'd have to apologize for is a litany. List you know, so you long. know who would be a good stunt to apologize? She'd have, she'd, ha- she'd have to make an hour-long apology. And yeah. I made a video about this too, though, is that like the, the reason why apologies don't work is be- and I, I have all the, I go into all the psychology, especially it, in this but like particular it doesn't. Arena. The only people who would accept an apology probably is the right because if they thought that Anna Kasparian had any clout, essentially, but she oh, doesn't. Yeah. yeah, she doesn't have any. No. So there's no there's no value that Anna Kasparian could give to the right by switching sides. So she's stuck. She's trapped. If she in, in if the she apologized, if she apologized to, to Jimmy, that would go a long way. Dorr. That might be yes. That might be something. That'll be a good start. Get him with, at least with Jimmy, who's like kind of a more centre. I don't know if guy. Jimmy. I, I like. I don't know Jimmy at all. Jimmy is like way better than he he used to be. Like when he was yes. at he PYT is, yeah. compared to now. Like he really yeah. is very watchable in my opinion. Yes. And I like yes. Kurt Metzger as well. Um, yeah. I, I don't know if Jimmy, I mean, what she did to him was so yes. insane. I don't know yeah. if he, I mean, to, again, his call, it's his fun. business. Oh, your skirt's too that short. That blackmail thing was crazy. That was crazy. J- Jimmy should never forgive her for that stuff. No, she that's was, yeah. She was trying Absolutely. to ruin his life. For yeah, her. that was crazy. Jimmy, so I, Jimmy I, I is someone Jimmy, uh, that. Jimmy is someone that, that drives me insane because he's one of these people <laughs> that... Um, on foreign policy and hating the military takes. industrial complex, he has excellent takes. But like anything domestic, it's just I will still trust the government. He's like Dev in that sense. I'm like, oh my fucking god, this will drive me insane. Yeah. Like I, I, just, I cannot, I, I cannot understand how someone completely hates and distrusts one part of the government for very legitimate reasons. But then they can't understand but can't the same reason why it won't the, work in their there. Own government. Yes, and I do not understand how do you hate one part of the government but think the other thing would, that has the same problems of corruption must work the way that you want it to. Like I do not understand how you square that peg. I, it it just doesn't make any sense to me. It's very frustrating. Like I said, 
Because yes. Jimmy will have really good takes on foreign policy in particular. And, yes. know, and I, I've listened to him and been like, wow, good job, Jimmy. And then he'll just go right back 10 sentences Messy later on like, oh topic God. saying something that, that's brain dead. It's frustrating. Yeah. I do like that he's uh, that he's not like I do like that he's not like massively anti anti China like to like an absurd degree because I know like the neocons and America's government thinks like we're gonna be at war with China I'm like no you're not like the idea that you're gonna like I don't know I'm a little bit worried about uh, China uh, are you not uh no China will face an economic collapse before the Americans will invade it yeah you think they're just a paper tiger yes absolutely. The communist Perhaps. government, for God's sakes. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I mean, just what I, happened, we we can go into the article, but just what what was reported on today from Bounding into Comics, and and now it's been apparently debunked. But I don't. Mm, how has it been debunked? Is that Wizards of the Coast, the company that owns Dungeons and Dragons and Magic: The Gathering, um, which you know you don't know anything about Spoon, but I know HB knows a little bit about. Uh, they're apparently considering selling alle- allegedly considering selling the Dungeons and Dragons uh IP to Tencent. The Chinese CCP owned a uh, media company because they're so unprofitable, so they're just going to sell it to China. Now, again, this has been debunked apparently, but uh, I've not seen evidence. I uh, I've seen evidence for it that they're okay. Excuse me, it's that they're considering it. They're considering. I don't selling think that you have to be that you can't make any money, cents. so you're going to send it to communists. That's 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 P- pretty funny, right? But at least the communists are making money. The communists are making money. So, yeah, that's uh, like a, that's like on slave labor. But you, you you like a you like magic cards, right? HB. I like magic. Yeah, I'm very much. I, I play arena a lot. Um, yeah. Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know a lot about other than the Satanic Panic, and then mm-hmm. recently they've like taken out certain characters because yes. the people that uh, work there apparently when they viewed I forget what race of creatures it was, but they thought of black people, and then d- orcs. instead of <laughs> and the orcs, orcs yeah. and instead of like reflecting on why they viewed orcs like black people they blamed everyone else for being a right, racist right. and then took yeah. them out which is insane i mean it's it's been that way for you so i'm a big D nerd i played the pathfinder on tuesday i played D fifth edition usually on this day on thursdays but uh it, pathfinder is not uh is, is not wizards of the coast i also collect magic cards but yeah it's interesting that they were considering selling themselves to tencent and i don't know if you you knew this but last year uh it just like spring of last year some guy who buys, who's a YouTuber, he reviews magic cards. He ordered a box of magic cards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you remember Pinkertons. this? Yeah. <laughs> the pen sent the fucking Pinkertons after him. Yeah. A, a paramilitary organization. Like, and dude, that's Wizards of the Coast. So uh, they, they can get stuffed for all I care. Uh, I don't really give a shit if they lose everything. Go sell your shit to Tencent. Um, that's why we have third party. Pathfinder, a GURPS, whatever. Just don't fucking don't fuck around with wizards. They. Suck. I mean, and uh, I mean, if I'm gonna try and put a positive spin on this, I mean, most of the West best entertainment comes out of the Far East now, anyway. <laughs> like, let's be real. True, true, true. Actually, you know what? Tencent might fix Dungeons and Dragons by removing all the woke shit because they don't care about that. That would be good. That would be yeah, maybe a, a treat. That, maybe that would, it usually would... never goes in that direction. No, yeah. it, would it would also make the it would also ingratiate the communist party with the western world as a maybe. boon. Maybe. Ooh, 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 this is dangerous. That, that, yeah, that's or maybe okay, the look, communists are, are not as communist as, as we are led to believe. China let, let's be real for a second. China's economic model is more fascist, it's more fascistic than it is communist. At this point. Yeah. I don't think it's like the the, the CCP is basically a communist in name. It's not. Yeah, but that's been that way. It's not Mao. Time. No, it's yeah. It's been that way for a, a hell of a long time. Like 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 this, as far as I'm aware, the state can basically co-opt any business that they want in the same way that um, Hitler's Third Reich did. So I don't yeah. see like you have private ownership, but it's like it's, it's it can be co-opted by the state. So it is more fascistic than it is communist. The communist is more. At this point, yeah, it's, it's but, a I mean, name. Like, it's a slogan. That, yeah. We're a little bit splitting here. People will get upset. Like no, but it's it's it, they say they're communists, so whatever. Uh, shall we get back into the Sam Harris thing? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Say. So it's it's a it's a huge problem, right? But oh, it is. He seems dejected while saying all this, by the way. Some strange way, still a fringe problem culturally, or at least culturally with respect to the the institutions I care about, right? So when hmm. you look at the the high status institutions in our society, the you know the best universities, the best oh my god that are We're absolutely hated by that that. Everyone. Harvard just had to, well, 
The president of Harvard just had to stand, step down, and now it's it's lead DEI. It's because she's a homosexual. Also, it's, not, it's not just quoting gay now. Harvard's lead DEI officer has also had to step down for, guess what, plagiarism accusations. All of Harvard is apparently riddled with plagiarists. Sick. Are you surprised no, with this? The no, whole Sam, we should... Why the am whole I, DEI why am I thing? No, because the whole DEI thing is basically wealth transfer via jobs program. Yes, of course, but it's antithetical to the idea of academia. But so yeah, of course, Sam Harris says, "Oh, but but he's you know still sticks by the academy. She should get the <laughs> fuck away from that shit, man." Best of course he does. Properties, the, the the you know Fortune 500 companies. You know the the what is it that people in 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 Silicon Valley or in who Hollywood, cares? I mean, the people who make culture, right? For the most part. What do they, they believe? It's not Trumpism, right? It's not that the election was stolen. It's not that, you know, QAnon might be right about something, right? It's it's for the most part. You still talk about QAnon, like Jesus this is Christ. Insane. How, no, he's how, how that, far that, that, back are you? Well, what Damn. he's saying is that the people that, if I am understanding this correctly, is that the people who are actually in power and in charge of the institutions, the, uh, the Hollywood, et cetera, they don't fall into this QAnon stuff and they're the ones in power. You're not supposed by the way, you're not supposed to say this stuff out loud. You're not supposed to say this stuff. You're supposed to say that, no, the QAnon people have all the power. You fucked it up. You're supposed to say the opposite, you dingus. Can't tell the truth. This far left, uh, uh, you know, again, I would agree with you. At bottom, well-intentioned or originally well-intentioned overreaction. And I would call it, a, you know, a moral panic around issues of you know inequality or you know racial inequality in particular but you know well, he's right about that gender it's it's sexuality it's true it's, yeah um in some uh you know cases religious right i mean the way in which the um we have seen this explosion of anti-semitism correlate <sighs> you know uh, very strangely with far left edgy you know disproportionately well educated oh this is why sam harris now all of a sudden has an issue with the left is because of their <laughs> their rising anti-semitism uh by the way sam they've always been that way just yeah. letting you know but all the way back to like a, a, a certain part in in western europe about yeah. um oh i don't know several centuries now <clears throat> i don't know wonder why that where is that you, where'd you just now figure that out sam but okay mm. cool educated people uh, and their beliefs about race, right? We've met, we've mapped on a the the racial experience of of African Americans over the last you know seventy years onto the world and wrapped up Islamist goons and theocrats into that same. Who's done that, of, Sam? Of, of tolerance and concern, right? So, you know, the the, the jihadists of the world are the you know the African Americans who we need to worry about locally, right? What? The jihadists, what, what does he mean by the Africans of the world are the jihadists we have to worry about, worry about locally? What does it even mean? I don't know. I don't, I, I, I don't even know what that means. Yeah, I have no clue what he means by this. For, for all of the, you know, all of our wealth inequality and, and the disparities of educational attainment and, and uh, health security and everything else, these same people who are focused on that somehow see what's happening in, in you know, with Hamas as as analogous to that right so there's a there's a just a profound what? moral confusion about it, the yeah i'm confused i i i feel like there was i don't a think he knows what he's talking about right now no i i don't think he does either because that made no no sense to me at least hb does that make any sense to you I, I don't buy the uh it was well intentioned but now oh, no. it's getting out of hand i'm much more of the yeah, position that now that this was all done to dismantle western society mm -hmm. i could be wrong it's possible that I, that i'm wrong but yeah i don't buy the it was good intention i don't think it was good intention i think certain people could be good intention sure. but i don't think the originators of all this shit um uh, had good intentions yeah i agree the, the, the you know like a global civilization that has occurred domestically in america and it's actually been exported to much of the west right so this is also happening in london right um so there's just it's it's a it's a mad tangle of again i would agree in many cases well-intentioned moral intuitions but it is it's destabilizing and gaslighting and ultimately insane uh, is specifically when you're talking about things like, you know, taking the side of Hamas in the current uh, conflict in the Middle East. Uh, I think that was a lot of nothing, to be honest. Yeah, it was word salad. Yeah. yeah. 
But that's most of Sam. Yeah. To be fair, that is about what I get from him. Um, so let's see. What do we got? Uh, Biden. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh let's uh, finish the Sydney Watson clip. Sorry. Yeah. There's like two. I'll ask you, HP, uh, HP, what, what's your opinion on Adam and Stitch right now? <laughs> I, and you can be so honest. that's a great question. Um, I'm just they're consistently putting out the exact same narratives that the regime media does in the exact same way with the exact same arguments. They haven't always done that. Like they got Rittenhouse right. Yeah. Um, but it's just like it's fascinating. I have no idea. Ever since that Gray Zone article about bread tube, I've been very skeptical. Anytime I see a commentator repeat regime narratives consistently, because that's not organic, like, yeah, it, it, like it's different. Like if you, if you had a different yeah. opinion about something and, and you came up with your own argumentation, but like these people are using the same phrases, the, the, it, it, it just, I, I don't buy it. So I have no idea what is going on over there. Same with like destiny. Um, but they're, but they're absolutely repeating, uh, regime narratives verbatim. And oh, that's did, what, did you see? Uh, um, why I felt like I was pulling teeth when I would try to talk to them about the Ukraine stuff, for example. It's like I'm providing evidence after evidence after evidence, and they would just say, "No, that's not real evidence. No, that's not real." Sitch's that's take propaganda. when it came to Biden you know, and Ukraine was fucking bad. Well, Jeez, uh, that's what I'm about to get man. into. Actually, 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 we got the we got the basic. Oh, the, the real, well, thing, real quick, so we, we, you bring up the Ukraine thing. That's when I first that's noticed nice. it because it was the first time I noticed Sitch using a tactic. Right, so. Mm -hmm. Um, he he went from there was no evidence at all that there was a coup in 2014. Said. Mm -hmm. Right. Then you showed it to him. Then he mm -hmm. went. Then the goalposts. Anytime a, a, a propagandist is using mm -hmm. that tactic, they always evolve it like a Pokemon, or they they move the goalposts yeah. too. And they're like, well, it's a good thing we had to do it. It's a flourishing yeah. democracy. But the thing was, is then when he debated Dave Smith. He went back to there's no evidence at all. If your position, if you weren't aware of the evidence, you were presented the evidence, and then your position is it's a good thing we had to do it, it doesn't, it's not organic to then talk to Dave Smith and not start at the point of, well, Dave, I know you, you, uh, you know, don't like that we did a coup, but we had to do it. Instead, he's playing games and he goes back to there's no evidence yeah. at all. It That's not good faith. And what's funny, well, they talk about they're like good faith good faith that's not good faith doing that i mean it, it was infuriating to me back when that was happening because i made that whole video and i spent like months working on that that ukraine video where i f I, I collated i found all the data i found all the information about everything that had been released everything that anybody knew and it was all declassified documents it wasn't like specul speculative stuff it was just real ass shit and then all i i caught whenever i tried to talk to him about it was yeah, but uh, that's conservative propaganda. That's Russian propaganda. And the it's like the way... that, that all of it kept getting, uh, you know, proven to be more and more true. And, and it didn't matter like because there, there's no what. And I remember at one point when I talked to them about the last time I talked to them about the Ukraine stuff, I asked them, what level of evidence do you need to be shown to understand that the Biden administration, the, excuse me, the Obama administration with Biden as vice president and his son, Hunter, colluded with the, the with the ukrainians to do this stuff yeah. what the, i the was told is, is i need an email or a video of him saying it outright it cannot yeah be that's any, that's that's what it says like sitch can look that's at a unfair. building that has five floors every one of them is on fire there's smoke coming out the window mm -hmm. but he can't see the flames and he will say that's anything but fire if he can't right, so see the flames question, yeah it, is that organic no. Um, right. Exactly. In my opinion, I don't I think it's organic, no. organic no. because yeah. Sitch is apparently uh, Ukrainian or his family's Ukrainian. Okay. For how about we give him that subject? You're sure. Ukrainian, no problem. How about all the other ones? I, it doesn't. It just. <laughs> yeah. I don't buy that it's organic. <laughs> yeah. Right? I. I, I could, what swear. you just brought up. Real quick, real quick. What you just brought up was exactly the the talking points related to the Hunter Biden laptop. They needed same yes. with Destiny. They needed an email from the FBI that said, "Hello, Twitter." We, the government, are telling you, you must Do censor or we're going to kill you or something, which is like yeah. preposterous. Right. Yes. It is the ridiculous level of, of evidence. Meanwhile, these same people will say, like, Trump's a rapist. Trump oh, did right, this. Yeah. Trump did that. Yeah. And over, over, over allegations. We'll get into the E. Jean Carroll thing because I have some of that as well because she's gone off her rocker, which is really yeah. funny. 
Um, well, she's always been off a rocker for decades because yeah. she's crazy. Because she looks person. nuts. Yeah, but, she's uh, completely insane. She's, she's insane. Uh, but here's a, a Comer's statement on uh, Rob Walker. Because uh, okay, can I just say because um, HB bad, didn't bad, um, bad. I could swear like months ago you one of the videos you had up on stream was uh one of the Discord people was on a on stream with Sitch and like beat the shit out of him and Sitch like lost his fucking mind. Yes, I yeah. forget what they were arguing about. It was, it was fantastic. The, yeah, it was the it was the Ukraine and Russia thing, and Sitch just got it's his quiet. ass handed by a fan, and it was yeah. glorious. It was yeah, fantastic. he really got under yeah he really yes. he really got under Sitch's skin. It was fantastic. But uh, even when Sargon was on Sargon, this is like a year yeah. and a bit ago. Sargon, I just I just found that funny because Sargon um, bodied them. I just liked it stuff. because. Um, Sargon said, like, everyone thinks Americans are fucking in for a reason, and this conversation shows it. And Adam just goes, like, oh, God, not the spoon, right, please. And he just goes, yeah, but he's right, and you're wrong. <laughs> I oh, was yeah. like, oh, 100%. You. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. They also, the way they categorize, they, they uh, for, for example, uh, the, the last thing that I think I covered was related to Glenn Greenwald's opinion of the FBI. And so what they do is they straw man, and they say, they say, well, Glenn Greenwald, he's FBI bad. Or uh, uh, Aiden Paladin and Spoon, they're America bad. That's that's propaganda tactics. Those are it those is. are not arguments. That that is bullshit. Yes. dishonest tactics, and they shouldn't use them because they didn't use them with Rittenhouse. Of course, they were on the right side of that. Because yeah. I don't care if people disagree. I have no problem with this. Like, let me give you an example. Actual Justice Warrior, right? Yes. I've never seen him use tactics like that. He just comes out with it. For example, at one time in a video, maybe like a year ago or so, he said he said something along the lines of, I think America has the moral authority to police the world. Now, this is the thing with that. You're not wasting anyone's time. You're coming out with your position. I don't agree with that position. And then I move yeah. on with my life. You're not lying to people. You're not you playing think. games. And then I'm like, okay, that's your opinion. Great. Yeah. I can actually respect fine. the honesty. Yeah. It, it, right. It yeah, I have no problem with that. Yeah, yeah, he does great work. And because, like yeah. I said, I, I don't care if pe people disagree, but don't lie. Don't lie. That, yeah, I, that I, is I, no I, good. I vehemently disagree with that position from, from Sean, but still, at least you, you can get the idea that he's yeah. being honest. Whereas with Adam, yeah, he's, he's, he's why, honest I, actor, I think, yeah. why I stopped listening to them and stopped watching their streamings because it's like I felt like I'm being gaslit every other week. Yeah, of, I wonder of why. What, 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 what is, what is the, the narrative this week? Oh yeah, the economy's good. That I yeah, was the, like, oh my god, oh that, my that, god. that kind of shit was the stuff where I was like, okay, come on, guys. I and I know that they're not stupid. So I and I know in particular that Sitch is not no, they're stupid. just disingenuous. So I I think that that really that's why I stopped listening to them. To be honest, um, I don't have like an issue with them personally, but interpersonally, but I I can't listen to that show anymore because it's just like. It makes me want to pull my hair out. The, the the position on on Ukraine and Russia just drove mm -hmm. me insane, and and mm -hmm. Sargon was trying to get that into Sitch's head, is and like everyone tells him this over and over again. You if you shove military weapons into the nation that is sitting next to Russia, over and over again, just after you fucking cooed their government. The Russians are going to think, what the fucking hell are you doing? Get the no fuck shit. off. They're going to use hard power at some fucking point. Yeah. Like, especially well, the Americans. They, the American government us. has no trust like, from anyone. Everyone thinks the Americans is like, yeah, fuck you. We'll just America. We'll do what we and want. Spoon, like, they told us you have we, no clout. That, that Dr. Mearsheimer has no credibility. Yeah, that, that was, predicted yeah he predicted the thing ago. to a fucking T. To the T. But, but Dr. It's, Mearsheimer has no credibility. Don't listen to him. It's, it's funny because uh, George Kennan said the same thing. He said, like, yes. in the 1990s, Russia yes. is going to take this as an act of hostility and they're yep. going to respond with aggressive military uh, intervention. So all and of that's what, exactly what they did. For the last 30 fucking years. But it's now almost like they listened to George like Kennan as, like, what not to do. We're just going to do that because ultimately we want to antagonize Russia and we well, want no. to make them. Like, like what Manchus Molbuck said this um, when he was on with Michael Mann. Mm -hmm. It's like, if, if, if your neighbor is looking at you with like a sharp knife, like, I'm going to fucking fuck, like, are you in your right to attack first? Like, yes, you are absolutely in your right. Because that's, that's what, yeah. like, they, they, that's literally, you could see what they're going to do. Like, wasn't it, um, um, Carlisa Rice in like 20. Oh, right. 20, 2011. Yeah, yeah, she literally said, like, the Russian economy is vulnerable because they try to export mm -hmm. um, raw, uh, raw minerals. So what you want to do is to stop Russia's exports 
and then get them hooked on the American one, and then they blow a pipeline. Yeah. It's like, hmm, who could that possibly what, what benefit? Happens? Who is now selling LNG to the Europeans at an exorbitant amount of fucking but money? Again, hmm. what Adam and Sitch require as evidence, and I'm not saying this to be rude, is this is the truth. What yeah. they require as evidence is they require to see black and white. Yeah. They need someone to have said it. I <laughs> did. We did this thing for this reason. Uh, end quote. Yeah. And no, like it's plausible. It it's together. a setup, that though. Sense. But even yes. that's a setup because even if you produce that, they'd say, "Well, it's a good thing we had to do it." I know, right? Right? Oh. right. Bullshit. It's not happening. Time. But right, if it was, right, it's good. That's how they would. That's how they'd pivot, right? <laughs> yep. Um, oh God. This is uh, involving the Chinese and Biden, because remember that Biden has, he, he's super squeaky clean. Today we learned, however, this is from uh, James Comer. Today we learned that Joe Biden met with the now missing chairman of the SEFC, Ye Jiangming, as Hunter Biden and his associates received three million Read that Chinese name entity. Uh, Ye Jiangming? Trying oh, to yeah, laugh. You know they laugh at our name. names. You know yeah, they're yeah, laughing yeah, at each other. Yeah, they're yeah, like, right. Michael, Stephen. Ha, ha, ha. It's totally funny. <laughs> it's totally, totally funny. funny. <laughs> uh, evidence continues to reveal that the Biden sold the Biden brand to enrich the Biden family. Today's interview confirmed Hunter Biden and his associates worked with the Chinese government linked energy company began or their work with the Chinese uh, linked energy company began over a year before Joe Biden left the vice presidency. But the Bidens and their associates held off being paid by the Chinese while Joe Biden was in office. How curious. The Chinese company paid Hunter Biden and his associates $3 million shortly after Joe Biden left office as a thank you for the work they did while Joe Biden was in office. Members of the Biden family received payments from the Chinese deal, even though they did not work on it. This is the type of swampy influence peddled, peddling the American uh, people, peddling, influence peddling the American people want us to end. Additionally, as Joe Biden was leading anti-corruption efforts in Romania, Hunter Biden and Rob Walker began an ill-defined business relationship with Romanian businessman Gabriel Povish. Oh, fuck that. Popovishu, <laughs> Popovishu, Mr. Walker. <laughs> I, I can't do Romanian names. I had to read one in my video that I'm editing. Hey, V, we need <laughs> your help here. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Walker also confirmed that he and Hunter Biden received payments from Popovishu beginning in 2015 that continued throughout the rest of Joe Biden's vice presidency in exchange for lucrative payments. Hunter Biden traveled to Romania and engaged with the U.S. ambassador to Romania to discuss Mr. Povicius' foreign legal case. So we have more evidence because it's never going to end because he was peddling this shit for decades. Yeah. Using his son as, as his, his, his crack addict son as his liaison. These people actually make it's the Clintons set. look like fairly competent. I, honestly. Which is like legitimately horrifying horrifying because if you think the clintons were bad the yeah. but the, the clintons look more uh polished but more devious yes. whereas they they just look like yeah. sloppy mob guys yeah, they're sloppy yeah. uh this, speaking of disgusting and sloppy this is joe biden giving a call to a, a family whose son just died in the most recent attacks in syria oh god Oh, well, I tell you what, it means a lot to, a lot to me. It means a lot to me. My son spent a year in Iraq. That's how I lost him. That's he regrets to. That's a lie. <laughs> that is a lie. Your son died five years later. <laughs> I, do, do you know what I've, I've noticed about him? Whenever he tries to do, like, the grievance thing, oh, he always so makes it about himself. Yeah. Of course. Every of course. fucking time. Yep. Look at this man in the background. That's terrible. He's weeping. That's He's because weeping. he wants to take that phone and throw it. She's crying too. Oh my god. One percent of all these kids are the ones that uh, <laughs> take care of ninety nine percent of us. That means to us. It's so fucking sick. They're doing this. They're they're so out of touch. They they did this propaganda video because they know they're losing it with black yeah. voters, and they think this is yeah. going to get it. No, no. Oh, Getting the Zerg no. out of the goddamn cities is going to win you back black voters. Not not this. I I, I I can't believe like they're sabotaging themselves. Yeah. Have you seen like there's been for the past few months? There was just one yesterday. Videos of black people, whether it's in New York City, whether it's in Chicago, and they're like, hey, they're giving. The illegals, all of our resources, they're yep. kicking yep. our kids out of yeah. school. And I'm thinking, yep. like, you're sabotaging your voter base right before an election. What the hell is going this, on? This, here? This, what an yeah. insane thing to do. Yeah. What, what a disgust. They, they're so clueless. So, of course, here, here was what I do made you, the do thumbnail. You, do you know what is the, the most bizarre thing that this? I find 
For a second, I thought there was Callum in the middle. <laughs> Which Callum? Lotus Eater's Callum. That's almost confused. It looks a bit like, like a Callum. What if he beard. gained 200 pounds? Maybe. <laughs> Callum's not that small. That guy's not that fat. That guy's pretty large. Look at his tummy. Uh, so, but yeah, this is Biden having a beer with some union workers. Yeah. Yeah. With his Big time hat construction on backwards. Guy. Yeah, you can tell <laughs> with his. Hat on See backwards. if 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 he had a beer in his hand, oh you could have at least sold the hat being wrong as a joke. Yeah. Oh, that, oh, he's drunk, and so yeah. Yeah, ha, exactly. Funny, but he doesn't. Did you see what Snopes mm -hmm. did? They initially yes. said that it was yes. false that it was backwards, and then apparently because the internet had such a field day with it, they reversed course, which yeah, is unusual. Yeah. It is unusual, but yeah, I did see that that Snopes originally said that no, the hat is on correctly. And then they went back and said, oh, uh, no, the hat's on wrong, but it's still a problem for you to point it out or something, okay. essentially. Can I, can I, can I just point out something that, that I find always weird about uh, about Joe Biden, and particularly Hillary Clinton? Because this is always like... It's like <clears> real people this is, to me. They feel like mannequins. Yeah, yeah, they do. But there is a point about Clinton that I think that is very weird because mm -hmm. people tend to hate Hillary Clinton for that comment of super predators and like we need to mm -hmm. find out what's wrong, but first we need to bring them to heel. People think that's bad. But mm -hmm. Bill Clinton was really, really popular with black people because he was heavy on crime. And the thing that nobody wants to say, including liberal voters, is that black people don't like criminals. And black people yeah. in general do not like if you throw black people in jail because at the end of the day, they still want to be fucking safe. They don't give a shit if it's black people in jail as long as they're safe. Yes. And and Joe Biden, like his 1994 crime bill, if he went back to that, he would actually get black people on board. Yeah, probably. But they won't do that because then you'd have to actually prosecute black criminals. We'll yes, but that. like, but th this is the thing. It's like this is the one thing that, that Kamala Harris and, and Joe Biden was originally known for, and not mm -hmm. being that is making making them lose votes with their own base. And it's funny because it's the liberal base that made them give that up, which is really fucking funny, actually, <laughs> in the grand scheme yeah. of things to me. Yeah. yeah, this is just pathetic, though. I, I mean, it's, it's it's he doesn't know where he's at. To be fair, no, he's um, completely gone. So, but this is he can't even get of off women. a stage. It's like five feet away from a set of steps. The, the women hate we were going on. By hate, I mean a reasonable uh, disgust. Uh, reasonable the Kennebec University yeah. survey shows that Biden is leading uh, Trump 50 to 44 percent. No believes that. The same poll had the incumbent edging on his rival 47 to 46 percent. Uh, Biden's strong numbers are driven by the support of 58 percent of female voters, 52 percent of independents, and 62 percent of poll. those with college degrees. Yeah, so I I don't believe this either. I don't believe this yeah. either. Like, d d yeah, don't take this shit too seriously. It's in the New York Post as well, which is quite strange. Yes, but, it's but they're reporting on a Knipiak, um post. So, yeah. or a poll. Knipiak tends to be like however, quite left however, more left-leaning anyway. I do believe that it's very, very likely that women are overwhelmingly fav favoring Biden just because... Abortion. Grabbing by the pussy shit. You know what I mean? Like, just stupid, stupid women yeah. shit. This is what my girlfriends told me to do. Like, the same, like I said, but those cups, you can get women to go, like, uh, insane. In one of those, in one of those things with that, that cup stuff, someone got trampled, yeah. by the way, running to get those cups. Because uh, some woman on Instagram told them these, this, these cups are the things that you got to buy. Someone got trampled over that. So, do I think that this is a realistic thing that because w other women are telling them to do it? That they're doing it? Oh, yeah. I sure do believe that. Now, new Veritas. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm, I haven't seen this one yet. Yeah, this is this is interesting. So, also, I love it. This is just... Like, James O'Keefe isn't even sending women anymore. No. Well, see, now, he, he he's went going in. in with makeup, pretending to be a gay man, I believe, because this guy's yep. clearly a homosexual. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's also drunk as fuck if his face is in there. Yeah, obviously. But, he's a bit uh, this is James O'Keefe himself doing this this interview. I like the way he's basically Clark Kent, just I just need glasses. Yeah. <laughs> My identity is hidden. High up in the government. Yeah, yeah up in the government. Yeah, yeah fairly high up. Yeah. Until I manage two federal agencies. Definitely gay. I can't uh, I can't uh, make the uh, it any louder. Sorry. Yeah, no Luckily, problem. there's there's some. I can hear it. So. Okay. So when you say sec it's like security, like you're 
protecting the networks of the federal agencies you that you give all your information to. The I mission is to protect right. yes. information. And we serve, we, we are like the president's voice when we go into meetings in terms of discussing and, and we got promoting the out president's there. priorities. Is he, is he going to be the, the nominee? Yes. So Biden's going to be the nominee, and, she the and she, Kamala Harris, will be the vice president nominee. But it's interesting what he says here afterwards. Vice president nominee. Yeah, I don't... There was a debate about removing her from the... There was a debate about removing her from the ticket, but sadly, they didn't. Oh, so the... racist. Oh, oh, yeah, very racist of you, sir. Based. Uh Interesting, though, that they want... That it seems that the left also wants Kamala gone, because she's fucking useless. The ticket, but... Sadly, they did. She can't keep black the staff. Fuck? They quit on her in May. But with him, why? Why is that? Well, you think? Why would she be able to keep black staff? She's an asshole. Black they people definitely. don't like assholes either. Just like they is don't it, like criminals. <laughs> yeah, nobody likes nobody likes an asshole. So like, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's crazy. With Biden, by the way, I, I, I have I have heard pieces. that. By the way, I've heard that she hemorrhages fucking stuff like there's no tomorrow. Mm -hmm. She went through like a record yeah. of like yeah, 13 staff reported. within like four months, some like insane because record. She, because she's an insufferable bint. Yeah, because so, yeah. I, I, I remember people saying about her, the reason why she left is because she has a, a horrible temper. She's a credibly yeah. lazy worker. She just, like, she just like throws the work at everybody else. And when no, sure. she doesn't know what the fucking hell surprised? she's doing, she blames it on everybody else. No, not at all. I mean, yeah. she, she literally got her position by getting fucked. And now she's trying to yes. fuck everybody else. Correct. Get on so, your knees, Kamala. Yeah. Suck some more dick. So he, uh, Keith, uh, O'Keefe asks him if uh, Biden's got dementia. Yeah, I, mean, I know. I know. He's got I know. dementia. Um, yeah, yeah, I um, know. He's definitely slowing down. He's slowing they know down. That he has those issues. I think so. Not... Uh, by the way, I remember that they tried to get Trump pulled by having him take a bunch of cognitive tests. Yes. They and then they were like, Biden take one. making fun of him for acing them. So it yeah. immediately shifted yeah. to how dare he care yeah. about passing them? I know. Remember now, they were making they fun of him for never, walking down the flight of steps by holding on the railing? Yeah, just yeah, slowly. Just because, yeah. Just slowly. Just, <laughs> but, like, that's what... Bruh, like, I, I'm 33. I gotta walk... Well, I mean, I'm a little bit fucked, but, like, I have to walk down the, the stairs slowly, too. And if I was on a, on a wet tarmac, I'd walk down the stairs super slowly with my hand on the... Which I think that's what that... Do you remember that, that time that, uh, that Biden fell up the stairs um, um, three up times? Up the stairs, yes, yes. Three remember yes. that time that he, he almost fell walking down the stairs? Remember the time he fell uh, on the stage? Yeah, well, I can remember... Well, how remember many the time he fell off a Biden bike? Over? <laughs> how many, yeah, he's it, fallen three countless. times at least. Well, it's countless now, the number of times that Biden's fallen over in public. He just keeps falling... Bro, Remember that time went, he couldn't get off the stage like 50 fucking times? Two weeks ago, I went to the bathroom. It was a little dark. I couldn't see anything. There was a towel on the floor to, to oh, wait, you know, for, for, the, for the shower. And I slipped on it. And I, I nearly broke my fucking foot. It's Ooh. now finally almost better. But like, I thought, I, I really thought for a minute. I bought like a boot and everything thinking, oh, I broke this foot. I just broke it. It's fine. But um, dude, and I'm 33. Biden's... Uh, a thousand years old like there's nobody he didn't break something doing all that shit her foot like, like she got the cyborg. blight from from dragon age i made fun of her <laughs> thank you <laughs> oh yeah because i shouldn't measure my foot it looks so screwed the whole thing was black and blue it was fucked yeah <laughs> and they're and not willing to say correct. it publicly and same thing well, with kamala harris that she's not popular but you can't remove the first black lady she's not black she's nope. indian exactly we can't remove the fast first black lady to be vice president. A man has a black man has already been president of the United States. You dipshit. To be vice president Would you call him black? Like what? Obama? Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean they, I don't, they don't think he is. Kenya is Africa, right? So, like, that was at least where uh, yeah. it provided that story is true, where his parents came from, and he didn't come from a communist mm -hmm. lab of some sort. But uh, yeah. yeah, but when I mean, he was elected, it, it, when he was being elected, that was that was the narrative: is that oh, the first black president in America? Do, you, know, do you, know, you, know, do you know what I always find so weird about uh, Barack Obama mm -hmm. that I could never understand? What is that in any of the circumstances? Black people in America, if they hear any black person talk like Obama, they instantly say he's talking white and he's a fucking sellout. Yes. But when he's Not president, wonderful. like you everyone thinks I mean. he's the shit. It's like, I, mean. I find that quite strange. Up, I can never wrap, I can never wrap my head around that. I'm full of Americans. I'm gonna 
Yeah, and and also cool. Obama is known as this great orator, but he he does this thing where oh, he, he says only something. Only when he has a teleprompter. In yeah, front of him. E- exactly. Yeah. yeah, because when he doesn't, he's a complete fucking idiot. And he does this thing yeah. where he says something that he thinks is incredibly profound, and then stares into space like five minutes, like he's just Messiah. Like, what no, the fuck it's, are you? It's supposed to be. It's pro- supposed to be profound, right? I know it's it's theatrical, but he just looks like a twat yeah. to anyone else who just realizes that what he just anyone says is who's nothing not special. Taken in. Anyone yes. who's not taken in by the. Uh, the, yeah, and if you were to take him and put him in South Africa, he'd be a coloured. He wouldn't be black. <laughs> like legitimately, if I look at him, like no, no, sp- motherfucker, you're not black. You're coloured because he's he's from uh, from South Africa. He's allowed to. Yeah, that's what he would be. He looks more like fucking Trevor Noah than he does like anything. Sure, he looks. He looks, he looks. He looks closer to. He looks closer to Trevor Noah than he does to like say Tim Scott. Well, it's always it's right, right, right. It's always hilarious as where they draw the line as to when you are or are not black. I always find that fascinating. Like, for example, you don't have a criminal record. No, for example, it, when I was um, <laughs> investigating the, the Claudine Gay stuff at Harvard, which that video just taking me that video just taking me forever to to edit because it's huge and it took me a month to research. But um, there's this guy called Larry Bobo. That is really his name. Um, That's amazing. I know his name is, is he Larry funny? Bobo. No, he's not funny at all. He's a black professor at, oh. at Harvard, and he's a piece of shit. Uh, but he also was stolen from by Claudine Gay, but he's another, like, race grifter. Oh, uh, Professor Bobo. Wait, 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 oh, so wait, he's no, a clown, no, no, actually. No, no, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no. I got this confused. Larry Bobo was not stolen by stolen from Claudine Gay. Let me get this. Sorry. There's two stories involved. I have to rephrase it. There is a man named right. uh, uh, Roland, Dr. Roland, who was oh, he's a, based. Uh, Dr. Roland, who is based, who was a professor at Harvard, who's a black guy who, like, came up from nothing nothing his his mother abandoned him his father was an alcoholic gambling addict who was caught with a rape charge and then he ended up having to be raised by his grandmother got in on an ac- on an athletic scholarship into harvard became fell in love with uh, economics and then put himself not just through undergraduate graduate and then graduate school and became one of the most prominent and preeminent economic scholars on earth by the way this uh-huh. guy is the def- definition of a self-made man. Larry Bobo at Harvard and Claudine Gay tried to destroy him. Oh, that's fucked up. Two black scholars didn't like him, essentially, because he said based shit. And you know what the base shit he said was? That black Trump's people dads. could succeed. Black, no, that black people could succeed. That's it. And they didn't, they didn't need the government to interfere. That just education could... could let black kids be as smart as white kids to quote Joe Biden. Right, right. And so, or should be poor kids. Right. And so they, they'd ruined his life with a bunch of me too allegations. These, these pieces wow. of shit. It's they un- are awful. fucking believable Holy what shit. they did to this. Oh man. His story. I, I emailed him. He hasn't gotten back to me, which he can't cause he still teaches at Harvard cause he was um, tenured and is tenured. Uh, I didn't expect him to respond to me. Someone else did. I got responses yeah. from other people involved, but uh, in terms of other scholars, but yeah, he couldn't. I I, I understand. I told him in my email, I'm like, I understand if you can't even say, I can't respond to this email, which I think is probably the case. But uh, I sent him a very heartfelt email about it, being like, dude, I looked over your entire case and it was it made me very upset. But anywho, so yeah, uh, these these people who care who supposedly care so much about black people, no, they don't. They only care about you so long as your opinions align with theirs. As long yeah. as your politics align with theirs. They don't give a shit about the color of your skin. They don't care about anything other than what your politics are. That's what it comes down to. So here we go. What kind of message are you going to send to, like, all the African-American voter? How would you spin that? Spin People it? Like, what the fuck? Like, like, she's a woman and she's multiracial. I think, I think that they're really concerned about it. But they won't say it. Well, I guess if they say it publicly, Correct. that Biden they is, publicly. is, uh... No. They can't say it publicly. No, no, they've got it. They got to they tell the fire. Sorry, I forgot his name. Dr. But they won't Empire. say publicly Correct. that Biden they is, is uh, no. they can't say it publicly. Can't say anything publicly. Oh, weird. I mean, I'm just, I'm just telling just, you what I've heard. Like, just, yep. Why do they keep falling for this shit, by the way? I've gay. heard the argument from. Uh, this was a weird thing after this video came out. I saw some conservative ink conservatives uh, saying some things like, hey, this just proves that these are just dumb people and there's no big conspiracy with powerful elites in control of things. And I was like, that's a weird thing to say. I'm like, okay, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if it's, if it's Biden and that's true, then it's going to be Biden and Harris. We'll see. I'm, I'm yeah. not convinced it's going to be Biden. Yeah, let's go. 
You're just telling me the truth. Does it make sense? No, but that's, I mean, that's what I've heard. <laughs> I've had a meeting with Michelle Obama at one point when I was an intern, and someone asked her, will you ever run for office? And she said no, emphatically. Really? I've seen all the shit my husband has had to go through, and that does not- Whoa, wait a minute. This guy's on a gay date with who he thinks is another gay man, and he's married to a, a man? Wait, where did he say? Oh, he says, oh! My husband. Obama. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no! No! no. Hang on! Hang on! Hang on! He's talking about. He's talking about Michelle. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I was I, confused I, for a second. Right I was like, "What the yeah, fuck did you get this from?" Sorry, I was reading the, the the subtitles. Look, I read Japanese shit all the time, so I'm like, "Whoa!" I read the subtitles first. <laughs> People would be like, "Well, I don't think we should have to get the vaccine." And I'm like, "Come on." Like, Fuck you too. Get the vaccine, and then you're gonna go expose my family exactly. in the hospital. Exactly. Exactly. No, it doesn't prevent. It doesn't at all prevent uh, transmission. Now, does it? Hmm. Hmm. Am I the only See, one who, when when that happened, this looked the wind? Why is everyone being retard? This this is not how vaccines ever work. Why is why is this so with this? Well, I did. It's not just you. You it's, believe it's, that it's shit? Millions. No, it's millions of people who who agree with you, Spoon, and agree with because. When I just looked at it, I was like, excuse me, you did what? You went from idea to testing to rolling out a vaccine in three months? That is not how science works. No. And so I immediately, like, every red flag in my brain went off. And, they just, and then when they hmm. just did all this shit, ah, like... Ah, yes, the NOD. No, I'm not going to... Yeah, the needle of doom is what I call it. <laughs> Luckily, luckily, <laughs> fuck all this shit. They've all been proven to be wrong about this, and it was all made up and fake. In terms of like the way their their media bullshit about it was yeah. fake. Oh yeah. yeah, you're fucked. I even okay. stopped wearing the mask like the first time I was in the store. So you work in cybersecurity for the White House. <clears throat> my my question is, you still tell us James O'Keefe? How can you not tell us James O'Keefe? Look how bold he's getting. He took his glasses off. He see yeah. this is interesting. He's going like kamikaze. Uh, it's yeah. going to be interesting to see because he supposedly has some other shit drop into. Yeah. Some people went undercover and got smuggled through the border by cartel people. At least according yeah, yeah, yeah. to their story, that sounds wild. With James O'Keefe. What type of cybersecurity operation are you guys running over there? Yeah, what kind what of cybersecurity operation? We're running a good cybersecurity operation. Well, obviously not. So this guy goes on a fucking gay date with James O'Keefe. God damn. Doesn't he doesn't even he's barely done any makeup. He's just strolling through there. This is hilarious. Clown show. I don't think he's has he done any makeup? He should, he's just showing up as James O'Keefe. No, he does what? not give a fuck. fuck. Guys running over at the White House. Videos wow. like these will be Oh my god. I see I don't know how much more is in this, but uh I think it's mostly him talking about this. Alright. I think they're going through should we re watch more of this, I guess? Yeah, whatever you want. I'm, fine. Uh, yeah. Either way, it's, it's fine. I'm just amazed, like, how the hell... I like the way how that... How did he not recognize that, it's James O'Keefe? Uh, this is what I'm saying. I like the way that he just took off the glasses as if, like, his entire disguise was like, voila, it's really me, James O'Keefe. The glasses, you couldn't it's, tell. It was me, <laughs> it's like, Dio. what the fuck? Hang on, let me, uh, it's weird. <laughs> it was like, okay. what the I'll fuck? Let's go back here. Where I studied when I joined the, um, the security studies program in the School of Foreign Service. This guy's clearly gay so and trying to engage in a gay hookup, though, though, right? On, like, cyber security and cyber I believe, I would, that's health. the impression so, like, I get. Yeah. yeah. The, like, espionage. Just from his voice. I mean, yeah, I mean, he's definitely gay. You are James Bond, aren't you? <laughs> I know, my, my grandmother, my grandmother likes to be like, he's a spy, he's a spy. And my parents are like, you can't say that. Don't, don't tell people, don't say people that. Don't say that you're a spy. <laughs> that makes you like a target. I mean, yeah. Yeah. But, um. Yeah. Oh, they, they're, no, so he thinks this makes him attractive, right? I'm a spy. Not a spy. I work for the White House. I'm not a spy, but I, I totally I am a spy. I do oversight and management, and so my job is to, um, help oversee like responses to cyber incidents and cybersecurity problems and so I Oh man, this man is so State gay. Yeah. The State Department. Oh, so you can hear the list from a fucking mile off. So I I like have recurring meetings with them where we talk about goals and we talk about, about the president's priorities and like how are they coming on certain executive order deliverables and like all of this kind of stuff. Charlie says he's responsible for protecting the networks of the federal agencies. So when you say security, like uh, which shouldn't exist, they're a fucking crime against humanity and a crime against the Constitution. Bye bye. You should get fucked. Security, like you're protecting the networks of the federal agencies. You, that you give all your information to. 
that, that through commerce or, or everyone. Yeah. So you're commerce. protecting the networks. Yes. And I, but I'm not like sitting there coding. Yeah. I'm meeting with like the senior level decision makers, and we're talking about problems. You're doing it at a senior like, level. Yeah. The so mission to is to protect right. yes. information. Okay. That's How do they fall impressive. for this shit? Thanks. Wow. That's yes, cool. it's incompetence. Really I just cool. don't buy the incompetence argument for the whole thing. I mean, it could be incompetence for the whole thing. I just, after COVID, I just don't, I don't buy yeah, that. I, yeah, I, I it's agree. It's crazy. Like, I, I, I truly am fat, flabbergasted as to how they're, they keep falling for this stuff and just go out there on dates with random people and just say everything yeah but i guess they, they feel so um invulnerable that they don't care Fun. that's something that, that makes sense to me who works in the executive well they're rarely held house. accountable exactly and they, you know, yeah. and they yeah. always usually protect their own speaking not always of, but usually uh speaking of I, I don't know how much more we want to watch this we watched it but um the did you see that the people who did the gay sex tape <laughs> they were like uh, there's nothing. no crime here <laughs> yeah. uh, yep uh, hang on. There's two people story, having right? people are getting fucked. That's totally normal. Yeah. To be to they, be fair, uh, to uh, to be fair, um, two people fucking in the halls of Congress, like the idea of people getting screwed, that's that's not a in any way a surprise yeah. though. So we are closing the investigation into the facts and circumstances surrounding the sex video that was recorded inside the Hart Senate office building on the morning of Wednesday, December thirteenth. Nothing to see here, federal, folks. Local prosecutors, as well as doing a comprehensive investigation and review of possible charges, it was determined that. Despite a likely violation of congressional policy, there is no evidence that a crime was committed. Although the hearing room was not open to the public at the time, the congressional staffer involved had access to the room. The people of interest were not cooperative, nor were the elements of any possible crimes met. The congressional staffer, who has since resigned from his job, exercised his Fifth Amendment right to remain silent and refused to talk to us. Our investigators are willing to review new evidence should any come to light. The U.S. State's Capitol Police. So they don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm not surprised at this. Uh, leftist no. homosexuals are uh, pretty much above the law at this point. Um, and so, uh, but if you are a conservative and you pray or sing in an abortion clinic, you're facing 11 years. So there you go. Obviously. Right. Obviously. Uh, I'm going to use the bathroom again. Sorry. Um, but because I'm old. Uh, here is something interesting. Uh, this is... Uh, Dems in Congress are calling for Biden to seize control of the Texas National Guard. So here's Joaquin Castro, who says, Governor Greg Abbott is, a, is using the Texas National Guard to obstruct and create a chaos at the border. If Abbott is defying today's Supreme Court ruling, because by the way, um, the Supreme Court uh, mistakenly ruled that the Texas has no right to defend its own border, essentially. I couldn't believe this. But... That's more or less the, the decision that was made. Uh, if Abbott is defying yet, and, and then Greg Kassar, also a congressman, says, I agree. If Abbott is defying yesterday's Supreme Court ruling, POTUS needs to establish sole federal control of the Texas National Guard. This is grounds for a civil war right here. I think lunatics like Castro and Cesar, like they want yeah. bloodshed and they want oh, yes, Biden clearly. to do something. Um, yeah. I, I think yeah. this is similar, uh, like to the uh, Israel Palestine thing in the White House. There seems to be two different camps. So there's, and I think it's similar with this. There's like two camps. They're the, mm -hmm. the ones that want uh, Trump supporters to just start being executed. And then there's others that are concerned yes. about the political yes. optics of that, or if maybe you don't want to get that hyperbolic, like as far as like, you know, federalizing the national guard. Uh, and so Biden hasn't done it. I think this was, was it like last week when this all went down? He hasn't done anything. A couple yet. days ago. Yeah. Um, yeah. like yeah, this. About a week ago. Yeah. So, you know, we'll see. I, I mean, it, I wouldn't put it past him. He's not in control. So it, it's possible. No, that, it might be, you just know, posturing, like you say. Yeah. And I, I think that probably is true that, there are two two parts of this, which there's the Democrats who are trying to be um, optical, optical, yeah, and and go, oh no, 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 we don't want to, we don't want to just show our full hand that what we really want to do is is be completely insane. Um, and then there's the Democrats who are just like, what the fuck are your optics? I don't give a shit. I'm just gonna do whatever the hell I want. Um, so okay, I do. Have to and this restroom. okay, this issue, yeah, no problem. This was um, when Spoon was asking earlier about like um, Congress and like <laughs> the executive branch in power. Mm -hmm. This issue with Abbott and Biden, it, it like I think similarly, it's like 
If you have a president who is illegitimately elected, who is deliberately destroying the country, do I care if Abbott or the people opposing him follow every law? Right? That's like the question. And, yeah. you know, I not really. Um, I, you know, that might be bad, but uh, I think the people destroying the country have to be stopped. And so, yeah. you know, hopefully it doesn't have to get out of hand. But this idea, commies love to use your principles against you while they're fucking you in the ass. And yep. I just don't agree with the idea of letting them do it. And then what? Oh, we, we got to be principled and let them win. I, I, I don't I don't buy that. I don't think it's an easy situation. You know, I could be wrong, but that's generally my thinking, at least for now. Yeah, because that's see, I, I, I'm in the same camp where you kind of want to go. Well, you have to do something because if you don't do if you don't do anything, you're going to lose other way. So right. the, the push is potentially a gamble. But if you do nothing, you get fucked either way. So you exactly. you, you may as well swing for the fences. Yeah. Um, and th th I get the feeling that is that is the position of a lot of people that they will not take. Like if if you've been, I don't know if you followed Dev on a short fellow talk on Twitter. Oh no. He, yes, I've seen. Yeah, he's yeah. Yeah, he's got like that mentality of like liberalism must work, and like when you show him over and over again that the regime is hopelessly corrupt, he, the, he has got like this. No, you you are corrupting my fantasy, and it's like, no, it's already corrupt. I could just tell you the truth, and it, it's like this weird right. mentality of like cult worship. Well, because it it violates what he thinks the world should be, and yes. because it doesn't lo align with that, that makes him upset. So it's like no, 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 just just ignore everything that that violates my worldview. That 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 isn't real. None of that's real. Only the things that align with my world are, are real. Are yeah. Real. There's like <laughs> there's like the fantasy. There's like the, the yeah. there's what you want idealistically. Like sure. I like the live and let live. I like a lot that's of nice. the libertarian yeah. stuff. Live and let live. That's yeah. all great. I don't know how practical that is with a commune infestation in the country, because they seem yeah. to thrive off that type of mentality. They seem they, experts in using it against you. Absolutely do. Absolutely yeah. HB. They they yeah. thrive off of uh, of libertarians who who don't want to make this who who want to just be live and left, let live but um because they, See, they but they're never going to do it they they that, you know that's that's the problem for whatever reason he, he's going to always support the the maximization the and, and the explosion of government and uh, he's going to use libertarians who are um more sort of reticent i will say and do whatever you tell me just leave me alone to, to bust all my nuts that's basically death's yeah. position so this uh, is which is kind of cringe uh impeachment is not meant as a tool for revenge this is an actually very good thing uh, really so, yeah weird Jesus right? Christ, Christ, would you, would you? they love to gaslight oh that's fine <laughs> i know so listen to this why okay. did you impeach trump three times we are being fooled that that's work true. is being done against an individual for treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. The American people understand that that is not the actions that we are here for today. Mm -hmm. Revenge, yep. vengefulness is why we are here. Thank you. Otherwise, I'll take that. I'll, uh, no problem. You deserve that. You deserve that. She's completely <laughs> right. No, no, she, yeah. no, hang on. I might have not phrase this or, or framed this correctly. She is right. This is revenge. Yeah. This is revenge. 100%. This is not about the law. This is not about the Constitution. This is about revenge. And that Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, Miss Jackson is an Lee, let's go. Whose family fled the Nazis. Uh, who and cares? Who? Uh, who gives a shit? Oh my God. Yeah, she, she's just she's doing this to, to be uh, ameliorative. To, who them, buys right? this? People still buy know. that. I think I they do crazy. in D.C. especially. They do. Yeah, they do. States. I, th that this is, is this is the one through. thing that uh, needs to be said. We we badly need Th we badly need to long, get. Though. Yeah, no, I, I agree with what you said so far, but we badly need to get a new set of villains because the Nazi one has long worn out its fucking welcome, and it's, it's like really, a total meme at this point. It yeah, it's meme. it's it's so fucking boring as well. It it's boring, so yes. fucking boring. Boring as fuck. It just it just makes you want to get a fucking SS uniform just to troll. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> get one at least that looks stylish. Exactly. The new yeah. Got the I can Hugo guarantee you. I can. I can guarantee you could still wear the swastika if you can pull off 
the uniform, a girl will fuck you. I oh, guarantee. Absolutely. <laughs> you, of course. Immigrant like how potent is the swastika? Serve really? as head <laughs> of the Department of Homeland Security, and yet this committee seeks to suggest that he is violating the Constitution. He is. When in essence, no, no. his freedom is based upon our Constitution. She's about Trump. Today, no, she, what she said all there is, is very based. However, here's what I want to point out. What she said is based is this response. This is Aaron Ray Hermes, who is a human rights advocate running for the U.S. Congress in Texas. And he says, oh, so wanting to protect the country is revenge now? LOL. Then why did you impeach Trump for making a perfectly valid phone call in 2019? Keep lying and we'll keep showing up with receipts. Can't wait to take your seat. Based. So I agree I, with him, the though. beautiful thing about Democrats is you don't need to like make up bullshit with them. You could prosecute mm -hmm. a lot of them on real crimes. But even if you made up some bullshit, they would deserve that. I'm not saying it's good to do it, but they would deserve that. They would absolutely deserve that. Yeah. Wanting to protect the country by per persecuting. I know it's prosecution, but it's persecuting somebody it is revenge. It is revenge. It is fucking revenge. She's completely correct. What you have done against Trump is some weird version of revenge. Yeah. You know what I find, I find strange about the, the, the Trump thing? Like, let's just say, like, from a, a legal perspective, like, what he mm -hmm. did w was not something that, that you should do uh, with regards to, like, uh, the phone call and investigating. But as far as I'm yeah. aware, Biden was not his political um, opposition when he made the Correct. phone call. Yeah. yeah. Yes. yes. Correct. 100%. Um, Yes, mm -hmm. which means he's perfectly entitled to do that. And secondly, he was in the right to fucking do that because Biden is corrupt as shit. Yes. 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 So, so those two things totally undoes the whole impeachment mm -hmm. yes. right there. Yeah. Right. Yep, exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. Robert Garcia, who is the 20th mayor of Long Beach and a progressive and proud yeah. American with a gay flag in his Obviously profile. Obviously homosexual, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can, can I just say this, one thing? This is what I love about, I love this tweet so much. I love this tweet. He says, is this he is helping the... Trump? Is he trying to help Trump? This is awesome. I know, exactly. <laughs> Are you trying to help him? Because this is fucking dope. This is great. This is... I, I remember that I talked about... Fence well, no, with you, you and I must have talked about this. You and I must yeah. have talked about this years ago, HB, which is that, yes. um, remember that book that, that some supposed staffer in the White House point out, uh, uh, put out where she said that Trump was raving like a lunatic that he wanted to fill the Rio Grande with uh, alligators and crocodiles and sharks yeah. and stuff. Yes. And now it, here it is illustrated by some Democrat. Yeah. Based. Do you yeah, realize this you picture see, looks yeah. badass? Why did you make it look so cool? <laughs> Idiot. You made it look I, awesome. <laughs> and I love how they they think that they're going to appeal to Hispanics, like all Hispanics want illegals in the country. <laughs> no, they don't. They, they, like, they're they're uh, like, I'm here. I got my bag. Get the fuck out. Uh, speaking of complete delusion and inability yeah, get, to under to like, read the room. Can I, can, I, can, I just, can I just comment on that? This, this is something <laughs> that I've um. There's a, a friend of mine. He's um. He's a Canadian guy, but uh, he's he's mixed. Like he's basically like. Persian and, and some um, Arabic mix. Like he, he calls himself a brown mutt. That's his own words. And yeah. I said to him, something that European people living, like the European uh, um, bloodline people in America and, and, uh, and Canada do not understand. And he said to me, the people that Trudeau are bringing in are objectively not good people, like as yeah. far as how to behave in the West, right? And he said to me, he prefers being around white people because he feels like they're civilized and everyone else is not. And I said to him, Damn. no, but like, I said, like, this is something that you have a group of people, like, the, obviously people prefer their own kind, right? However, there's a group of people who come from outside of Europe who go to Europe because they are legitimately the best of their bunch. And they prefer the company of Europeans because they're better than the rest of their race. And they go, you guys suck. Europeans are way better than you. And they will learn from the Europeans. And it pisses them the fuck off to see mm -hmm. shitheaded liberal jackasses import the very same fucking people they tried to get away from. Yes, it annoys exactly. the shit out of them. And like, why the fuck are you bringing in these fucking assholes that I worked my ass to get away from 
that I yeah. work to get in, and you are bringing them illegally, you absolute fucking illegally. asshole. And yeah. they, they hate the fact that Europeans look weak. Like, why the fuck are you catering to these people, you asshole? And I, yeah. and they, I said, if you think that white people are racist, go to those people, because I said this over and over again. The people who hate um, like foreigners the most are other foreigners because they know intimately what they like because they come from that same stock. Yeah, exactly. And this is like frame breaking to people. Like I said, do you know who the most racist people in South Africa? In South Africa, it's not whites; it's other blacks because they look yes. at black people and go, "You vote for these fucking assholes that ruin the country for the rest of us. Why the fuck are you doing this?" And Speaking I don't know how people don't get that. Black people, Corey Bush, oh, who is, is is a oh, fucking yeah. uh, oh, I, I saw this permanently retarded. Like I think, like I, I don't know how she manages to to breathe and blink at the same time. He inhales money. Says intimate partner violence can be deadly. Every single person deserves safety and peace in their relationship. St. Louis, join us next Wednesday. Uh, blah blah blah. Come to do a thing. Uh, black women are three times more likely to die as a result of intimate partner violence abuse. Intimate partner abuse oh, than white women. Really? Gee, Corey. I wonder why. Hmm. Uh, Corey, what? Hmm, who's the one I, doing the damage? I'm, I'm, trying, I'm, trying, I'm trying to figure this out. Why? Why would that be? Uh, it must be those white way, supremacist hey. terrorists. Oh, yeah. By the way, what? by the way, did you, did you see the replies? Same thing. That, oh, the, the replies are insane. Like, oh. like it's just it seems pretty. Here's Carl Benjamin. Seems pretty racist. Who's committing the violence? This way, yeah. Who's committing the violence in these rates? <laughs> uh, that's awful. But who's doing the killing? Yeah, she got mogged. She got completely. There was one that said like, "There's someone in her campaign attempting to delete this tweet immediately." <laughs> so, the domestic violence is an epidemic in the black community. Dude, there you go, salty. That's the one. Yeah. Oh, we're salty. <laughs> Right there. Oh yeah. Last one. Uh, she's about to get a phone <laughs> <laughs> She didn't though, it's still up. This dumb bitch. This dumb bitch has left this up. You she can't she can't under she's so removed from reality, she can't understand what why you have to know does um does somebody else operate their Twitter accounts? Maybe. Why else would Possibly. she post me like this? Because I can't imagine if you're an actual sitting congresswoman that you are this retarded that you would tweet this. Like how she is fucking a, stupid are you? They are pretty retarded. She's, Do you see that she's other one? Retarded, yeah. The, the ratchet one at Congress. She, they, she's like going on these rants, and, and it's uh, I forget her name. Um, what the hell's her name? Oh, wasn't Corey Bush? Um, no, it's not Corey. She's she's gone on some rants. No, there's this other one. It's like new one with like giant Ooh. giant cans. This black <laughs> oh. chick. And she goes on these ridiculous rants, and it's like incoherent. And they're like, "Oh, bring her on MSNBC! Look how brave this Look stunning black woman is!" Are. And it's like, "What the hell are you?" I think I forget her name, but it's it, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. By the way, I HB, did you see um, did you see see uh, Joy Reid saying start another fucking war on MSNBC? Yes, very yeah, fascinating. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. outstanding. Very fascinating. We watched that last night. Yeah. So I was um, laughing my ass off when I saw that. This is curious. Uh, yeah, this is ridiculous. Yeah, Michael Cassidy's been charged with a hate crime by prosecutors and now faces five years in prison for destroying the satanic the satanic idol that was set up in the um, He faced five Capitol years in prison. Building. In, uh, yeah, it's a hate crime, this? they're claiming. Federal he's, he's, hate he's, crime. He's not going to get any. He's not going to see it in jail, by the way. You think so? No, I don't think he will. How bad do you think the United States is? Not bad enough. It, the, t the satanic temple of Iowa installed a statue depicting the idol of Baphomet, holding a pentacle and surrounded by the candles in the Iowa State Capitol near the displays of the Nativity. Cassidy, a conservative Christian, finally had enough. He pushed over the uh, and decapitated this satanic symbol before he discarded the head in the trash can. Cassidy faces uh, a charge for fourth degree criminal... You could get charged for five years in prison for this! That's fucking for, insane. For knocking over your satanic fucking shit. Insane. I, so this, do you think? Do you think he's going to get yeah. this HB? Yeah, I don't know. I think I wouldn't be surprised based on what's happening right now, mm -hmm. and I, the, the list of people who have been jailed over bullshit that are mm -hmm. conservatives are, is in the thousands. A lot of them are J Sixers, mm -hmm. but um, I wouldn't be surprised. He is if it, depending on on if he's in Congress, though. I do think there is a solid argument that he won't get any time. So Here's he's not though. He just ran for Congress. Yeah, he's not in. Oh, he just yeah. See, that's ran. interesting. Yeah. He yeah. probably there's a chance he has access to like maybe people that could help him. 
Um, uh, so I, you know, if this That's was a like a money, random, though. if this was like a regular guy that went into the Capitol, I would say yeah, no chance fucked. that he's yeah. not. But this guy, maybe he he doesn't get jail time. The thing about this. So I'm not a Christian. Well, this and, is why I wanted to ask you about this specifically, yeah. SB, because like you, you've had a obviously a horrible uh, experience with uh, yeah, Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, well, yeah, it's the J Dubs, which, yeah. is just, which is barely Christianity, but you know, what it's mean? Like, like a cult. Yeah. yeah, it's like a Christian yeah. cult. So uh, yeah, I, so I'm not a Christian. Uh, I, uh, I I've generally been been against most organized religion. I do think there are some churches that do things fine and that are not like abusive or whatever. But anyway, th- my point is. Five years ago, I would have been uh, like kind of, well, everyone should have their thing. So if we have the capital, the Christians should put, this is what I was sold on. The Christians put their Mm -hmm. thing up. The Jews put their thing up. The Satanists put their thing up. Everyone puts their thing up. That's what I was sold. Then once everyone got comfortable with that, now they started removing the Christian shit. Yes. Now, now we're Christian in this religion. situation, right? And now only the Satanists have their thing up. And if you do anything, you get you get jail time. So clearly, a line needs to be drawn here. That the Satanists, no, you can't put your shit in here. Fuck you. Okay. And no, if they're like, the well, Christians what about can have this? their thing as right. well? By the way. And if they say, say, and I'm not saying this is the right attitude to have. I'm just saying this is currently where I am. If, there, if there's any back talk about, oh, what about this? Go fuck yourself. Eat a dick. This is what we're doing. Yeah. And that's it. So you, you just have to get the power. You have to get the control. So And yeah. you have to just completely get these people out of here. That's it. Yeah, I don't I know am. how feasible that is, but yeah. I've had enough of this. This is really, you're putting innocent people in jail, mm-hmm. okay, for things that you suck the cock of your side when they, you know, when they're yeah. knocking over statues of like uh, Thomas Jefferson, you're loving it. You're mm-hmm. like, oh, this is so brave, black power. Mm-hmm. This is unacceptable. So, yeah, uh, I would have no problem if the Christians completely took over, drew a line in the sand, and told the Satanists to get fucked. I, I, I'm fine with that. There might be some negatives to that. You know, I think they can get, you know, in the early 2000s, you but remember the theocrats yeah. were a little bit crazy. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what's kind of but, yeah. crazy about this, that, that both you and I, I think, have, have really watched happen in real time, because I also had a really bad experience with, with Christians at, at certain points in my life. Um, not to the degree that you did, though, dude. Holy shit. Sure, sure. Um, but... Uh, if people don't know, um, Heart Bastard was in the Jehovah's Witness cult for years. Um, I'm sure most people watching do, but um, which is a cult, uh, and yeah, it's, it's, it's not it's not normal like Christian Christianity. It, no, it's no. a totally different thing. Yeah. Um, however, this guy just being like, "I'm gonna knock over this Satan head you put in." I can't believe this, but you couldn't put if you put a crucifix up there. Don't you think they would have burned it or something? Like, they they would have. If they did, nothing would happen. That. They would have been horrified make the news. by a crucifix being in the same building. But they put up a statue to fucking Lucifer. And I know that the the Church of Satan is a complete meme. It's just a bunch of bullshit. But still, it's very indicative of the way thing. It's to me, it's crazy. Could you have fathomed things would have changed this much in just twenty years? To go no, from no, satanic no. panic to yeah. no Satan, no Satan's great. You can't, you can't disrespect my my image of Satan. And go from George Bush to this, yeah, in Crazy. twenty years. Like. Here's, and, and you know Satan, what it is? They're fucking with us. See, that's what I think yeah, makes are, me go us, yeah. so far in the other direction. They're deliberately yeah. fucking with us, yeah. and I just yeah. think yeah. there needs to be one huge legal political chin check. Yeah. And um, hopefully that gets delivered at some point because uh, again they're putting people no, in jail though. right now. They're putting conservatives yeah. in jail. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> Speaking of legality, E. Oh, Jean God, Carroll yeah. has mm. uh, won her court case against Trump, and then immediately goes forward to uh, indict herself because she's she, such a she fucking isn't lunatic. Uh, I don't think she's so actually going to see any of that money. I don't. Yeah, think I don't. Either. I think it's very possible she doesn't get a penny because yeah. <clears throat> he's appealing all of these yeah. things. Like what? Whatever. I thought Engeron was going to rule yesterday. Engeron's going to rule yeah. the maximum. It's going to be six hundred fagillion dollars or whatever. Yeah. And uh, it, it'll get appealed. He goes on does this. <clears throat> all yeah. of this might get undone. I don't really think she she should be too uh, secure. I, I, this this is the impression that that I get from almost all these. Um, these uh, these lawsuits. It's just that it's just trying lawsuits, to like gish gallop. Yeah, it's just something like gish gallop yeah. Trump with as much shit and the yes. the severity of the numbers. He has a billion lawyers to take care of this. Yes, exactly. 
but it, but it's a, it is also an attempt to bleed them. But I think the other reason is because the the bigger the number, the give the uh, the more energized the base gets, and yeah. the the base yeah. right now is so mm-hmm. fucking low. They need something to like jolt them, and it's yeah. this kind of shit. Like if you actually tell them like, well, yeah, this not gonna get a penny, and she's gonna get fucked. Uh, yeah. This would Here's really something. get Trump a smile, and they would get very demoralized. <laughs> What you're yeah. going to watch that here that's hilarious is that the other two women on the two sides of E.G. and Carol Those are, are realizing in real time that they should not have supported this psychopathic bitch because she's insane. Yeah, she's she out of her mind. She's le- legitimately unhinged. Uh, and she... Remember her claim. By the way, she, she's supposed to win, like, what, like $80 million or something from Trump? It's some ridiculous amount. Yeah. Over the claim like 64, that I think. he... That he groped her at a Sainsbury's, or I don't know, like some some department store, yeah, some department store in the nineties, and, and she no has some evidence that. of it. No one believes it, but but apparently the the judge believed it uh, because Trump bad. And here's her response to the immediate. Did you uh, did you see when she was stuff. trying to hit on Anderson Cooper? Yes, I yeah, saw that. that. Was, it, we, oh was God, crazy. that was. That oh, was so oh, uncomfortable. Oh, Anderson. Oh, you're <laughs> you're so ha- he's gay, Gene. Yeah. You can't. You can't. What did she say? Him. Like you're you're fascinating to talk to or something? And like yeah, yeah, stone face response was. Yeah, that's it. Oh that was it. god, yeah. it was funny as fuck. But here <laughs> she's now just destroyed her case. By the way, because she just revealed that all she cared about was money. It was money? It is. No shit. You've talked about using some of Trump's money that some you're of. about to get um, to help shore up women's rights. Do you know what that might be? What that might look like? Rachel Maddow is, is, by the way, here's the amazing thing. Look at Rachel Maddow's face over the course of this, because Rachel is trying so hard to defend this woman. But yeah, then looks, like, like <laughs> a, she actually looks like the Statue of Liberty and then freeze frame. Yeah, she, she has to like then defend this. <laughs> like she, you can l- watch Rachel's nervous laughter. By the way, people I, on, the, I keep on, saying on this. both sides of her. Why does she look more Carol, masculine than Chris Hayes? He, oh she God, is definitely. Point. It's she it's is. fucking funny. The two women on either side of Carol are her lawyers, and you're gonna watch them be like, "Shut up!" Yeah, yeah, watch. yeah. They're a lawyer. Yes, Rachel. Yes, tell me. I had such such great ideas <laughs> for all the good I'm gonna do with this money. First thing, Rachel. You and I are gonna go shopping. We're gonna get. Oh my God! Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> I just realized she sounds exactly awkward like Nancy laughter. Pelosi. Yeah. But that awkward laughter, it's a bunch of awkward laughter of like, originally, I think initially when she says this first line, we're going to go shopping, Rachel Maddow and her lawyer and, and, and E.G. That, that Carol's is quite the frame, Jesus are thinking that this is, this, is a, this is a joke. She's making a little joke here. This is no. like one of the head crabs from Half-Life. <laughs> She's not making a joke. <laughs> She's just saying like, I'm going to just fucking spend all this money however the fuck I feel like because I'm not actually aggrieved. Motorcycle for Crowley, new fishing rod for Robbie. Rachel, what do you want? Penthouse? <laughs> it's yours, Nothing. Rachel. A penthouse? It's yours. Wowee. Penthouse and uh, France? You want France? You want to go? Uh, look at. Okay, so body language check. Rachel Maddow is shaking her head no because she's like, please stop, please stop, please stop. No, 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 no. At first it was funny. Now you need to stop. Don't do this. You have to know how fucked up this Women's is. Women's rights, no one's going to spending spree. No. Oh. Oh, right. No, 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 no. That's a joke. That's and then a the joke. lawyer, that's a joke. Yeah, yeah, okay. Is it a joke? Right. Was it a joke? Was this it a whole joke? thing's no. a joke. Sure. Was it a joke? I don't think so. <laughs> Although if, if me fishing in France could yeah. do something for women's rights, I would take the hit. $80 million yeah, she got from I'd Trump. take one. For the All right, let me let me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, as if. It's just just chuckle and act like you didn't mean. I, I love that the lawyer had to be like, shut up. It's a joke. As if you need persuasion in that regard. Let me let me finish with a final question. Um, and again, this is both for you, Sean, and, and for you, Robbie. And you guys can divide up responsibility here. <laughs> so she's not asking her any more questions. No, no, no more questions for you. No more questions for you. And look, look at her face. Look at E. Jean Carroll's face. She's like, uh oh. It looks like someone just got scolded. Uh, oh, yeah, because she can yeah. tell that she fucked up. She's like, "Uh oh, I wasn't supposed to say that." Now was yeah. I? I was supposed to act like I was so happy about just getting money. This is here involving? Oh my god, her her face maintains. Wow. Yeah. That are, that are coming up. Obviously, m- most eyes are on the federal January sixth case, having been up. No one's Trump paying attention to. 
I'm wondering if you two. Yeah, she's now horrified. She yeah. now knows. She knows that what she said, what she just said. She just dropped the ball. Like ruined herself. Hmm. That all I cared about was money. I didn't give a shit about anything else. How you really you hurt yourself. Like to go up against him and oh, like looks at her lawyer. Legal team in terms of the way. Looks at her lawyer. Defense. That's part of it. But I also want to know if this big, what everybody's expecting, potentially to be a very large judgment against him, him and his company, Not gonna changed happen. anything about the way that you approached. The I'm not interested in anything that, that Matt is saying. I'm only interested in in Eugene Eugene Carroll's body language because now she like you can see the regret. Yeah, this is say some oh, nervousness. Yeah. Oh, like she can see like oh no I f- fucked up. To the jury, the way that you presented evidence. Oh my God! Look at this. Making sure this money is in fact extracted from Trump's wallet. I mean, how much do all of these different cases interact with each other? These greedy, money-hungry bunch of cunts. Various lawyers involved in various in these various cases learn from each other's experience. So the the short answer to do the cases all interact with each other is absolutely all the time. She's she knows. Look at her face. Look at her body language. She knows. She she totally messed that up. Yeah. yeah. Should never have done that. To give you just one good example, in our case, we played at the end of our case not only the deposition that I took of Donald Trump in this case, but we played the deposition that the New York Attorney General took in their case. If you guys don't know, this woman is a crazy lady who lives in like a like cat house in the woods. She's a who, lunatic. The, the, the brunette? Oh, no, or, no, or Eugene. Eugene. Oh, yeah. I Eugene, saw, like, yeah. she's like, she's she paints trees and shit. She's fucking yeah. crazy. Yeah. She's absolutely out of her mind. Um, speaking of things that are going better for Trump, though, I, I suppose, is that, like, uh, I, I don't really like Bobby Lee that well. I, I think I can play this Joe Rogan clip. Uh, are you I sure do, about that? I, I think, yeah, I think Bobby Lee is funny. No, it should be fine. It's also in, like, 120p, apparently, on Twitter. Um, yeah. Uh, Bobby Lee. Is a, co- a comedian I do like. He runs a podcast called Tiger, Tiger Belly with his wife. Um, and he gets kind of... This is interesting. I think this is interesting. He, Louis he kind of smacked the shit out of him at some point. Yes, he did. But this is kind of interesting to watch that regular people are being like, wait a minute, what? People, they're really nice. They're nice. They're not shitheads. They're not Hollywood people. They're not... This is, this is a comedian. He's an LA comedian. So he's like a leftist as fuck. Homosexual. Yes. Well, no, he is married to a woman. Uh, he is He's a homosexual. A together called Tiger Belly. I, I occasionally do listen to Tiger Belly. They're not my favorite podcasters, but they're fine. Lost in this fake... Look, the best the best comedy podcast between a married couple is called Your Mom's House. I've been listening to it for 12 years. Go in Aiden's perspective. world of leftist ideology that everybody's trapped in. They're just people. They're just regular people, man. And those people exist outside of these these blue bubbles where everyone's gone insane. Well, I used to be a part of the blue bubble. I, w- I was 100% a left-leaning person who lived in Los Angeles. I was Sorry, 100%. Joe. I never voted Republican my whole life. I was very left-leaning, especially with like any social issues. When it comes to financial things, I'm a little bit more conservative, but at the end of the day, I'm way more left than I am right. But California went nuts, man. It's gone like full communist. It's out of its yep, fucking it sure mind. Has. And their approach to law enforcement is so insane. But Joe Rogan, why I like him, right? Is that he's just like a normal kind of guy who's like, oh, I don't understand anything. He's, he's just like finding things out. He's better than he used to be. Yeah. Kind of similar yeah. to Jimmy Dore, just slower. Mm-hmm. He's, yeah, because he's slow. He, yeah. Like, I remember when he had Nick DiPaolo on years ago, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I was watching. Nick DiPaolo knew exactly what was going on with the media. Yes. I always liked Nick DiPaolo. And like Paul as well. And Rogan was completely just brainwashed, and I was like, Dated, this is yeah. brutal. Compared to now, though, completely different. Completely seems to, like, he he... He seems to be willing very slowly to go where a lot of the evidence is. And and so yeah. it, it is good yeah. that a person with this many people watching him mm-hmm. exactly. is at least able to decipher the media's lying, the government's lying, and that uh, this is all fucked. So that's mm-hmm. that's very good. It's a thorn in the side of the regime, I think. I think it it's does why help it's having fuck you money. Kind of yeah. important, yeah. though, is that, yeah, Joe Rogan is, yeah, he has fuck you money and he's able. I agree with you that like I've seen Joe Rogan go through like the one thing I'd say positively about Joe Rogan 
is that he appears to whether or not it's just because he's on he's smoking way too much ganja all the time or whatever <laughs> but he's just constantly being like tell me what to think uh, have you seen like the meme of being like man smart man tell me what to think uh, yeah it's it, it's pretty fine it, it is it's basically how he is though and he just yeah. he sits there and just and Let's other people tell him how to think. Except on stuff he's really good on, like women yes. in sports yeah. and like yeah. COVID right. shit right. and vaccine shit. Yeah. He'll go toe to toe with anyone. Yes. But other stuff, like yeah, like there's been people. I remember when that fucking bitch from uh, New Knowledge uh, that mm -hmm. looks like Rachel Maddow with head lice. I forget her name. She uh, she went on there. And that yeah, was a long yeah, time yeah. ago. Admittedly, it was yeah. a long time ago. I don't know if he'd buy it now. And and she was selling this whole Russian bot narrative, and he was eating it up. And, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe now he wouldn't buy it. I, I, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, but he is definitely better. And I think Jamie's even wise, better than yes. he used to be. What, what I like about Rogan, though, in general. No, I, I'll, I'll find her name. What I like about Rogan, though, in general, is that he just appears to be like a kind of open vessel. He's like, tell me what, He's a bro. tell me your opinion. Yeah, like, I, I, I'm willing to I think that's good. I think it's good as well. Yeah. Tell me what you think. and It makes him, it ma it makes him seem more accessible, to, yeah. I'll, Yes, and I'll try to figure out from mm. based on your data and your information uh, and how accurate it is. He's not an academic. That's why I do like Rogan. Uh, no, he's not. No, he's he's the opposite of an academic. He's like the yeah, fucking he's bro. midwit who's just going like, uh, what what is science? That's why I like Rogan though. But then, but he he is able to like through his caveman brain be able to like figure stuff out, which is where you get cool stuff like this. The ones for your so name in the insane. chat, HB. Hmm. Oh, what uh, did Renee, they say it is? Uh, Renee DeResta. Yeah, Renee DeResta. Correct. That's yeah, the one. Renee DeResta. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The no cash bail, the letting people out for committing violent crimes, the fucking st not stopping people for stealing up to whatever money it is. What is it, $900 now? Mm -hmm. I think they raised it. I think they mm -hmm. made it a little higher. It used to be 500 They raised it to 900 yeah. because it got that bad. San Francisco is non-existent. San Francisco, most of San Francisco is emptied out of like big chain stores and big department stores. Cause they, I, I, would, I won't even do stand up there anymore. It's crazy. It's, they ruined it. They ruined the city. About, uh, yeah, you yeah. know who Bobby Lee is? The Asian guy who he's talking to. He's like an extreme, a pretty far leftist guy. I have enjoyed he's Tiger in Belly. Los Angeles. Well, he's married to a white, white lady, but like I've enjoyed Tiger Belly, the, the oh? show he does with his. That means he's more fucking left wing. I'm just saying that, like, I, I enjoy Bobby Lee's content, so I'm not, like, anti-Bobby Lee, but, yeah. You can bring it back. The structure's I'm, still I'm there. Yeah, yeah, a lot of have some hardcore podcasts. Rudy Giuliani-type motherfucker to come in there and knock heads. Wow. And nobody wants that. You nobody know, wants that. They're peace, love, and granola, and fucking wear a mask. I'm in the middle now. I'm in the middle. The thing is also to pay attention no, to Bobby right. Lee is that about, is that last year, Bobby Lee got a, well, great pod, great pause on Joe's face there. Um. Bobby got someone attempted to cancel him last year for being like a sexual predator. So why do you, this is the thing? Why do you think people keep going right? Because you keep just accusing them of like, being sex yeah. pests and shit. Yeah. No shit. Little. I'm in the I middle. never. I never thought I would ever never. say that. Never. Never. It, it only happened in this last year. Right. Yeah. Oh, I Bobby. Just... Why did it happen this last year when you were accused? You got Me Too accusations laid at you, Bobby. Hmm? when I can't do it anymore. You know what I mean? People that you thought were aligned with you are like Weird. Now, now like mad at you about shit. They're in a cult. They're in a cult. It's Again, this guy had Me Too accusations that were completely fake and false levied at him in the last year. And he said, in the last year, all of a sudden I've become more conservative. Hmm. Wonder why. It's got all, I mean, Mark Andreessen, who's a brilliant venture capitalist guy, explained it to me in, in, in very clear terms, like what the definition of a cult is, how you can get excommunicated, how you get shamed yep. for having well, different opinions, the, cult. the group think, the whole, he's like, it's a cult. And he's right. I mean, and, and well, geez, who would be the best person here to know what a cult looks like? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're definitely a cult. They use the exact same tactics. Yeah. It's, it's wild that that they can do that politically. Like, I never mm -hmm. thought mm -hmm. that when I got out of the JWs, I was like, all right, well... <clears throat> At least I'm not going to see that shit again. Yeah. And now it's like in the, it's the world. It is a world cult. World. It yeah. is fucking insane. And COVID was like the biggest mind oh, fuck that was ever. The biggest one, yeah. And uh, and then whatever they got planned next, which I don't know, whatever it is, is it going to be? Uh, yeah, this is like out it's of the. It's going to be something else because they frying pan into the fire. Yeah. 
They can't I, do another I, um cold, right? They can't do another flu. That one I won't could, work. I can still remember the think. weirdest thing that, that that happened to me during the the Koof period is um in my local shop um because it's a uh, it's, it's like a big building and it's got like a, like a semicircle of glass window in the front and it's um like every every pane is like eh, it's more like a meter wide and it's uh, in this sort of circle shape and it was uh, socially distanced on every single window pane and then literally right next to the window pane is a coffee shop with tables and chairs outside of it and I was looking at this and thinking am I the only one that looks at this and thinks like this entire thing is fucking retarded and I'm like yeah. I'm actually like standing in the middle of the road like there's actual cars driving my left to right I'm just staring at this in the middle of the road like what the fuck is going on <laughs> They were so much Every, bullshit like everyone that. else around me is wearing masks. I'm like the only one who isn't. I'm like, what the fucking hell? Am I the it only was, one um, who isn't in, insane here? I would say that the only time, there was only one time during the entire COVID crisis that Bill and I were asked to wear a mask, which is that we went down to the, the local grocery store here in Guernsey and they asked us to wear a mask. But like, I can't imagine how fucking horrific it was everywhere else in the world. Because here nobody gives a fuck. Like, come on. Are you serious? Yeah, I was like, asked... An island with with 70,000 people, you really think anyone's going to give a shit? Okay. I was asked once when I went to a hardware store, once a, a customer asked me, not a member of the staff, and then once more when I was in the shop. And I didn't go to the shop for like nine months. I was like, uh, if you're <laughs> telling me to wear a mask, I'm like, out of principle, no. I'm not going to wear one. And um, no. the the main shop with the, with the glass window was, they would like fucking chase you if you don't wear one. But the, the other shop yeah. that I went to, the other shop that I went to, they didn't give a shit. I, if everyone else would wear a mask, like, I'm business, not going to wear one, fuck off. They care about money, which yeah. every business should care and about. And also, uh, where I live, there's a, a very large portion of Eastern Europeans. And Eastern Europeans do not give a fuck. Too, to be fair, no, I don't yeah, know. they they're like yeah they like, Actually, yeah, we, we've seen this before. Fuck off. Because uh, there was like a uh, like a Bulgarian or Romanian woman. Uh, who was that one lady who made those uh, like sweet rolls, Bill? The woman who made the sweet rolls uh, down at, at Alliance, and she she had to shut down and go back to her home country. Well, that's fucked Remember up. Remember that? It was a long time ago. So. But basically, COVID forced people to go back to their home countries. It was fucked. Okay, here we go. Right. He's yeah. One hundred percent right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just hard to say because then people in the cult will attack you, but yeah. they're not attacking you for a reasonable. It's not logical. Like, yeah. The way they're attacking you, they're attacking you like someone attacks religious beliefs. Yeah. And some of these yeah, religious. True. Wow! Get, wow! Good job, Joe. Yeah. Yes. It gets into these weird gray areas, like like trans people in women's bathrooms, like. Says who? Says that's not a gray who? area. That's How a fairly you know hard that's line. A real actually. trans person. Yeah, it's not a gray area, but it's it's a very good. Um, uh, okay, but it, I, I was wondering. Joe, looks, was like, from, Joe looks like he's been up for a while. <laughs> However, this <laughs> is, this is a very good point to make. It's a very good point to make. It's very similar to the trans stuff because it's, all of it's fake. All of it's yeah. Uh, none of it's real. Yeah, it's, it's not all real. just you know fake shit. How do you not know that's a fucking creep that wants to pull his dick out in front of kids? Because yeah. those are real. We and spa. You, yeah. And, and if all you, that guy was a convicted uh, sex offender. Yeah. Yeah. And he was doing that. Look, those guys are real. It doesn't mean trans people aren't real also, but those guys are fucking real. Yeah. And to even say that those guys are real, you get excommunicated. You yeah. get treated like you're a Nazi. I never even cared about it. Didn't care at all. Yeah. I mean, I, whatever you I want, didn't either. I shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It, look, look. <clears throat> now yeah, I'm ready Bobby for helicopter Lee. rides, so it's an interesting thing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Bobby Lee's all of a, all of a sudden didn't care. Well, cause he, I probably, he never did care about it because no one cares about this stuff. Yeah. It's all bullshit. Yeah. Up until you started. I feel bad for Bobby Lee care. because he's been canceled no, or whatever like, yeah, for this stuff. Fuck you. So good for him for staying up for himself. <laughs> but it's like, like I can't. Who radicalized do it you, anymore. society? I think it's mm -hmm. engineered. I really by do. who? By China and by Russia. Oh no, Chinese. Yeah, I think Russia. Uh, what they're doing Joe, Russia by, couldn't give a Russia. shit about what you do. Yeah, no, Russia. It, it, no, no, no. It's not I do Russia, think it's there's China. something with like TikTok and the and China. Yeah. Uh, uh, not, yeah, I'm not like definitely. at the level of like Gordon Chang neocon wanting regime change or anything no. like that. Because that's what yeah. happens as soon as you criticize China, people assume you're going the Gordon Chang route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'm not. Fuck that. But no, definitely. There's definitely something with that. With that said, it's fantastic that even if it's normies, 
like figuring yeah. out what is right. going on. This is yeah. fucked up in front of so many people. Society. That's fantastic. I, Tens I of millions be of surprised. people. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> and this, this, I'm just, I, I could be wrong. Um, though I hope I'm not because I'm just pulling this out of my house. I wonder if the whole TikTok thing isn't just a way to harvest data just to sell more shit to the Americans because China really needs to sell oh, shit because really? their entire economy oh, yes, is basically built on the... Absolutely. Yeah, I imagine the main thing that just drives it because it's something that I've known, uh, I watched, uh, this was ages ago, uh, I watched someone talk about Xi Jinping and what motivates him and he said... He came from like a really poor background and he basically scraped his way up the CCP ladder. And he said the one thing that his country was, it was impoverished. And the one thing he wants to give his country is prosperity. Yeah. And more so yeah, than they had. Yeah. 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 And he's basically just cutthroat in how he wants to get China wealthy, but still maintain power. So his like the main China thing is just profit at all costs. Yeah, they could do like you're knocking out two birds with one stone, profit, and yeah. also like poison the minds of of America's youth. And then on your own kind of TikTok, you have a completely different algorithm that has like much more constructive awesome. things for the kid. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. We already saw that that Biden has a a connection to the CCP. So that's but, but you, do you know what's also fucked up about that though? Mm -hmm. Is that what what scares me about that is that. If I was to just look at this from a purely objective perspective, that tells me even the CCP, as heavily regulating and as assholeish as we may think they are from the Western perspective, when it comes mm -hmm. to children, they actually have like a decent head on their shoulders, way more than the West does, and that's legitimately oh, yeah. fucking terrifying. Still, 100%. Yeah, I guess so, but I still don't that's, want them involved. That's creepy. You know? But the, yeah, the, yeah, but the, the fact that, like, hey, look, the communist regime cares more about their children than the West is like, that's, that's Clearly, fucked let's, up. Let's, let's go into that. Trump appointed, a Trump-appointed federal judge has shot down a court challenge from Disney that sought to rid itself of the Florida government, uh, government, governance of Ron DeSantis, created that he uh, sought to oversee development in and around the Disney-owned lands in Florida, which is that there, it's they're called the Reedy Creek development, Yeah. Um, which is that Disney was essentially given the rights to create an extraterritorial, an extraterritorial, just... An actual, like, autonomous zone, yeah. Autonomous yeah. zone? Yeah. And so, yeah, DeSantis is saying, like, okay, no, you're not allowed to do that anymore. And, and I agree with him. You're not Disney's basically that. been their own country. Yes. Yeah. Disney claimed that the, the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District created by DeSantis violated its First Amendment rights. How? Claiming it was punitive because the entertainment giant, giant was battling DeSantis over several pieces of legislation. As, as far as I'm Winter, aware, like, yeah. Disney could actually, like, make a power plant they could in make their, their own. Yes, they could. Yes. Like the have amount of uh, of um of autonomy they have within their own like essentially borders it's is like fucking limitless. bad shit insane. Yeah. Uh, for the Northern District of Florida in Tallahassee, who was appointed in 2019 uh, by former President Donald Trump, threw out Disney's case, according to the New York Times. Disney sued DeSantis, claiming that he led a quote relentless campaign to weaponize government power against Disney. In retaliation for expressing a political viewpoint, Absolutely by the way, which based. is that like we want to have trans people in our everywhere, everywhere in our park. We need to have everything to be trans. Everything has to be trans. Everything has to be gay. And they got the uh, uh, pedophiles dressed up as princesses, yes. greeting yeah. kids at the doors. And yes. I'm sorry, like you're a pedophile. You're yes. you're a goddamn predator if you they, take yes. that shit off. Literal up. fucking pedophiles. Absolute hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I went to um, I went to Disney World once as a kid. I was like seven, you know, and uh, it was. It's it been was traumatized cool, ever since. I guess, but could you? <clears throat> I can't fucking imagine what, what it must be like now. And I remember one of the things that I wanted, oh, that I wanted to happen, right? When I was a little kid, I was like six or seven. I don't know the exact age. And I said one of the things I wanted to happen is that I wanted to hug Mickey Mouse, right? What would that mean today? Oh, they'd probably put you with uh, some some guy in a dress. Some some got some man who's got an yeah. erection. Yeah, I'm because I'm a little girl, and it's like, oh, there's a little girl who wants to hug Mickey Mouse. Come here, you know. But it, it's such a ridiculous dichotomy, right? Yeah, like Isn't me Disney as a, been hemorrhaging money. Me as like a six year old girl saying, "I want to hug Mickey Mouse," and Donald Duck, you know. Like these are the things that I I thought as a, as a six year old. Oh, he's a pervert. He wears no pants. 
Yeah, right, right, right. Oh, dog looks definitely a perv. <laughs> <It's their pants. laughs> but, but I, I could not, in any good standing, take a child to Disney uh, World today and no, say like, "Oh, yeah, go hug, go hug Mickey," because Mickey might be a fucking tranny who wants to fuck them. Kind of oh, there's the kid, um, maybe. There's this sheriff. I think it's uh, he's from Polk County in Florida. He's always doing child uh, 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 rapist busts and pedophile busts. Yeah, yeah. And every time he has a press conference and he reads off the people they arrested, there's always people that work at Disney. Always. Every time he has a press conference, some of the people that they've busted work at Disney. It, You'd almost it's think crazy. it's part of their CV. Yeah, really. <laughs> the thing that's so crazy to me is that um, when I uh, when I went to undergrad, I had this professor. His name is Dr. Thomas Wagner. You can look him up. He's cool. He's a he's a great guy. I'm not saying this in a bad way. Uh, Thomas Wagner, who's one of the, the greatest influences on my life academ academically, he was a uh, non face character at Disney in when he was an intern. Uh, so he like played like a, I don't know Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck or something. He had to put on a big mask and stuff. And he told us that back in the nineties at least you had they were all like you couldn't have your you had there were all these regulations about how you could have your hair cut even like how you were allowed to wear clothing at disney it was extremely stringent compared to now we're just like oh don't just go molest some kids yeah, it's crazy cool. that's why you have to have order you, you have to have, that stuff seems small i remember like growing up it seemed like those were petty type rules but now i, I get it i totally get it now i know i i HB, I agree with you 100%, because I also thought that same shit, like, eh, who cares? No. We yeah, need to protect it's important. children. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> it's, it, it's insane to me that the left doesn't want to protect children at all. They, they've abandoned this altogether. Yeah. When, when they say protect children, they mean, oh, um, give them puberty blockers and uh, let them cut their genitals off. That's yeah. their protect children narrative at this point, which is insane to me. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's gone completely, um, completely backward. Uh, so, but this is interesting. Florida is to make claims of homophobia defamatory. Oh, wait, whoops. Oh, I mean claims of homophobia. Uh, GOP, <clears throat> Florida GOP forces new legislation on gender identity and sexual orientation. After passing laws in 2023 that, pre that prohibited gender identity and sexual orientation instructions in early school grades, aka by the way, those those things mean nothing for for children under the age of 12. Passing laws doesn't mean shit. Republican like, lawmakers the people following the bill uh, I know. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Like the, the Department of Education doesn't give a shit about your fucking laws. No. Like really. <laughs> Republican lawmakers filed a bill that prohibits government workers and contractors from being forced to use preferred pronouns within the workplace while protecting employees from penalties for their religious beliefs or convictions or, I don't know, reality, including uh, <laughs> ideas regarding biological sex. Another piece of legislation would make it defamation per se to publicly accuse someone of discriminating against others based on their race, sex, sexual orientation, or gender identity, and if passed, let the accused sue journalists, newspapers, TV stations, or citizens making social media posts. So if you call me now in Florida a bigot for saying anything, Florida may now pass law that makes it okay that I can sue you for calling me a bigot. And I'm all here for it. See, this is the kind of thing where, like, I I'm could see worried, people... Right. Well, yeah, yeah, like like there, there's going to be people, reasonable people making an argument about the slippery slope, and they might be on to something. They might be right. This, the way I look at it right now, this really, if it passes and it's enforced, yeah. which you never know, but this hurts AIDS commies way more mm -hmm. than conservatives. This is yeah. similar to like the, um, when, when they were passing the bills in some of the red state legislatures about um, uh, critical race theory. And how you couldn't like call people racist that like you're taking away one of their key strategies. Yes. Whereas on our side, we don't use any of that. So it, it hurts yeah. them. And uh, yeah, I, I, unless there's some better idea to come along to try to stop it, then this is what we got. So I, I, I give I it really a shot. Do. I, I don't know what else, because I agree that this is this this is uh, flies in my libertarian beliefs. 
but if this is what you're going to do, you're going to try and use the law to strong arm people because, oh, you misgendered somebody, so I'm going to sue you. I'm going to uh, destroy your life. Then this is what you're going to get back. Yeah. And I think you deserve this. Sorry. Yeah, absolutely. Not No, no, sorry, not sorry, actually. Um, so who we got next? I feel uh, like the position of libertarians and social issues is quite weird. This is Trudeau's Justice Minister, Arif uh, Virani, who is talking about how parents don't actually have a right to their children. Point, I would say also that one needs to reflect on this as a parent. I'm a dad. And you're the only person here. Uh, oh, oh, Bill, come, come, come here, Ben. Um, uh, HB, you're the only person here who is a parent of a, of all of us. Uh, so, uh, which I don't think does it. You've been clear about that. So, I believe. <laughs> Um, don't think I'm doing. I, I mean, I think I, I I don't really talk about it, but yeah, I yeah, think yeah. some people have figured it out. <laughs> I don't generally talk about it, but it's it's yeah. But go ahead, you can play the video. Okay, Mark's a dad. Just, you have a different. You might have a different perspective than than Spoon and I do. Sure. Yeah, I, we'll see. Conversations mm -hmm. all the time with children. They need to be able to have those conversations with the children. Sometimes children don't feel empowered to have those conversations. That's a small amount of children around the country, and even smaller amounts in Alberta. I think actually targeting that small minority for some political purpose in Alberta, as it seems that the Premier is doing, is not becoming of her office and is in fact actually targeting and perhaps de even demonizing those children. We're not talking about their exploration of their sexuality when we're banning kids from a schoolyard or from a playground or from a sports team. That, that, looks, that, looks, that looks more targeted and that's what I have significant so concerns about. So that's, I mean, it's totally made up. It's just not what they're yeah, doing it's all at made all. Up. It's all and uh, yeah, all of these people, whether they're teachers or this guy, absolute predators, predators. absolute predators. And so, uh, hopefully they either get voted out of their never... position. At, uh, ultimately, jail would be phenomenal, but obviously that that's probably not going to happen. But they'll never see that. Here, oh, I remember this Canada. one. This is, this is uh, I remember her. Lispy, old Lispy. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> we have never invested as much in public education as we should have because we've always had kind of a private notion of children. Your kid is yours and totally your responsibility. We it haven't is. had a very collective notion of these are our Wait, no, you got me. So part of it is we have to because she's what she's upset about is that she doesn't like the idea that your kid is yours. We need a collectivistic notion yeah, that your kid is ours. Yeah, Break filthy our commie. Kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. We utter predators. Utter. Just, there's utter no way you do that shit predators. unless you want to. I'm sorry. There's no way you say shit like that unless you want to do something weird to kids. Yeah. There's well, no look, way. It, what what has been made clear is the political part of the LGBT, the yep. political movement, uh, pedophilia and normalizing pedophilia is yep. clearly part of the agenda. Yes. And uh, we're absolutely heading towards that. You've already seen some of them. Like there's yeah. professors that have been on Zoom calls talking about normal. Yes. Yeah, so that's definitely next. And if you notice, they're overwhelmingly women. Which is weird. You wouldn't think it would be women, but it is. So uh, Cruz, the Cruz missile, who I, I don't like Ted Cruz in a lot of ways. I, I, I don't want to be president. You like him as a lawyer. <laughs> but I do like his, him as a lawyer. What, where I like Ted Cruz is that I like him as a lawyer because he's a very fucking good lawyer. I think he would be he's, a good Supreme Court justice, actually. Um, if when if and when Trump gets back in, he should make it Cruz if he's able to is it, SCOTUS justice because Cruz, whatever else you think about him, I don't care whatever whatever else you think about him. Ted Cruz is a fantastic litigator. Um, so and that that is that is from my minor understanding of, of law, so maybe I'm wrong. But uh, the left and Biden administration are coming for your kids. Uh, Moms for Liberty is staying in your way. Uh, they want to get rid of the, all of this stuff. They, they, they do not want you to see any of this stuff. Does the DOJ, the DOE, the FBI, the Biden administration have to hide when it comes to Moms for Liberty? Americans. So this is Moms for Liberty. If you don't oh, know, this is this... a group that's been maligned. I don't like these, these bitches a whole lot. I think they're a little bit Karen-y. However, they have been maligned extensively. Oh yeah, I don't, I, I don't like this woman because she was on with Joy Reid. Yeah, yeah, I don't like I don't like them either. But I'm saying that they've been maligned. And she did not do a good job. Ridiculous. Yes. 
Ten moms and dads across the country are standing up and speaking out at school board meetings, in the state house, in the state senate. They're having their voices heard at all levels of government. And for some reason, the Southern Poverty Law Center sees that as problematic. What's happening here is simple. Oh, who really cares? Okay. Moms for Liberty is being maligned. They have been maligned. Uh, Which means they're on the right track. Oh, absolutely. Seems like it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So it looks like Ted Cruz is going to reach out and try and help him. That would be cool. Uh, I hope he does. Because I, I, I approve with what Moms for Liberty generally uh, stands for. Because I don't want children to be... Without going into too much detail, which I haven't in the, in the past. You know, I took the drug that uh, a lot of young kids go through when they go through this trans thing. Um, I didn't go through it because I was trans. I had a totally different disorder, right? Do not take Lupron Depot unless you absolutely need it to not die. It is an extremely severe drug. Don't take this shit. But they just get given out like candy. And the crazy thing is that when I got put on that drug, it took me four years of trying to petition doctors to get someone to listen to me to let me have it. Now? Now. You're a 10-year-old girl. Your mom says, actually, I think my god, I actually think my daughter's a boy, because that would make me very popular in social media. Yeah. And she gets yeah. uh she gets put on Lupron Depot the next day. Lupron Depot will destroy your bones, it will destroy your muscles, it will destroy um your your uh, connect muscle connectivity. I know this from a personal fact because I've taken Lupron Depot. I took it for three months, by the way. And it made it so my bones were so weak that I just tripped off a curb and broke my foot. Eef. They put kids on this for three to six years. That's crazy. That's what happened to me in three months. And they're like, oh, it's totally reversible. Everything's it's fine. Not totally reversible. Yeah, it's, it's not, not reversible. Yeah, it's not reversible. It's a big lie. It's not reversible. I, oh, and, and then, you, you know why they want to shut me up so much? They want me to fucking shut my mouth. Mm -hmm. Oh, Aiden, you can't talk about that. Oh, I know. Oh, no, you can't talk about that. Because you weren't trans, so you're not allowed to talk about it. Good fucked. You know what I find I this very strange? Is that uh, if there's if there's artificial wombs, given the woman the way they way behave, they ah the fucking way they behave on OnlyFans. I get the impression if once artificial wombs kicking in and you can like literally grow children, a woman's role is literally just going to be a oh, fuckhole because evidently only men can raise children because women just do a fucking terrible job of it in the last like five years. No, like no, all no. of this, it's, all of this it's, shit it's is not overwhelmingly her, it's not her baby, maybe yeah. No, like, I, I just think, like, what you just said, like, the women, like, oh, look, my child's trans because I look good in social circles. No fucking man would ever do that mm -hmm, shit. Mm -hmm. And look at that, like, you come near my child, I'll See, fucking that, take that your shit, hair off. That shit, well, in terms of the, um, the endo stuff, that shit really drove me nuts. I was like, wait a minute, like, wait, what the fuck? Because I, it, it, it was weird because I got, um, I got shit on by both the left and the right. Look, again, left, fucking women, Jesus fucking Hang Christ. on. Because the left were just like, um, you're not allowed to talk about this because you're not a trans person. Even though I went through the same drug uh, administration process, you're not allowed to talk about it because you're not trans. Even though, again, same drugs. Then I had people on the right also coming at me and being like, oh, so you are a tranny? No. That's um, not how it th works. This drug is not for, it was not developed <laughs> for trans people. It was developed for women who have a serious fucking genetic disorder. And so, like, it was so stupid. The whole thing was dumb. Speaking of stupid and dumb, here is this fucking vile Again, British woman. Woman who is a uh, volunteer Bitch. police officer who is now telling people that they cannot uh, sing uh, hymns outside of a Christian church. No, miss, you're not allowed you are, to sing ch you uh, are. songs, Church you songs are. outside of church grounds, by the way. You're not allowed to sing church songs outside, outside of church. Outside of church songs or church grounds. Uh, you're not allowed. To, that's fine. That's you're not fine. allowed. She just said you're not allowed to sing church songs outside of church. Our church of, outside of church grounds, unless you have a, unless that's you've a been authorized no, no. by the church to do this yes. kind of song. Oh, get fucked! Yeah, like HP, you know, you and I both went through like my experience with 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 religious persecution is like one one hundredth of what you went through. But is this reaction to it not insane? 
No, these people are worse. These people are way worse. You know, uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses are the are a pleasure compared to to commies. Crazy. It, it, it is. It's completely nuts. It's completely nuts. But it's it is it is what it is. Yeah, these people are completely out of their minds. Because I, I hated a bunch of the stuff, religious stuff that I was put through when I was younger, and I got I liked it when I was older because I became a Christian. But I not. Even not when it, you and I knew each other, I wasn't a Christian. I was like a Norse pagan when you and I knew, knew mm-hmm. each other well. But like, um, this shit's crazy. This Just, this this reaction and look at that. It's you a, can't it's, sing a it's, hymn. It's a volunteer. You can't sing a little song. It's a volunteer. Like the second you give these fucking people power, mm-hmm. they just go drunk mm-hmm. with it. Like they are not mm-hmm. capable of handling any kind of power responsibility because they're just too fucked with it. Oh, because she yeah. she she can't wait for it. It she is. Yeah, she just has like this. Oh, she's she's she is orgasming cares. right now on this right now. I guarantee it. Are you saying that you don't care about? She is having a a cummy right now. Yeah, right there. Right, right, yeah. You can see it. There it is. There's her cummy. Uh, Over the fact that she, I get to arrest She's like legitimate, just like a cunty human being. So, uh, something I I have to be really careful about how I report on this is that oh, uh, if you don't know no. this. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, this is I, weirdly not yeah. getting the amount of coverage that I've at least have expected so I've, far. I've that it. could change. Yeah. Okay. It's a ton of coverage from what I saw, R- but it's from a, it's from a couple of it's only from a couple of news sources, and they seem the to fact have that it's been taken off YouTube, narrative. I think is um is definitely so, hampering the uh, the spread of the news. Yeah. I was gonna say so, cold, but then I thought oh, that's maybe what hitting it on the head. So I didn't see last yeah. night uh, the only uh, so I went through most I of MSNBC it. <clears throat> maybe I'm it's possible I missed it but I I saw Pacman or no I think Pacman covered it but like I haven't now it's possible they haven't uploaded their videos yet so uh, cuz that still could happen but I I this the way they're framing it I was expecting and it could still be some sort of like oh we have to clearly criminalized MAGA now, even though this guy wanted to jail Trump. He was not MAGA. Anyway, it, it's interesting. It is interesting. We're going to go in, into a bit of how this... Because what I found curious about this is that I, when I saw this whole situation, I, I recalled the Tranifesto, right? The two Tranifestos that have happened. Yeah. Um, and those were never released. Um, and if they were released, it was released in, in, in piecemeal. Whereas this guy did this shit yesterday and everything about him is released within five minutes, essentially. <laughs> right? Because this guy is perceived to be as right wing. And he did. Yeah. He went on to a rant about Joe Biden. Um, so for those who are watching, this guy um apparently cut his dead his dad's head off and up I mean this is crazy. And uploaded a video of his of him holding his hat his dad's head in a bag on YouTube. I have seen it. I suggest I'm not you sure don't. if it's real. I don't know if it's real either. I think he has been arrested though. So but yeah, yeah. There's people wondering if it's real. He has been arrested. They're claiming they found a body. It's possible it's real, but under the circumstances, given what we've seen over the past few years, yeah. very reasonable to question the entire thing. Yeah. 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 So the man accused of killing his father and displaying his decapitated head in a macabre YouTube video has been obsessed with the conspiracy theories. Say those who knew him. Justin Moon, 32, was arrested on charges of first degree murder. Blah blah blah. We're all in shock right now. Uh, blah 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 blah. It's about the murder. Um, he had been ranting and railing about the government for ten years now, and they're out to get him. Uh, and how he should be president. All the crazy stuff that was said on the video last night. Michael Prickett, which I think is his. They said it was his cousin. Let me see. Who's Michael Prickett? Oh, his his brother, right? Oh, who's Michael Prickett? Who the fuck is Michael Prickett? Oh, it's his neighbor. It's his neighbor. Uh, so this is his neighbor. Crazy stuff he said on the videos for last night. Michael Prickett said over the phone. He's been essentially doing that for over 10 years. Uh, Davis Rebhan uh, lived with uh, Moan in Colorado Springs. 
in 2016, two years after Moan graduated from Pennsylvania from Penn State. Whoa, this guy graduated from Penn State. Oh, this guy might be a little bit of a um, might be a little bit of a uh, who's our based boy? Um, my brain doesn't work right now. Jesus. Um, the 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 mathematician who uh, figured all this stuff out. No idea. No idea. It's very new now. Uh, uh, who, who I made a video about that I got in trouble over. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, I like how he got into this big fight with six guys in one. Ed Moon would talk about a lot of the leaks, which were pretty out there. A lot of conspiracy stuff. I don't believe any of this, basically. No, this is the total narrative. And like, who cares? You, you know how many people believe quote unquote conspiracy theories? Right, they don't right. kill people. Like, it's preposterous. M maybe he did. But maybe he killed his dad. I don't know. But what I found interesting was the media response. Is Justin Moen, Moen a Trump supporter? What we know. Oh, I can't wait. Newsweek. According to the Bucks County District Attorney's Office, Moen was arrested near his Indiana town. Gap. Pennsylvania. Law. Who cares? Uh, the video, which has been removed from YouTube, was posted by Moen who is said to have helped held up his father's severed head in a bag on a camera. No, I saw it. He went on to blame Joe Biden and the current U.S. admin for the destruction of the economy and the situation at the U.S.-Mexico border. The federal government, this guy's a fucking psyop, okay? I mean, that clearly, I mean, yeah, it just so happens once again, once again, consistently, every time it just so yeah. happens, the guy espoused the wrong opinion about the current exactly. media narrative. Exactly. Amazing. Yeah, it, it, th this is the biggest setup I've ever fucking seen. Yeah. The federal government of, the, of America has declared war on America's citizens and the American states. America is rotting from the inside out as far-left woke mobs rampage our once prosperous cities, turning them into lawless zones. I mean, true, but like th they just made this guy up. He's invented by the fucking CIA. He's a fucking goddamn MK Ultra experiment. You out of your fucking mind. Don't think that. Taxpayer taxpayer dollars are printed and used for anything but the taxpayers with little to no accountability, which is this is the thing that's crazy, right? But all of this. Like if a leftist kills somebody, they just go they do that whole like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, not political at all. Well, I don't know. Who could imagine uh, who why would you believe these things? This lunatic Kills his own father. Doesn't kill anyone else. Just someone within his own family. And, um... Because he, he happens to espouse these beliefs. Now we have to... And, and you know what this is about. I, I think... Okay. How conspiratorial can they get? <laughs> is the question. Did <laughs> they, I uh... Think... Put the part where he said he wanted to put Trump in jail? Uh, no, they don't have it. Did he say that? Yeah. Yeah, and oh, his wow, uh, whatever so the he... rantings or manifesto. He wanted Ooh. to jail Trump. Yeah, he so wanted I to jail Trump. I typed in uh, uh, the transcript and I couldn't find it. So here's the thing. They, uh, this guy is a lunatic. They found some crazy person. They infiltrated his shit. And then, yeah, um, they couldn't get exactly what they wanted, but they're going to portray it as they want. You're never oh, going you to know, hear that part. You know who, no. who he was known by? You'll never guess. Who? No, who? The FBI. He was known. The FBI well, knew about him. The FBI what a coincidence. Knew about him. What? Can't believe it. No way. Unimaginable. God damn it. So it seems like like with the Buffalo shooting, the FBI, they track these people. They let them yeah, do what they do. they're going to do. And then they or use they the narrative. Actively, or they actively yeah. encourage them. Right. Yeah. Those are usually when they're actively encouraging them. They're like setting them up for like fake plots. And they'll say they fought a terrorist plot. In these instances, it seems like they let them kill people and then they, they could have stopped it. They I don't for political it. reasons. And there you go. It's sick. It's really sick. I agree with you. Uh, it, this is some FBI shit. Because a QAnon believer accused of beheading federal worker, dad smirks a new mugshot. Because by the way, his dad was a Fed. So, um, look, it's we're not... Uh, trying to deny the fact that this fucking lunatic 
killed his father. That's the truth. What we're, I think, a little bit confused about is why did he kill his father, right? Why did he, why did he kill his dad? Um, did he kill his dad because um, agents were, tell were telling him to do so? I don't know. Or he could just meet mentally ill. I mean, it's, it's it could well, be any of those things. Most likely that he was mentally ill. Uh, but they're a uh, angry white man, overeducated, couldn't oh, get a go. job, yeah. uh -huh. couldn't get a job. See, so, here's, yeah. already it's here. Here's the new narrative. He was an angry white man who couldn't get a job. Thank you, Newsweek. There's more coverage of this in the print media so far than in the the videos. Although, like I said, that could change. Maybe they, you know, they could. It's. I think it's faster yeah. to release the print media. Yeah. But I, I was expecting them to be on location almost for this one. But yeah, uh, I was as well. Yeah. Um, but they're they're not. So the last thing I have tonight is yeah. um, Ben Shapiro has become a yeah. pop, pop media star. I think. You. Even if I'm not, not allowed to play this, I'm going to play it. So here is Ben Shapiro's this, whatever, who gives it? We're already going to be claimed, so whatever. Here's a bit of Ben Shapiro in, uh, I don't think Tom McDonald will claim this. Maybe he will. Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like Liz, so my pockets are fat. Homie, I'm epic. Don't be a whap. Dog, it's, it's terrible. It, it, yeah. Yeah. It's so bad. So God, here's the thing. So awful. While it's like, here's the thing. I do think conservatives need to get into Make their own all media. the different, and yeah. and so that part's true. And it and then that's going to, of course, include things that are total cringe that that I would be not interested in. That's fine. What what and, and so if Ben Shapiro and this guy want to do it, fine. What I don't agree with is when I saw Tim Pool acting like voting for this song to be number one. Which and this song itself and having Ben Shapiro do this somehow changes the culture. That's having nothing. the number one guy uh, um, who is like basically the head guy of the right wing, not the head guy, the right wing establishment, but one of the key yeah, right yeah. wing establishment figures that that does not change anything. It's There's like a anything, slight yeah. maybe like shift in the other direction. But this is like this is not change. Opening a coffee yeah. store is not change. It's good to open a coffee store. It's good to do. I'm glad sure. Tim Pool is skateboarding in Washington D.C. Keep doing that. But the idea that 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 like you you've won the culture war or you're on the virtue of winning because or, or the or not you're on the verge of winning because of stuff like this. That's that's preposterous. That's exactly like and also yeah. the Overton window needs to be completely shattered so they can't use it to fuck with people and censor people. That's one of the key cudgels that they've used against people because they make it smaller and smaller for conservatives mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. allows them to have power. So you got to get rid of it entirely. I, I agree 100%. Like th this whole thing is cringe, but like the idea that th this actually has any um, manifest power just because it's th the top song on Spotify and iTunes means nothing yeah however i do want to play a little bit of, of it if i can sure yeah yamaka homie no cap look at the graphs look at my charts you're blowing money on strippers and cars you go into prison and it's terrible yeah it's it's bad it's pretty bad like, this is awful it's so you know Nicki minaj spoke it. about this Nicki minaj did yes well I'll, i'm gonna play my last my last clip for the and it just made me go, "What the fuck? Why? Why are we in this timeline? Why? The fuck? Uh, it's 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 January just ended. It's like, what the fuck? All right, is I'll, going I'll on? watch that. But I want to play this my last clip for the evening. Then we're gonna go out and describe me however they please. It's a free country, and I'm all in favor of a public of a public debate. Eight, 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 eight. In this house. Oh, in uh oh. This Oh, that is horrifying. That <laughs> You're is welcome. Utterly hor that is AI <laughs> an AI nightmare. Seven days a week. Wet ass P word. Make that wow. game weak. Yeah. 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 You effin' with some wet ass P word. Bring a bucket of Absolutely horrifying. You should you got for this wet ass P word. Beat it up, N word. Catch a charge. Extra large and extra hard. Put the <laughs> Beat it up, N word. Catch a charge. I can't. P word right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. That's it. That's it.
Wow. You're welcome. That's it. That's all I have. That's all I have for the evening. <laughs> why, why, end, why end on right. that? that? That's just like yeah. Well, well, to make everyone upset. However, I have to. Uh, I will have to read the super chats. Are you willing to to hang out here for a minute? Uh, HBO, uh, do you do it? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. So I uh, have something funny to, to to end on. Fifty knock knock. Yes. Play the thing in the is... play the thing in the chat. What is it? What the one I I, I sent on Discord. Where did you play it? Where did you send it to me? Uh, this this Patriot Twins thing. Yes. Oh, okay. Like play on. ten seconds after that. <laughs> All right, give me one second. Uh, do, do, do. Um, we're gonna have to like you're gonna bring stuff up again. Uh, I, why? Because I closed out of it. Is it working now. The day and some. Are working now. Yes, just just play it for like ten seconds. You'll hear why. Making off with up to a million dollars in goods. The latest robbery <laughs> on Saturday in San That's Francisco. Very accurate. Oh, running into a noise, stealing goods and smashing shelves. Officers stopping one car, arresting a man and a woman, like and then a third suspect <laughs> is caught on foot. A day earlier, also in San Francisco, more than one million dollars in merchandise was stolen after one thieves million. broke into several stores that day. Walgreens this, is already closing several San Francisco just, stores. Just, just come in these fucking stores with fucking trash bags. Um, after videos of brazen shoplifting, <laughs> on a bike, including video appearing to show a man riding this. his bike out of a store with a bag full of stolen items, and the Chicago area has also been hit hard. No, but but this is just racism, isn't it? <laughs> Just last week, That's the voices oh. of the Hodge twins, isn't it? Those dudes are pretty yes. funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. They're hilarious. Jesus Christ, it's insane though. Like, what the fuck? Oh my they, they, god. They've they've uh, they've taken to saying the word Negro like a shitload yeah. lately, and it's funny as hell. I um I actually do appreciate that they are like the two um the two uh gentlemen of color who like actually push the envelope in that regard. Mm. And they I'm do, not yeah, afraid definitely. of, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I can actually respect them for like uh, using their uh, their powers for good. And by that, I mean like being like slightly racist in a way than anyone else would get that label for and while just being yeah. funny as fuck. Because uh-huh. god damn, it is fun. Like I, I, I've used that clip whenever I want to say the N-word in my own videos like <laughs> five times now because it's such a good line. <laughs> L- let me. Uh, it's so the, fucking good. The See, and then ended on that. That's fucking funny. That's what you should do. Uh, yeah. I know you idea you guys were uh, streaming right now, says uh, Jacuzzi Taigo Taizago for 50 knock knocks. I'll rewatch the stream once it's over uh, and catch everything. Knock knocks? Uh, I think it's North Korean. North Korea. Not North Korean. It's, uh, I think it's actually. Is that a um, fuck? Is that North Korea watching us? It's Norwegian. It's Norwegian. It's Norwegian. Corona. Uh, there you Spin go. for two euros says, let me prove you wrong, Soylentist. Lifts 200 kilograms. Like true, yeah. Well, Lulu for two says women had to lick radium. Hope the husbands were okay. Unfortunately, no. I don't think it went that well. Minister Fatser five says it's an infor- inferiority complex, boss. Terms like weaker sex and stronger sex means diverse, deserve less, and deserve more, respectively, in their minds. Yeah, but that's not how it actually works. I know, and I know that you know that it means. Like Gary Thomas. That's what that means. Says, no, but it's not I, don't even, I don't even. I don't even think that way. No, oh. uh, Gary Thomas for 10 says, Hey, dynamic duo, since this guy is such a huge advocate for women's liberation, I'd like to have to trap this mental little person in a room and be given a history lesson by Camille Paglia. God, I don't know what that's about, but thank you. Slosh over 20 Canadians says, He means the guy to- who is simping for women. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. The uh, one who is, uh, says, clearly hates me and does not yeah, do a good yeah. job of it. Slosh over 20 says, Listening as much as I can while at work. Thanks for the second day of streaming, guys. Thank you, Slosher. Hasop Buffer 5 says he's thinking, his thinking is simple. He's delusional and believes his political opponents actually want to make the world worse out of malice because they're evil. Because he's evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's typical sense of leftist. You, sh- um, you, sh- you, should, you, should play, uh, you should play that guy's voice for, um, for Hard Bastard for like, like 10 seconds and see if he uh, laughs his ass off. Yeah. Uh, Slosher for 10's Canadian says, women are also obsessed with Carhartt clothes. Yeah, I know it's weird. If they're blue-collar workers, 
uh, as if they are blue collar workers. Meanwhile, the only tool they know how to operate is a Hitachi Tachi wand. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> they love they love these weird like blue collar things. I don't get it. Rick Refine oh, says, that's, JD, that's good. a valuable lesson to Donald Trump: Don't mess with American women, American women, unless you want the benefit." Cloud, crowd applause. Yeah, I suppose so. Hassel Buffer 2 says, Aiden, AF Kane with her avatar up to the Kassan. Yo, I did not. Hassel Buffer 2 says, I had to pause the stream and I came back to butts. I don't know what you came back to, but probably. Uh, uh, Frog Jupiter for 5 says, What do you think about the high IQ and low IQ agreeing while the average IQ disagreeing meme? I'm not sure about that. Ah, uh, no, oh, I've you, said that. Oh, one. oh, oh, you're talking about that meme. Um, that's largely incorrect, I would say. You think so? Because we've used uh, that as monarchy depend, memes. Depends on the topic. Depends on the topic. It was um, it was the guy in depends the hood. It, no, it, it yeah. was um, it was the Wojak. On the one side, it was like the yeah. branded no, one I'm, saying I'm, like I'm Lunk needs strong leader. On the topic. Yes, and it's like oh, the, egalitarianism the, is the perfect the in the block. middle, and then and then the guy at the Wojak at the end is like, I'd yeah. rather follow uh. A fine line better than I am yeah. than a hundred rats of my own it's species. Like, said, like it, it, depends on the, it depends on the it depends on the thing. Ahead for ten says <laughs> Jimmy has been going pretty hard against trans and kids lately, though. I Based. guess he has, which has been good for Jimmy. Good for Jimmy. Um, Galactic Emperor Slurm for five says he's saying the left equivocates Islamists to a downtrodden group like Ziblax. Oh yeah, probably. Uh, Gary Thomas for five says, firstly, in my opinion, the only thing about Sam Harris that Sam Harris is that his mom helped make the Golden Girls. That is true. Also, as well. Really? Uh, I think so. Isn't that Gary? Isn't isn't that uh, Sam Harris's mom? Gary Thomas for five know, says, me. secondly, we don't know in actuality how many people in Hollywood or academia support Trump. Uh, because if they admit to, they would be blacklisted. That's a very good point. I think it's I think it's a lot higher than you think. Yes, because you can't admit to it. Uh, Kizza for five says, I woke up this morning to LH moving to Ferrari. Now on break at work, I hear Aiden using logic and stop listening to Adam and Sitch. What a start to BHM. I don't know what that means, but thank you, Kizza. Dronegi for five says, I'm sure Heels Up Harris has her usage. Oh, I'm sure she does have her usage. <laughs> Heels Up Harris, sure I've never does. heard them before. She sure does. Or she's too old for the intended crowd. Uh, Deadpool Kid for five says the guy wanted uh, uh, James O'Keefe. James O'Beef, excuse me. He was drooling. LOL. Yeah, that guy wanted to fuck him, clearly. Uh, Dear Chase King says this James O'Keefe date reveal proves that Superman could hide as Clark Kent and go unseen. Oh my god, for real though, doesn't it? Makes everyone who said, how did no one know, look stupid. Very, very curious. Oh, um, Deadpool um, Kid um. um. Mm-hmm. Almost here's a conspiracy for you. I don't know if you've heard this. Do you know why um, Kamala Harris was chosen as VP? Uh, she's a, a woman cunt. Please no, please. no, that's not the reason. Mm-hmm. It's because no um, she was fucking one of Biden's sons. Wow. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, she did. She was. I no, didn't, she was never heard that. Wow. No, no, you hadn't heard that? Yeah, she was no. fucking one of Biden's sons. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh, it, was, it, it was shortly I'm after, yeah. it was shortly after the shit. divorce of one of them. Oh. Mm. I think it was actually Bo. Mm-hmm. Nasty. At I think some it was point. Bo. It was one yeah. of the other ones. But yeah, she was fucking one of them. Which is like, what the fuck? Of course so, right? God damn, this bitch gets around. <laughs> uh, does this guy have clearance? Uh, if he did, oop. Says Deadpool Kid. Uh, has all for five, says, the hearing room wasn't open to public, so he invited an insurrectionist into the halls of power to stage a coup. Yeah, No, don't bring that up. Don't bring that up. That'll, that'll, no, you're saying nasty things. Say, hey. Zinma Despot for five says, I hope civil war doesn't break out. I do. Uh, I talked with someone who used to work for Langley. At Langley, I think you mean? I hope, and has been in four of them and said they were awful to be in. Yeah, Langley sucks to work at. I worked for Langley at one point. They suck. Temple Kid for five says, We're built for one thing, lads. We're built for warg. <laughs> Dear T.S. King for five says, What's worse is that the Satanic Temple is an a- actual religious organization, excuse me, religious institution. The Church of Satan was against the Baphomet statue going up. I know, it's funny, right? 
there was a Hasselhoff of Friend of Five says there was a traditional nativity scene as well as others. The satanic temple display was allowed due to equal testament of expression. Okay. Okay, okay. Still kind of fucked. Um, oh yeah, that's then, cool. I've had enough of that. So fuck, fuck, fuck the Satanists, and uh, we'll yeah. see who wins the power battle. And and if yeah, they we'll win, then it'll be Satanist shit everywhere, and go that's ahead, how it go goes. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Depple Kid for another five says so. Instead of mumble rap, now there's Shapiro rap. Dear T is King for two says all rap is cringe. That true. Eh, I, no, I agree. I like yes. a lot of rap. I, no, I like a lot of rap. Uh, Horwitz Feinberg and Horwitz for ten says, can we actually end on some infamental? My eardrums are unclean Metal. after hearing that abomination. We will end on some metal. And then Kizza for five pounds says, uh, last off 2024 campaign trailer. Enjoy it all. What is this? Okay. I'm going to play two last things, then we're going to head out. I know what this is that Kizza's sent to me, but he says this is one thing he wants to watch. And we're going to watch some metal. Drugs pouring across oh, the board. Let me know when you, you've got it up. Again. Yeah. Okay. The fact is, since then, many killings, murders, crime, drugs pouring across the border, our money going out and the drugs coming in. And I right. said, we need to build a wall. He says this before. I can't play this because I'm going to get caught. But I will do this. Um, in the middle. I will do some in the middle and then we'll go out. Um, what have we not watched yet? Apparently, this one. This is a drugged out Prozac head nation, drunk on the blood of 51 million dead babies. You just watch all of you, all of you cops and all of you fat belly TSA people, and all of you that love tyranny and love evil, all of you that enjoy it. No, we had seen that a bit now. It's so weird seeing you without a beard now. I love it. Right out of the block, <laughs> without a beard. You're gonna enjoy total destruction. You're gonna enjoy cancer and death. You're gonna enjoy all your naked body scanning and all your tyranny. And it's so good. How is he so amazing at this? Unintentionally. It's amazing. For enslavement, you beg to have you and your children march into a ditch and have soldiers blow your brains out. This is a You want to And they're having victory. And they're jacking the water with fluoride. They're jacking the food. They're jacking the air with chemtrails. The cancer rates, the neurological disorders are off the chart. They're just murdered. Okay, I think we got enough of that. But it was very good. It's very EMGs. Anywho, um, thank you, Hard Bastard, for joining us. Yeah, anytime. Was, uh... Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. It's great to have you on. Uh, by the way, uh, you are linked, your channel is, both of your channels are linked, uh, I believe, in the description. Cool. Uh, including, I, I, I don't think I have um, your your brother's channel, but I will try to... My brother's channel was banned by YouTube. What? <laughs> yes, I have a... The soft I have gentleman a, was banned? I have a leftist homosexual Democrat brother who may or may not be real. Uh, some people he, think no, he's, he's totally he's real. He's sad I've met guy. Him. Totally I, real. I, I yes. Know, I know he's... Oh, yeah, I know, I've, I've met him. I know he's a completely... I've met there him in real life. I know he's a wait, 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 wait. person. How, how did that one get banned, but the original one did not? That's a great question. I take down my archive <laughs> immediately. Um, and they, they, ha they don't have AI detection yet for naughty words. Once they do that, it's over. Um, but yeah, his channel got taken down. And uh, yeah. I'm still around. So I, I, I have like noticed you're you're very liberal like, with the game awards in your own stream. I just saw it like a couple weeks ago. I, I am. I, that is true. Yeah, I can't help it. It's just you know, I had to watch well, my yeah, mouth I, for all those years. Now I just I'm just not doing it. Why, so why this, this is this is why if if I do my own streams, PC he loves the he loves black dicks and his. Butt I know. I don't understand. He he was a good boy, and they took him out for scams and deceptive practices. <laughs> Unbelievable. He had he, you see, he, you see, he, this, he this, loved tra he was a he loved trans black dicks in his butthole and he, he did. He was a rabid homosexual. <laughs> Unbelievable.
I, I really, because I hadn't seen it in a, in a while, and I was like, oh, I just thought you hadn't done one. Oh, no, okay. That's because so you're, this, well, this, not you, but you and why, your brother. I understand, yeah, of course. Yeah. This is He's why if I, if I stream on my own, I, I do it on fucking Rumble, because I, I want to say Game Awards, and I don't want to have someone to say, you can't say that, like, fuck you. <laughs> the, I'm, I'm a little. white South African, and I am by law required to say based shit. It's my understanding line. is is Bitshoot is rolling out possibly possibly rolling out the beta for live streaming this month, and that would be that'll be huge if that's the case. I'm not a fan of Bitshoot as much as I am Rumble. I like I like both of them because I've not been censored by either. So uh. giving me two platforms that are unlikely to censor, I'm totally with a. And that's the other thing: is a lot of people on Bitshoot and Rumble, which is like that's that's going to be good if if it works. If, and you know, we'll Bitchute- see. I have noticed Bitchute is quite censorious with uh, some of their videos. I've had some um, anti-black videos get banned, but I've noticed. Oh, if you're in another like, country, yeah, they use that. Yes. They do use the. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, I agree. yes. I I, I will say though that their comment section has n- is no holds barred. Yes. Like Jesus fucking hell, the comment section is like fuck. <laughs> it's like four yeah. chan on Royce. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, one last chat I guess we're going to do before we head out now is that uh, Binsky for two says build back bathhouse rot now. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jesus Christ, though, HB, I had no idea that they banned the, the, the soft gentleman. Yeah, they nuked him. They nuked the whole channel. He didn't even have a strike. They just nuked the whole thing. Spams well, and well, deceptive it practices. It was your brother. I had- no, yeah. Did, He's an obedient what, leftist. Your- Association, association Maybe. With you. That's possible, you know. But it's a it's re- you, rank it's, act it's, of homophobia. It's unbelievable. It's because you weren't obedient enough. Yeah. Well, that's, that's probably yeah. it, actually, to be honest. Yeah. If you guys would like to take out HB, I have included, as far as I know, um, both your, uh, as links to as many of your channels as, as you still have going. Um, uh, I have a bunch. I've hard bastard on YouTube. I'm on Rumble. I'm on BitChute, yes. and uh, I, I'm yeah. I'll I'll always be on YouTube. They're going to ban the YouTube channel. I have no doubt about Eventually, that. Yeah. I'm just going to keep making new ones. I don't give a fuck about YouTube. I haven't had YouTube monetization for like four years, so really, fuck YouTube. Dude. Yeah, but with that said, I I'm, I'm going to stay on there to try to you know get as many people off there as possible. So if they ban it, I'll just make another one and then make another. You know, whatever. It's it is what it is. Yeah. But. I'm established enough on the other sites, and I'm very fortunate my audience has followed me over. And yeah. of course, shout out to them. Uh, yeah. And uh, and so, yeah, you know, this is, I think we're in like the next phase now with BitChute coming out with live streaming. I think now the next phase, it was kind of a dark time with censorship. We're kind of coming out of that part, and now we're heading into the, a part where you, you, you might be able to survive and not get censored, but you, we're heading possibly into a war and possibly into the one of the worst economies that we've ever had. So it's kind of like, it's I'm still sorry. gonna be rough, yeah. but we're, you know, we're alive. So that's the thing, we are alive. I did miss and, a, uh, a super chat from Kizza, which was, he says for five pounds, your king who is proud uncle to four beautiful babies will treat those who, how doom guide treats demons rip and tear until it's done. Okay, thank you, Kizza. Sorry, I missed that super chat. Uh, it did not show up in my weird list for some reason. Um, oh, and by the way, here, you, you guys do know that um, HB streams are on Rumble? Because I've yes, had a bunch of people every- tell me that, oh, they're upset that they can't see your streams. I'm like, they're on Rumble. You're going to be able to Rumble? Go yeah, on Rumble. Yeah, and they're like, oh shit, all these streams are like, yeah, that's that's, <laughs> that's where yeah, I catch I them. If, if, Hard if News I wake Network. Up. Christ. Yeah. It's, hard it's News fucking- Network has the most archive. There's also a Hard Bastard channel, and, and there's some archives there too. It's absolutely insane hmm. that like, Dude, we've known each other for like five years, mm-hmm. and uh, it is crazy, like all this stuff. But like, they YouTube has not touched me. I guess it's just because I am, um, I, I I went the safe route, right? I went the safe route of of trying to do. Oh yeah, here's things that, uh, and and you continue to do real hard hitting news, and that made you a um, a pariah to them. Yeah, I mean it. You know, it's like. Uh, I, I just can't, I can't help it. I can like be good for like a few hours, you know, like I respect other people's channels. I'm not going to, you know, drop gamer words on other people's yeah, channels, sure, but sure. like, but you know, I stream for like eight hours. And so like eventually, you know, it's One just, breakthrough. It, it, 
The whole thing yeah. is stupid anyway. Like their words, yeah. who cares? Yeah. If people don't like it, they cannot listen. That's no problem. I, I, people can be offended. Being offended is fine. There's no problem. But like, and it's not just even with just the words. The vaccine stuff. You're not allowed to talk about the vaccine. You're not allowed to talk the about crime. COVID. The election. You're not allowed to talk about. Yeah, cr- it, it is like it's crazy. But I do think it's like one of the areas where there is a uh, a, a lining. Uh, Mm -hmm. a silver lining that like there are alternatives now rumble is an alternative bit shoot's going to be an alternative and twitter while not what musk said it would be is way better than it used to be so that's a much better landscape than than it was and then and bit shoot has their own payment uh thing coming out and it's already out actually pay shoots out Mm. Oh no, um, HB! If if I can ever get you on a stream where I'm on Rumble, I expect you to let fly with the game awards because I fucking yeah, yeah, absolutely it. Love it. fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> let me know. I'm happy to do it. Yeah. Anywho, I think we're gonna head out now. Um, All right. Hard bastard, thank you so much for joining us. Um, You're it's welcome. Always, for it's me. always what's well, always good to yeah. hang out with you, man. It's Jesus yeah. Christ. It's, it's so. I got a I got a bunch of DMs from people know? during the stream just yeah. saying that they should have them more often because we have a we have a good chemistry with them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Anytime, anytime yeah. you want to hang out, man, uh, yeah. cool. you're, you're always you're always welcome on, on to our uh, on to our little show. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Uh, I mean, that sounds weird. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for hanging out, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. We'll, we'll talk right. to each other soon. All right.